Hey, he's gonna come yeah. back and he's gonna haunt your ass. You know what? We can always bring Mugarax back anyway, so it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> what? I don't know about that works, Chief. I'm so happy I got that on recording. I'll remember that. <laughs> oh, he's recording. Sad. I can't wait to show you that clip. <laughs> when he's dead. <laughs> we can bring him back. Yeah, we can bring him back. Not back alive, but back. Yeah. No. Yeah, he didn't specify. What the hell are you throwing? They'll you be able to be a funeral. <laughs> You don't want Maybe. Alex. All right. Uh, so the Wait, audio. Done the what? I told you. Okay. So. Oh, You're not down. Done. Uh, D and D. Are you recording yet? Top one. Yeah, I am. Yeah. I'm pretty sure you Top did one. Say we I can't recording. read, Alex. Chat. I didn't tell what? you can't read. <laughs> it's like questionable. Yeah. No, I just wanted. To... Uh oh, my internet. We might have a problem. Smells like cards. Don't tell me that Discord crashed now or something. Okay, no. My sandwich hit the hit my yeah. deafen button, so it sounded like you like Discord crashed. I was about to be <laughs> thoroughly pissed off. <laughs> Your sandwich hit the deaf button. You heard him. That's the first time I heard one of those. <laughs> Stupid sandwich. Why is it Robin and Jimmy John's sitting on my desk? Alright. Stupid sandwich. So, welcome, guys. Hi. What's uh, else? It's going through. It is going. <gasps> Let's go! Yeah. Test rolls a natural 20! That's your luck for the day gone. Yep. Alright. <laughs> One on damage. Welcome to session 48 of the Vanguard's Revelry. <laughs> And today, I'm gonna try something new, guys. Oh god. So, um, let's see. Oh, I don't have my dice out. Give me a second. Sag. Actually, Eliza. Uh, give. There's uh, uh, Joey and. Yes, sir. Joey and Matt. Uh, number between 1 and 10, guess it. I have a uh, 7. What, Joey? Uh, freaking 7. Uh, Joey got it. Sag. Alright, Joey. Had All right, Joey. Yeah, what's up? Describe to me, describe to everybody, what happened last session. Oh, oh Lord, we're doing what? this. You guys are saying. <laughs> no, you can't ask me. I left earlier. Oh, then Matt, you're doing oh. the recap. <laughs> you're doing the Son recap. Son of a bitch. Uh, okay, let's see. Where do we leave off? Um, think, 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 think. Okay, I think I know. Uh, okay. Do you want me to just tell you what I think happened, or do you want me to like describe it for other people out there? Just, what do you think happened? Okay, well, pretty much last time we continued off uh, sailing on our uh, boat that we bought for pretty much our life savings a couple sessions back. Uh, we got to the bottom of some uh, crewmate possession while also being infiltrated by some Rakshasha demons. It's narrowly uh, avoided the boat being blown up. You know, a couple deaths saved. I think we saved everyone. I don't think anyone died except Fisk, was it? Fisk, the boat swain. The, yeah, the boat swain's dead, so we have no one to repair our boat anymore. Uh, we finally got to that storm. Uh, we sailed through it, you know, almost dying again, like a couple of times, right? Then we came across the boat in, like, the eye of the storm, I guess you could say, uh, which had all of, like, those demons and then that one crazy freaking Rambo guy. Right, and then the cube that we found, the leaden cube that I'm pretty sure opened a portal to hell in the middle of the ocean. We found that and took it on board our ship with some Sahuagin guy telling us never to let it go back to the ocean or back to the domain. Something like that. Names. We gave him names, Matt. Yeah. You gave, you gave him, him names? names? Yeah. You get the Juan names. didn't name them. Juan, you named them in between sessions. Yes. They're, it's Larry, Gary, and Barry. Well... I like those names. Well, now that Thelgrim has caught us back up on what happened hey, last week. I did a thing. Uh, let's get right into it. So, you guys are one day away from the shores of, uh, I forgot what it's called, Cornbird. So, oh, over the past week since you guys got out of the storm... What have what has the crew of the ship been up to? And uh, actually, first I will update you with a couple things. 
uh, that happened. Oh. So, uh, actually, yeah. So, what did you guys do over the past week? Um, I mean, it probably, probably would have been fixing the ship, right? Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah, you know what? Didn't, All didn't Ethel take again? over Fisk's position? Ethel took yeah. over his boat swing. Yeah, I'm just planting um, so seeds Ethel, everywhere and making giant. Uh, make an investigation check. Uh, this is you surveying the damage that's done to the ship. Okay, wait, whoa, 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 I'm just trying to hit one button! Okay. Investigation. Oh, yeah. And she rolled 12. Okay, so looking over the ship, you guys have taken a lot of damage. The ship is, like, really, really, really not doing good. It's on fire. Um, honestly, a couple... A couple more volleys from the, like a volley or two more from the Dominion ship, you guys would have gone into the water. Like, you oh. would have started sinking. Uh, surveying, uh, and over the course of the week, you spend a lot of your time trying to repair those damages. And, um, what you, you do notice throughout this, uh, one of the... You see the name of the ship. Um, there were actually like letters, uh, like uh, stamped, uh, like wooden letters, actually stamped into the side of the ship, spelling out the drunken stranger. And like half of the letters have been torn off. Nice. Um. So I will send you guys a bunch of letters. I will send you guys what is left. And you guys can try to reform. You guys can either. You can rename the ship. Do we want to, though? I can make it out of plants. Or not. Never mind. Sorry. L. <laughs> so those are all the letters you're left with. So. Um, what else is the rebel are you going to do? Just uh, any of you guys. Uh. Rara's gonna see how much she owes the crew. Wait, what we'll do? Oh. <laughs> oh god. Uh, we, we, no, we, have, we have all the money off to the side. We're fine. Yeah, also, but... how many, how much uh, songs did Rao Root uh, throw out? Uh, well, that's the thing. Rao Root made a deal with a lot of the crew that if they they continue to print out copies of the song, the Lavola song, um, that he would pay them per copy. Okay, hold on. So you're you're gonna be using your money, right? Because Wait, I think you still I, owe. I thought, you it, was, still owe I thought the... it was just the ship. <laughs> yeah, I, I I meant just the ship, Alex. What the? Just, just, just on the ship, uh, the ship trip. Yeah, ship I know. Trip. I know. Yeah, they're still. Are you stupid? What do you mean? They how, literally how much... have not been able to do anything else. Happy All right. So how much? How much was it that you offered them? Five, I forgot. Uh, bronze. Five bronze. They're copper. <laughs> copper. Oops. It was like five copper per twenty. Yeah. Or yeah, it was like one copper per four pages. Um, you were the worst with money. Sure. <laughs> All right. Uh, so I'll get back on onto you that I need to find the exact page I had. Um. Why did so, no one stop? What about the rest? Because that's his choice. <laughs> he doesn't have money though. Oh um, well. Ethel's Guess the been going around. Gonna kill him. Ethel's been going around with her compost bag and trying to fertilize all the plants with it because she saw the baby plants at one time and was like, "Bro, they're babies." Um, and then she's using the plants to fix the thing and using plant growth and shit to, yeah. All right. That stuff. All right, so Ethel's going around doing that, and it's a whole week. So what else are you guys doing? Because Ethel is also spending a lot of her time repairing the ship. Is anybody in the crow's nest? Uh, well... Oh, wait, Ra, Ru's gonna investigate the lead box. Yeah, I was gonna say, we should probably investigate that. <laughs> no, he's too busy giving out our money. He's... <laughs> Actually, uh, also, Alex, you haven't uh, given me my grenades yet in my inventory. Yeah, I remember when I told you, hey, text me what grenades, so I can text you. <laughs> <laughs> 
And you never um, told me, so I never made I them on D and D Beyond. <laughs> okay, they're they're the 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 ones that like hit. There's an initial explosion, and then there's debris. Oh shit! That shrapnel. sounds like a grenade to me. It 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 hurts a lot because that's how. <laughs> that you, still oh. sounds like a grenade. <laughs> that sounds like a grenade. I'm glad it hurts a lot. <laughs> no, it like. Oh, fuck. I, it, was it like a? I remember something about a goat, a goat grenade, I don't know. There's this grenade that explodes into goats. Okay, so, whenever you get the chance, on your time, go back to the video, like, the J the recording we have, and I think it's the day you guys, it's the one where you guys got to Kubara. Yeah, that was I think I called it Welcome to Kubara. Get it, because Kubara like is a jungle. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> and you, so just look at that, and you'll be able to find it. Okay. Uh, alright. <laughs> and then, alright, so what else are you guys doing? Mm. Oh yeah, so you're gonna check out the big ass crate, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Alright. Uh, so who's doing this? Like, who's going down to look at this? I'll also yeah. be doing, a. Um... I'm I'll sure. tag along. It's probably interesting. Whenever Rao roots alone, he makes trouble. Yeah, right. that's true. He so needs to be supervised. all of you guys are going down to check this uh -huh. out. The entire crew, yes sir. Alright. So. Also, could someone stream their freaking forge? Because it's still not working for me for some reason, and I'm just... It's whatever. Oh, Sag. Yeah, I don't know. I'll figure it out later. Yeah, give me one uh, second. Here, I can stream oh. camera guy. Oh, cool. Uh, I don't know which one's camera guy and which one's DM. I don't want to share the wrong thing to you. Oh, God. Yeah. It's okay. I'll just close my eyes. I trust yep. you, Matt. <laughs> yes. My eyes are closed. Mm -hmm. I believe them. They're very closed. I, I think... Believe. That's camera guy? It's just let me stream. If up. I'm not mistaken, that's camera just guy. Let me yep, up. there you go. Uh, look, yes, sir. Okay, cool. Now I can actually see the map. Huzzah. Alright. Uh, so, uh, what you guys go down, and it's been a couple, it's been at least a day at this point. Um, Ethel has worked about getting uh, her, her way of being Boatswain. Is very way better than the last guy. You, I'm so glad he he's died. dead, yo. <laughs> <laughs> he died. Damn. Damn. Jesus. Fish. Holy crap. No respect. <laughs> My guy died. He, like a week ago too. <laughs> Actually, Jeez. from from when hey, you guys are searching, he died it. like a day or two ago. Oh right. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> I should probably nice. turn that off. Turn what off? It, because it, there's an option where it automatically adds the Hexblade's curse damage plus a crit on 19 or 20. Yeah, that's all. It, it just it fills up Dawn Slicer yeah. like a lot. <laughs> yeah, oh, Jesus. Water. I Alright, uh. I'm just saying what everyone's so, thinking, gosh. Um, you guys go over to the box, and oh yeah, so fun. Ethel's way of being the boatswain is very unique in that. She uses the sort of matrix of plants that she has throughout the entirety of the ship to, like, she, she pretty much just works on germinating and just growing all of that into pretty much just having a net sort of cradle of plants reinforcing the entirety of the ship. Almost like having the plants grow throughout, like, the inside of the wood, holding it all together like rope or twine and at this point the because it, it's still early on so she hasn't gotten to rebuilding the deck of the floor underneath the cube so there's just a bunch of plants holding the cube like uh sort of i mean yeah sort of like a hammock underneath it but the cube is plugging the hole it's made in the bottom of the ship but at this point, because of this, you guys aren't doing night shifts anymore. Like, you guys have to constantly have people bucketing out water if you want to stay, like, afloat. And the cube is before you. 
How far away from land? Uh, you guys are still like a week from here. It's like a week off okay. from this point in time. Uh, so what are you guys doing? The cube is before you. I'll, I'll try to find an opening in the cube. Uh, make an investigation check. Yeah, anybody who wants to, make an investigation check. Oh. And I'll give just a general description of the cube. Right. Uh, so, you see, um, it is this... Oh, I this once, by the way. <clears throat> Fuck. Use that nat natural 20. 20. <laughs> I got a nat 20. You got a nat 22. 20 as well? 22. Ooh, okay. Nice. Good thing. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, anyone else? You see, this cube, it... Giving it a closer look... I only got an 18, Sag. It is, it is a lead box. Like a lead, just perfect cube that um, the edges are rounded off. It looks to have been made... Uh, this is so weird having a lead in here. I don't like people watching me. I'm not looking at you. <laughs> uh, and it is, like, the edges are rounded off. And it is, the outside almost has like a lattice um, with a bunch of pa intricate patterns throughout the entirety of the outside of it. Um, but past that like lattice, you just see solid lead. And like every once in a while, there are holes that this light is just shooting out of. But at this point, it's dimmed. Actually, no, at this point, it hasn't dimmed down yet. It dimmed down after a couple days. This is shortly into the investigation. Um, you guys look at it and you see these patterns they go on forever infinitely almost as if like they're fractals a pattern that just repeats over and over and over just without end and the light just pierces out of it making this like beautiful projection of red light but it's also kind of frightening and looking it over uh Thelgren, could you give me an investigation check as well i'll give my echoes assistance Oh, Matt's muted. Uh... Oh yeah, because Mateusz is not... His thing is not working. Uh, Matt, do you want me to roll for you? I mean, I just rolled on uh, the D&D Beyond, so that's a 19. Oh, nice. But I don't know if you want to like see that Oh, no, or that's fine. Because there's the game okay. log. I can see it. Oh, okay, cool. Then, yeah, that works. Yeah. <laughs> um... So, you got a 19, natural sure. 20, Bram Grimm got a Bram Grimm's distracted because he was too busy All right. worrying about the sword that he brought on. Uh, oh, yes, sir. Thalgren. Oh, yeah, the sword is sitting on the other side. Like, it's sitting right next to the box, but none of you wanted to touch it. As... Wait, did we... No, I dumped oh, it the, the sword ocean. burns us, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, Bram Grimm. I forgot about that. Oh, Lord. Um, uh... Actually, yeah, this is actually quite important. You sustained a bit of a lingering injury there. Wait, how? I survived all the contracts. Yeah, what? it still tore all of the flesh and skin off of your arms, Yeah, but I ain't homie. no bitch. <laughs> okay. I ain't no bitch. Um, so, oh, yeah, I'll, I'll get back to that. I'm trying to find the page. I forgot where I put it. Uh, there we go, there we go. Um, so you pretty much can't hold anything with that arm anymore. So you've got, you've got your prosthetic, and then your other flesh hand, like, all of the skin and flesh has been torn off of it. It can be healed. It will just take time. Alright, well that whole week I'm gonna spend... Either a long time or time. magic. Like, and, yeah... The cure wound seems to be stopping it from inf getting infected or anything, but your hand is just, like, demolished. And so, yeah, you can't hold anything. I totally forgot I had a prosthetic. Could I not have just held it with my prosthetic? Um, I mean, yeah, you moved it over. It uh, Then, yeah, the prosthetic would have been destroyed. Really? Yeah. The oh, fuck? So, armor prosthetic, what are you losing? <laughs> Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Brammy Graham keeps on getting fucked. Um, Jesus Christ, what's with you and mutilating yourself? Well, here. I'll just, I'll just take the arm. Here, I'll roll. Okay, so your arm. You're gonna go double prosthetics. This is gonna be sick. Hell yeah. <laughs> I might as well. 
gonna turn freaking Brammy Grimm into a Terminator or something. That'd be awesome. Can I have water? I'm down for that. Here you go. Thanks, homie. Um, that's cool. Um, so yeah. So your, what arm was it? You lost your left arm, I believe? I lost my left arm, so this is my right arm. So your right <laughs> hand is completely torn and mangled. Uh, you will probably need something along the lines of a very, you'll, you, you're pretty sure, um, very powerful House Jurasco clerics can fix this kind of thing, but probably won't be cheap. Uh, it said, at least it wasn't his wanking hand, am do I, I right? Do I know how much it would cost? <laughs> he uses the prosthetic off? for that, because he doesn't feel it. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> you ever see that video where the guy uh, has the prosthetic and presses a button and then it starts <laughs> doing... <laughs> 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 oh, God. Yes, sir. Imagine losing body parts could not be the rest of the Vanguard. Don't put it over oh, no, yeah, because very soon. you see the, van the Vanguard... Uh, uh, injures me as well. Like that scar above my eye that I have now because of you. Oh, yeah, yeah right. but, but it's cool. <laughs> <laughs> yep. It's I cool. Did for purely selfless purposes. Yeah, no one's gotten in an, in a in an instance where they've gotten a lasting lingering injury. Yeah, I mean we've had like some broken Actually, no. and things like that when we were in the desert, but Rel, we pretty much got Rel, the... Rel Root had a lung punctured. He was dying. Yeah, I think Avalaba had some Avalab broken was, ribs. Avalab was actually dying as well. He had pretty much the entire like front side of his chest torso was just rotted and open and exposed. That's hot. You guys had to like mummy wrap him and then just heal it over weeks to get it to finally close up. See, if you guys had me, I could just have... <laughs> I mean, yeah, she... Yeah. Ethel could have honestly you, just... Nah, I was just, just pranking. Fixed, fixed the hole in his chest. I could have Either way. Oh, yeah, so you guys see this... F you guys uh, start investigating the cube, um, and you see... Um, this isn't... Uh, you guys start messing around with it, and you see, you can actually, you actually manage to start pulling off some panels. Wait, are we sure we want to pull off panels? Like, oh yeah, like, you, like well, that's the it? thing. You guys can, you guys haven't pulled it off yet, but you can see, you can start like pulling off the lattices, and the looking at it, um, Ethel and um, Thalgren, you can see that um, there, there seem to be like, although difficult to do, um, with. You guys can probably dismantle this box. Are, are we sure we want to do that? Before we dismantle it, can we like discern its function? Like, what does it do? Yeah. Could I cast a uh, magic or something? Make an Arcana check, Thalgron, or, or. Can I make an animal handling uh, check? <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> uh, anyone who animal wants. Actually, on the box. if you have proficiency in Arcana, you can make an a. a I have a plus not. twelve to Arcana. Plus I'll seventeen, that's a twenty nine on the Arcana chip. Well Yes sir. Jesus Christ. That's a 29. Rub things, am I right? I know. Uh, Thalgren, oh, crazy. Easy enough. You actually know. Um this box being made out of lead is not a coincidence. Um you know that lead can actually block divination. So oh. this this oh. this box was made. Uh, both as a protective measure for whatever is inside of the box, but also like to stop people from stealing it easily or getting to it easily, but also to block divination magic from being able to find it or see it. I don't know if I want to open mm -hmm. it. Yeah, so if we Let's want to Let's take a look that. at what it is, we have to peel off all of the lead. Like yeah, we're not gonna put it back. Maybe, but that's the fun thing. We'll figure it What's out. What's the worst that can happen, Jeez. right, guys? <laughs> Raul Root has... Can we have Raul Root bonk you with his Warhammer? Let's not do that. <laughs> I mean, that's the thing. You know, it's it's a massive... Like, you, you can... You can assume that probably by looking at this, whatever's inside of it probably isn't actually all that large. Even though it's a five by five by five foot cube, it it's just—it's supposed to be just immensely difficult to break into, at least. Like you know it—it it is just heavy, thick, like defensive plating. You know what we should do? We should probably wait. We, we should wait to do this on land. Nah, what's yeah. the worst that can happen? 
I would wait till yeah. we're on land. Yeah, actually, because we're on a boat. Like if it. we take it apart, then we're gonna lose the plug that we have right now. But uh, yeah. what if we take this thing apart and it's something bad? We're gonna take it apart inside of a populated city. I'd yeah. rather do that than us die. Than it's okay if innocent civilians the, die. We, no, we just gonna die plus the innocent civilians. No, we just. No, it's fine. I have I have spells that can <laughs> help people if they die. I I, I, also, I vote on land. I don't know. I vote I on say land. we should do it on land as well. No. Here we go. Okay. See, um, Joey's civilized. Also, are you bringing any of the other crew with you, or is it just you guys? What do you mean when we're looking? It's for just us? us. They have to work in repairs. All right. Well, El Simpinito. <laughs> have to work. El Simpinito would be here with you guys, and he would let you guys know that. Um, uh. Sometimes, depending, uh, when you get to port, uh, like, well, at least the way your ship is super devastated, and now that the, all of the, like, um, I forgot what the word is, identifying parts of your ship, like oh, its name and its flag it. are torn off, they're probably oh. gonna check your ship. Yeah, we need to open it now. Yeah, how do we... Or we could just fix the things that are Put missing on our ship. Building. We could or, just you know fix what? the things Let, that are let's missing open our it. ship. Let's open it a day out of port. No. So then that way we I mean, we that's the thing. You guys, you guys could try pushing it into... You guys could just try putting it with the rest of your cargo. And just, like, try hiding it there. But we can't move it. You might be able to all yeah, together. You guys moved it all together. Ship, though. Um, I mean... What if... Can, can we fix the flag somehow? Ethel, uh, Ethel's plants, uh, fucking flags are made like out of gun, right? I mean, no, that's the thing. The flag got torn off and just. Can't I try and remake everything out of plants? And yeah. Like... Can can she make remake at least? I feel like we're flag? stretching out are this whole plant hippie thing. Ship? Come on, we'll be hippie ship guys. No. No, because no you, the the design on your flag is very specific. You registered it with the Doc Masters I know, but in Kibara. It's been... We're probably gonna have to get a replacement or something. God damn it. Yeah, the... Does anyone have paper? <laughs> Just draw it on paper. <laughs> <laughs> no, really. Does anyone have paper? Sir, their flag seems to be made out of paper. Oh, Sir, I have their... the book. <laughs> they... <laughs> the best part I've ever seen. They glued a bunch of paper to their flag. Uh... <laughs> Their entire boat is they're made like, of paper mache. They're like, they're like yeah, mache. get 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 reinforcements. These pirates are a bunch of dumbasses. <laughs> <laughs> Can we? I have the book, right? I have the book. Can I use like pages of the book? Just rip and, out like, the page of the book with our flag on it and glue that to the top. And like, but we don't have glue, so I could like make some like paste out of plants and like spit and water. Why don't you All right. think I have water? You, you, you thought you thought we were stretching you thought we were stretching the boats repairing or the plants repairing the boat, but you wanna make paste <laughs> and all this stuff just to put a paper or a piece of paper up on top with our flag. We're gonna get like I think, I think screw it captain's orders. He said we open it so we open it. <clears throat> yeah, let's just open think? it let's just open it like a day or two out of port. Because then, if, if there's something days. evil, we're still close to land. <laughs> we're close enough to safety. <laughs> so hopefully, if it's a kaiju or something, it'll go for the city and leave us alone. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We're top priority. I don't care. That's fine. <laughs> I guess. I guess. Bro. Actually, guys, I say we open it right now and then drop it in the water. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh god. So I'm do we open idea. it? Now or like when we're a day out. Let's open it right now. This we're gonna second. open it a day no, out. No, I'm kidding. Yeah, we'll, we'll open, open it a day down out. To opening it right now. If we're gonna open it, screw it. Let's open it in a, a day from when we get there. Yeah, so we have like a backup. Uh, All right. How much? How much copper is in a gold piece? <laughs> it's like ten for a silver, and then ten of those for so gold. One, so a hundred. Yeah. I think. I'm pretty sure that's how the conversion works. Yeah, 100 copper per gold. Oh! Oh god, how much do you owe them? What have you done, Juan? <laughs> Again, I don't think well, he can He can just loan out money when he doesn't have any of his own. <laughs> hold on, okay. hold up. You told your, pe your, you told your people this- It, it was, uh, one, five gold. Five gold. Five gold, wait a second! Five gold! <laughs> five wait a copper. second. Wait, no, one copper for five pages. That's that was a deal. I remember. Okay. Five pages so, or four pages. 
100 yes. pages. Bye, ugly. I'm pretty sure it was four. It was one. It was one it was for five. four. It was five. Because it, it was. was it was ten. I did fifteen. Because it was five gold for 10. twenty pages, so it's down to one for four. One copper. It's whatever four. they unionize. They want new prices. It's not How a are ton. Printing these? Like, are they just in, rewriting in it? In total? Just rewriting them, yeah. In <laughs> total, you're doing... It's th it's only three gold, five silver, and five copper you're paying everybody. Hey, I'm, Juan, I'm glad that I'm they glad came that in. They're repairing the ship, that you're having our crew write songs. Yeah, yeah. they came in. They didn't have enough glass bottles for They this. stole a lot of paper from El Cinfinito's quartermaster office. They Jesus were, Christ. It was around 1,400 pages. Oh my god. <laughs> Let's go. You underestimated them. Alright, that you oh, know what? I have a question. I, what do you want? <laughs> what do you want? <laughs> <laughs> also, what did you guys end up doing with Fisk's body? Because he was I remember I decomposed it. I think we gave him and I went into the ground. Right? No, and I decomposed like, it. No, he it got decomposed the on the ship. Yeah. Oh, well no, here's the thing. De decompose doesn't immediately destroy the body. Oh, also, I remember having also, this idea I cut him into tiny pieces also, and I put him on the The rambling revelers would have asked you not to do that. Okay, fine. Yeah, they the the rambling revelers actually asked if they could hold if they could hold on to the uh, corpse everybody? for now. Oh. Cool. On the ship. Okay. Okay. I, I know we kinda left this Next point already here. because he paid the gold. But why was I not <laughs> why was this idea not ran by me? What idea? It was a straight <laughs> deal he made. It was a deal he made directly with the crew. Yeah. Fuck you, that's why. Alright, three gold and ten silver. <laughs> Alright, no, he, he loses his position. Juan. He loses his position. Juan. Yeah. I never asked What do you want? Oh my god! Why are you Dude, so Juan's mean? Dude, so... He's not having it. He's on his lady days. Okay, anyways. Oh. Um... <laughs> <laughs> uh, wait. So you have this music? Are you just? Did you just write lyrics, or did you put like? Oh yeah, the, music that's with the thing it? though. They like, gave you all of these sheets. You do not have enough bottles. <laughs> you just good. you just have stacks that's and fine. stacks and stacks of parchment with the music. To, like little origami boats or something you like that. You didn't answer my question, Alex. Stop cutting oh, me hold off. Hold up. Okay, on. how how much I have a question of the about bottles? This music. What the fuck do you want? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> did you put like notes with it, or is it literally just words? No, it's just, it's just words. I put it in comments. So it's it just, just looks like a limerick. Then it's just words. Then it's just a poem. It's a poem about Lavola. There's no music with it, Juan. Yeah, I mean, he's not the smartest. That's, That's true, true, actually. You Come just on, I'm wrote... going to Coral Studies, man. You failed this. It's you... fine, then. It, it, they just think changed... you just okay, slam hold up, hold up, hold up. I need to give a bit of it to a random I'll be back. Give me a sec. Oh, he's gonna go put the musical notes. That's beautiful. It's a slam poetry rendition <laughs> of the Lavola song. It's actually just a love poem. Is it a love poem? No. That's his, that's his way of showing love. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's how he shows affection. Okay, got it. Yeah. That would be a plot to his window. Right, I'm back. All right. So yeah, it, even if it is a poem, it's fine. I, I I'll I'll just uh, in my free time I'll just put some notes onto it uh, later. Because now I have how many pages do I have? They gave you fourteen hundred and twenty. Yeah, just 120. words. Okay. One thousand four hundred and twenty. And, and how many uh, can make it into bottles? Uh, he's gonna completely neglect the his thing, duties because he's you, gonna be editing this. You ran out of bottles a while ago, actually. I, to we, make for airplanes. We this came up before. You ran out of <laughs> bottles a while ago. Where where would we have all of these bottles from? When did that come up? Uh, the last time you were making. Ago? Yeah, the last a session or two ago. One of the characters needs to become an alcoholic. No, because so okay, whatever. <laughs> it's fine then. It's fine. Oh, he's an alcoholic. I thought you said necrophiliac for some reason. I'm like, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> How does that solve any of our issues? I said that earlier it's though. Fun. I said that earlier when the when the rambling rever. Oh, you're like, okay. It's oh, when it's they said fine, they Alex. Keep the, the body. Because next time we get paid, you know what I'm doing? You're buying only bottles. I'm oh buying God. as many bottles, 1,462, uh, fucking worth of bottles, okay? He's not, he's not getting any gold. The... Oh he's not God. getting any gold. Okay, so... Just buy alcohol so and use alcohol the and then use the bottles yeah, from that. <laughs> the okay, so what else are and you guys my free doing? Time. Oh wait, in my free time? In my free time, oh, I'm gonna be writing the notes. Okay. Alright. In a week? You could probably do that. Yeah. 
What a waste of fucking time. What do you mean? Are we doing anything else? This is so yeah. Stopping the ship from sinking. Yeah. Oh my God, it's fine. Yeah, you know, stopping the ship from sinking, maybe it. helping the crew, maybe investigating this freaking box. We also, I've yeah, decided I'm, okay. I'm not paying a cleric to heal my hand, I'm just getting another prosthetic. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> so, you're just gonna have, like, one of us amputate your one good arm. No, not, not on you. the ship. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can make you, like, can I make you a sling oh. out of plants? I don't think that any of this may- like, I could just, like, rip off some- never mind. I'm oh my god. <laughs> just gonna rip Hold him down arm or off. chop in his no, arm off. No, I was talking about plants. You need, you need something arm. done, I'll just huh? use plants. I could plants. just, like- I could- never mind. Cut off your arm and use it for fertilizer. <laughs> oh my god. Use your arm for this. <laughs> okay, bringing everything back. And we- That's What are you guys beautiful. doing with- what are you guys doing with the cube? I'll uh, leave it where it is. Until we get, we're uh, just gonna, a day we're gonna open it, yeah, day out. Yeah. Okay, if you insist. Matt's like, damn it! It's okay, I'm a rogue. I'll just sneak out in the middle of the night and mess with it. <laughs> Alright, so, uh, what are you guys doing in the other days leading up to? Is there anyone in the crow's nest? Uh, one of the other, I mean, whoever you assign. Yeah, didn't we assign somebody to the crow's nest? Oh, yeah, like, you know, the like... guy who wants to write songs all day? Yeah, yeah wasn't he's it the Juan? Because he had... Yeah, and he's yep. not looking, he's not paying attention. <laughs> yeah, he's just gonna be up there, and then, like, one of his pages is gonna get blown away, and he's gonna start yelling profanities. Yeah. Yeah. Every month, you guys are just haters. I'm gonna I'm have a SoundCloud, and Raul Root's gonna be like... <laughs> the lyrical genius. We're all just praying hey, on you know what? We, we were... I was worried on how the Vanguard were gonna take losing a mem... or gaining a member. We're just, we lost Raul Root. That's what we're gonna do. We lost him at sea. Jesus. <laughs> the really? really? You, you think Altho's gonna measure up to Raul Root? You guys are... Yes, actually, yes. She can turn into a giant hyena, Raul Root. She can, can. heal. Yeah, so can Raul Root. No, he can't. <laughs> yeah, yeah, with potions, because no one else carries okay. potions, man. guys, because no one else carries potions. Because you don't share them, you're supposed to share sorry, them. Alex. Guys, I'm sorry. Shh, okay, look. Relax. Shut I don't door. need health potions. <laughs> just turn invisible. All right. I don't need your health potions. Get out of so here. So what else are you guys doing over the course of this week? There's nothing else to do. I don't yeah, know I don't what else to do. We're gonna probably just be working on fixing the ship because it probably looks rough yeah. as hell. Okay. Okay. So in that case, it come uh, it comes to a day out from port, and this is when you guys said you would be working on. The cube. We have time to open up the cube. Wait, can I ask the um, rambling revelers? Oh boy, <laughs> oh what they want to do with Fisk's body? Probably Make a proper burial. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um. Well. Um. You guys are a day out from uh. From port and. The ship is surprisingly quiet, because typically you'd hear the three rambling revelers uh, singing shanties, but the past week has been rather dull out on deck. Uh, and uh, you go over to talk to the two survive surviving rambling revelers. Only two? Yep. Yeah. Three? Oh, Fisk was there the were three. One. He was oh, the third. Fisk was four. the third. Okay. Uh, so you go to Valeria and Browntooth. Um, and what do you say? Hey, um, how y'all, how you, how you guys holding up? Um, you see Browntooth, uh, is sort of just quiet, looking over the edge of the ship, doesn't respond. Uh, but Valeria turns over to you and just, uh, just says, um, well, we're doing fine, we've been... You know, dealing with what's been happening, trying to help as much as we can. Just mostly taking it day by day. Just gonna nod. Sprout some uh, good berries in my hand and hand them off to them. So I hope it gets easier. And Valeria takes some of the good berries, hands one to Brown Tooth, but he's just. Uh, He's out of it. He just doesn't even 
bat an eye and say, uh, well, you know, we were actually hoping to go into a cleric or something. Or actually, we were going to ask you if you could help us. Because <laughs> you, you did some stuff with their, your friend there and or the quartermaster, and I mean, look, we we were on the ship with you when you were stowaway on the way to Kibara, and we we didn't ask. You were really quiet, but we sort of figured out why you were heading over. Yeah. So, you know, did did you learn anything there? A couple of things. I don't. I don't prefer to talk about it. It's a little, you know, not a, a conversation you'd like have over tea. Well, we know it's a, it's a hard thing to talk about, but if, if at all possible, if you think you can, if you could just. Help us bring him back once we get to shore. We, we know you ran out of the components you needed after helping out your friend a couple weeks ago, but it's only been six days, six a week, maybe. It's been hard to keep track of time, but I, I'm pretty sure he's got a couple days left. I'll think about it. <laughs> Jeez. Thanks either way. Gonna nod. Just kinda. Uh. Way. You see? Um. She just, like, goes back over, putting her arm over Brown Tooth. And he just, like, puts his head down even more. Just looking past the wheel of the ship, just guiding it. Uh, I'm just gonna say it saving my resources for a special person. Alright. So. Uh, what else are you guys doing? Me? Or in general? Um, I mean, I think we're just opening up the box now. Alright. Uh, so you guys get all together. Going back down to the box. Uh, what are you guys going to do? You you saw how to take off, or at least you saw that you could take off some of the panels. Um, so whoever wants to help, uh, Bramgrim, you will not be able to as Satch. your arm. Oh, I was going to suggest that him and Ralry should do it since they're the strongest one, but I guess there goes the <laughs> um, So but you know who is the I need, stronger one? I need one person to make an investigation check Ralry. to, like, gu like the investigation to check. guide to guide the other two people making athletics checks in dismantling this. Can so, I say, can I use, uh, the, what's it called? That's the, a 21 for investigation. Um... Uh, that does not help with ability checks. That is attack rolls, okay. saving throws. So I'll just use Echo's assistance then. That's fine. Echo's yep. assistance? Ethel's Shut the fuck assistance. up. <laughs> Ethel's, yeah, no. Ethel's, uh, Ethel's like kind of boring and caca. Damn. Damn. <laughs> what? Once. I got a 21 on the investigation Once. check. Nice. Salty. <laughs> Juan, who hurt you? Are you okay? 17. Damn. It's okay, Juan. I rolled a 17. Alright. I'll roll 17 sometime. Uh, what did- did you make your athletics check? Am I helping them? Uh, I mean, if you'd like three. to. Why don't you just turn into, like, a big beefy creature and help him pull it off? I'm not- I'm not- my subclass is not the moon, dude. You can still well, you can change just turn into a bear I know. or something. <sighs> you could just turn into a bear. All druids can do that. One question. Do you have the book that has all the thingies I changed into? Uh, is that in my house? I have it somewhere. I have a backpack. Yeah, where the fuck's my monster manual? It's at my house. Oh shit, yeah, you Yeah, I thought that you. Oh man. Uh, yeah. I can just pull it up here though, so it's fine. Uh, but. 
All right, so are you going to turn into something? Um, if, can you pull it up so I can look again? Can you send us Just turn Discord? into a bear. Okay, yeah. Yeah, but now th there's stronger things I can turn it into. Okay, yeah, I'm just giving suggestion. I'm <laughs> looking! Give me a minute! Jesus, impatient. Wait, can Bears you are pretty this? strong. I know, I just want to look. Uh, sure so there's a bunch of stuff. Yeah, so... Can you, for can now, you... let's just say you turn into a bear. Okay, fine. So a brown bear. So that's a plus four to the make an athletics check. Just roll a d20 and add four. All right. Quick question. Oh shit! Natural twenty again. Oh my god. So you see, as Ethel just morphs into a bear, and with this immense strength, guided by you, Thelgrim. Um, Bear, Ethel, and Ral Root together start pulling. Um, damn, she got a higher check than you, Ral Root. Damn. And starts pull you starts pulling the panels off. Um, on each side, uh, there are four panels um, surrounding. Like you see, pretty much what the pattern is is. Uh, I'm gonna draw this out for my own reference so I can explain it properly uh, but it's essentially like a cross with a circle in the center of it and then the empty space in each corner are the lattice like panels that you guys pull off and then so you have these uh, six-sided you have 24 of these lead pan like lattice panels with these fractal panner patterns Pairs. So whatever you guys want to do with those panels, you've got them. Oh, Ethel, Bear Ethel is just like, Aah. what? <laughs> oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah? <laughs> Very descriptive. Uh, no. Yeah, but are you guys just going to throw them to the side? What are you doing? Are you, well, you just take them off. You have them for now. Let's just put them to the side. We don't know if we're going to have to put this stuff back. Yeah, Bear Ethel is All right, like and then after taking that apart... Uh, you see behind that, it is just, uh, there are just these, it's, it's like a lead box inside of a lead box. Really? Uh, make another investigation check, whoever wants to see the next step of taking this thing apart. Is this one smaller? Or, well, yeah, I got to be. this. Oh, yeah. Is it the same design and stuff? 27 on uh, this investigation. This is just flat, there is no design. Huh. And Thelgren, looking it over, uh, you see there are actually... Uh -oh. There are like almost release buttons that oh boy. Uh, you press them and you see like the the frame, the metallic frame with the cross and like the edges of the cube just and you see on each side the frames just like disconnect from each other and these like heavy uh, like rectangular uh, parts just fall off the side and just drop this much smaller lead cube down onto the ground that you see has a hole the shape of a diamond on each um on each side wait so can we just and you see carry? there's a there's a dull red light like pulsing coming out of that can we oh just boy. carry this smaller lead box with us uh yeah the smaller lead box like, is still by two this... by two by two okay um can we roll some form of like perception to tell if it's the last layer or not? Uh, I mean, Just that's put the your thing. Finger in it. So you've got this. <laughs> you've got this smaller box. You can try to open it up even further if you want to keep investigating. Thug. Would it fit? Do we have any like crates in the ship? Yeah, you can, can put. put you can put this in something else if you'd like, or you could even. You could probably fit it in your bag of holding. Uh, I forgot we had that. Yeah, who has it right now? I forgot. I think, well, Ru, I think you had no, it. Someone, no, someone took it from me. Ramgrim? No, someone else. I think look, it was uh, Dave. Look on the tab. It says who has it. Oh my God. Right. Dave? Did you eat the cookie? You did. Uh, yeah, I don't know who has the bag of holding. Who has the bag of holding? Ethel does, uh guys. Plot twist. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I remember burning up Ral Root. Ral Root is carrying the bag of holding. I really. I thought. Yeah. Told you. 
It's not in my, it's not in my inventory. That's okay. You're holding the bag of holding. I made sure to... God damn it, I accidentally closed the tab. Uh, well... Yeah, El Cipinito has the bag of holding. Holding? Yes. What is that? It's where we put it's all like of our ice. It's like a refrigerator ice. bag of really? holding. Yeah. Is that where we keep a bunch of ice so we can always make ice cold drinks. Yeah, so nobody else has it? Okay, then yeah, Raul Root, I'm putting it back in your inventory. You've got the bag of you know, colding. The, fir the first time uh, we were introduced to a bag of colding, it was used to hold Dave's dead body. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, nice. And now yep. you guys own one. Crazy. <laughs> hey, we could put someone's dead body in this. Awesome. Let's put uh, Fist's body. All right. Uh, so, Actually, yeah. Felgren, are you going to further try to open up this box? Uh, are we gonna keep trying to open this Let's one up, guys? It. Let's do it. Sure. Captain's orders. I don't ask questions. All right. Uh, make another investigation check. Wait. Point. Actually, hold on. Before we what do that, this? let me let me what just let me just back up a little bit. No, let me just check something. I'm pretty sure Dave is going to. Uh, I don't know if even. Uh, also, I forgot. Anybody. Uh, just as a reminder, anybody who has a magic item that has charges, um, uh, make sure to keep track of how often it's recharging charges. Wait, recharging? Yes, sir. It, it, it gets charges back, like on dawn, or it depends on the item. But your staff, staff? Yeah, your staff recharges, sir. By now, it would be recharged to full, mm -hmm. but just keep that in mind. Okay. Uh, so yes, sir. Dave, I believe, he's going to cast... Uh, protection from good and evil on somebody. Uh, Me. He Double so. Care. I guess he'll cast it on you, Thelgren, because you're about to open up the box. Oh God, yes. And because Ral Root's gonna. Be oh wait, who it who open. wants it, Thelgren? You're gonna be investigating it, but Ethel and um. Ral Root are gonna be Ethel the ones that are or Ral Root will right? be the ones. That's maybe it. you're not sure. I but can yeah, also I get protection from it. evil and good. Yeah, but your arm is... Oh, you can? Oh, cool. Yeah. Well, because here's the thing. It's a much smaller box, so probably only one person is going to need to open it. So probably uh, either Raul Root or Thelgren need this. Well, then we'll give it to both of them. All right, Why so not? Dave is sure. casting. Uh, so he's... I close the distance on myself. He's putting it on you, Thelgren. So Dave is doing... Hey. Dave is doing you. Cool. Yeah. Okay. 22 on athletics, nice. Only a plus 9 though. Ooh. 25. Alright. Uh, so... Oh, why'd you roll an athletics check? I didn't ask you for one yet. Oh. <laughs> well, I didn't I didn't ask you for one. Uh, Thalgren, make a... Make another investigation check. Another one? Okay. Here we go. 18. They're slowly going downhill. Also, does anybody want to... Um, I forgot what it's called. Jaeger, um, the missing people. Jaeger, That's fine, I'll take one. I guess I'll get. I'll open up Avalaba's character sheet. Oh, uh, where it is. Alright. So, uh, you look it over... Thelgren, uh, and you see there is uh, this can actually be opened a little more although uh, the buttons to actually hit it um, oh. require you, because you have this small cube still, it's much smaller, 2x2x2 two by two by two. Uh -huh. um, and you don't see any way to pull it apart from the outside Mm -hmm. But you see that there is, like, a crevice, almost as if there was, um, like this broke apart into four pieces again. Mm -hmm. Uh, just like you pulled off the panels. Uh, maybe there's a way to pull it apart by putting your, one of your fingers through, like, the holes and maybe pulling it apart. You're not sure. Okay, Raul Root, you're the resident expert on this. Come stick your finger in this hole. Okay. Oh, Jesus. I'm gonna I'm cast the uh, aspect of the Everbear on myself. Why didn't I think this would be a thing? 
Uh, <laughs> oh god. Okay, so, um, you hand over the metallic box to him. Um, Raul Root, I need you to make a sleight of hand check. Wait, are, are you trying to look, are you trying to look for a button, or, or are you just trying to pry this thing apart? Uh, what does Delgren tell me to do? I mean, I told you to uh, that's the stick your finger Go in ahead. the hole, but I guess we should look for like a mechanism to unlock. Yeah, because so I will also I will it. also say none of you have looked inside of this thing. See, because you can see like this entire time, there's always been some holes going straight down directly to the actual whatever's inside. But you don't know. Okay. None of you have like looked into it. But I'll, at this I'll point, because when when it was still the five by five by five. The light was too dim to see from the outside, but now that it's the smaller cube, you can actually see the light coming out of it now. And yeah, I think we'll just look for a mechanism. We don't want to damage yeah. it. I'll do that. Just in case it's holding like a soul of like an evil spirit or something like that. What if this is the mechanism? All right. Uh, uh, so who's who's who is trying to do what to it? Uh, I'll just be the muscle. Someone All right, listen. If if I had a working hand, I would just open it. I'm not new to spirits or anything like that. Okay, then yeah, I guess I'll look for a mechanism. All right, I'm making another investigation check. Here we go. Come on, baby. You have a plus three. Oh, that's four plus three. Fourteen plus three. Crap. That's seventeen. All right. Why am uh, I roll so bad? You poke your finger around inside. Oh, Jesus. Story of my life. You put your finger inside of the metal cube, and you try to look for any sort of button, or release, or latch, and it's strange. Oh, God, this is... <laughs> Go on. God damn it. <laughs> it Can we just feels get like opening the cube. I don't want to. I don't want this to describe. <laughs> well, I need. I need this to be described. I this, there. There is almost. There is almost an ominous, like heavy energy to the cube. If and I lose my finger, I'm gonna be upset. You feel yourself like as you're searching around. Like the closer you get to the in, like the center of the cube, the heavier you feel. Oh you almost feel lethargic. But also like angry. Oh god. Mad. <laughs> and Robert. you try to search around and it's it's strange because you're trying to like feel around the inside of the cube without touching whatever's at the center of it. And eventually you're not even sure what you hit, but just you hear a tink tink and you start hearing clicking. Just tink tink tink. Bomb has been planted. Uh and yeah. And uh, you see that the cube, it's slowly, all of the pieces are slowly starting to push each other apart. What does hey, still I did it. So are you just holding it? Uh, uh I I'll, 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 I'll hold it. I'll hold it. Okay, if you insist. <laughs> right, I'll, so... put, I'll cast Aspect of the Everbear on myself, too. <laughs> just in case. I was debating if I want to hold it, but I don't know. Alright, so he passes it over to you. Um... And you do have this on you, okay. Uh, oh shit, okay. So, uh, with the protection from evil and good spell, um, this anger, like the angry feeling you're feeling, you let go and you hand it to Raul Root, and Raul Root, you start to feel it. As you watch, the light starts to shoot out from the crevices that are opening oh, up as the cube is starting to break into four pieces and whatever is inside of it will be let out. Oh crap. Let's go! Embrace. Let's embrace. I'm bracing. While it's being let out, I'm just gonna ping a divine sense. I'm gonna ping a divine sense. Uh, you're gonna is ping it? a divine sense? Yeah. Uh, does it... What? I, I always need to read this ability, because it's always a ton of different things. Yeah, it's weird. There you go, I sent it. Oh, pawn. Uh... Whoa, people Strong are... Strong evil. Fireworks. Whoa! Uh... Do, 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 do. Uh... I don't know if it'll do anything, but I'd rather use it It than... is... 
Although not necessarily by the hollow spell, it is desecrated. Oh, oh. god. <laughs> it's desecrated. That's never good, is and it? And you don't... You don't get any ping of a certain creature type because it is not a creature? Yeah, oh, no, that, that, that's fine. I just... Put but, it back in the but all of you start to feel that, like angry and real rude. You feel it the most, and it's a familiar feeling. Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, it's real rude. Let's be real. <laughs> no, but specifically familiar. Oh, you remember? Oh. You remember feeling this blind anger during the during the last war, 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 war. Oh. while in the middle oh. of combat. Just tearing through people as if they were just objects. Cattle, even? Exactly. Oh. And you feel yourself slowly start sinking back into the mindset of a soldier made to kill. Uh -oh. As Execute the box finally... Six, six. And these four corners of lead just fall down onto the ground. And you see this red crystal just blood red just falls down uh are you are you cupping the like how are you holding the cube are you cupping Ooh, it pretty crystal in your so hand like, or are you holding the outside so like uh, like is this crystal but, going but to the cube like like you hold a water polo ball so the crystal will fall into your hand yes <laughs> When he said that, I imagined him like you know how they hold okay. the ball when they're about to throw it. Yeah, so like like it's in <laughs> front of me, it, and then I'm putting my other hand like uh, on top. Oh, so they're on. It's on top. It's not underneath it. No. So okay. my one. So my so my right hand is under, and then my left hand's gonna be like hovering above it, just in case something like you know. Okay, so this falls apart into. I believe it is eight separate pieces as the cube just ting, 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 like oh, parts God, all fall to the ground and like all of these chunks of lead just ting, ting, fall into the deck just cracking into the wood and amongst the pile you see this red crystal just ting, 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 fall in between all of it and you all feel this just flare of anger um uh who was around it, the crystal? I mean, I would have been probably. I was like right there. You have trying protection to from out. evil and good. So does Ralarud. Hey. Uh, the, the rest of you, you're not touching it. Uh, <laughs> you're you're close by, <laughs> and you you duo. all feel like just this anger coming out. And at this point, the red light is just filling the. Uh, and where are you guys doing this? Are you doing this in the bottom of the ship, like no, in the I cargo hold? Know. In the bottom where the cube fell. Yeah, okay, I don't so, think we said we were going to take it up to deck. So you're in like the cargo that. hold with this thing, and the red light is just permeating out from this pile of metal scraps, and the crystal is laying in there somewhere. I thought I was cupping it, no? Oh, well, I'll... Well, yeah. no, you were holding the... You said you were holding the top, so it just top fell. Top and bottom. It, uh, well, he no, was holding no. the bottom, and his hand was hovering over the top. Oh, so it were you holding it closed then? Okay, so okay, water polo ball in front of you, okay? You hold it I have one hand under and then the other hand's hovering above. Alright, so yeah, are you gonna are you cause the pieces are pushing open. Are you holding it closed? Okay, so okay, okay, Alex, sorry. How, how do <laughs> I um I am so confused. confused. Okay, so well here here's the long and the short of it. This is the only important part. Is that are you holding the crystal? Yes, I'm holding the crystal. Yeah. All right. Uh, the crystal falls into your hand, and it is just a sh direct flashback to the middle of the last war, just charging forward with the rest of your like the rest of the soldiers no sense of camaraderie there's no sense of sides of purpose just there you go carnage of chaos combat <laughs> you're so stupid Juan <laughs> um, Alex didn't get it but so I had to find the picture that best most represents yeah. <laughs> nice um, 
So yeah, and it falls into your hand, and you guys see as Ral Root just is staring at this crystal. Just, you see the rest of the metal that he was holding onto just falls out of his grip, and he is now just staring at the crystal in his palm. What, we should what identify it, right? What do I feel? Uh, you're just see you're just seeing that you're wa you are just back in the last war. Everybody uh, else, you're just you're watching him. He is frozen. Nothing else. He's just staring. What part at him. of the war? Yes. Um, this this is really matters. matters. I mean, kind of. Because I did fight zombies and then I also fought uh, dinosaurs. I think zombies. Zombies and dinosaurs. And dinosaurs. That's what what about doing. zombie dinosaurs? It's it's all very vague. It's just a lot of you just like all the parts you're getting, there there are little details. It's you just tearing through people, through creatures, through anything. Okay. It is combat. It is just pure unadulterated war. Okay. Can I, like, reach out for the crystal, like, see if I can, like, take it from his hand and take a look oh, at it myself? <laughs> I don't think that's a good idea. <laughs> it's okay. I got this. Well, uh, if I am in the worst state, then... Sorry, Matt. It's okay. Alright, so are you you're reaching out for it? Yes. But, like, I, I won't, like, try grabbing it from his hand. I'm just gonna, like, you know, gesture, like, like, hands it over. Uh, he doesn't. He is staring at it. The rest of okay. you guys see, he's just standing there, staring into it. Hey, Brian, come here. See if you can come grab this crystal. <laughs> I can't grab anything with my hands. And you have a prosthetic. Uh, Rel, Rel, Rel Root. My shield. Rel Root, you are conscious. Oh, well. You do see, you do see Thalgren, like, motion for you to hand over the crystal. I'm just gonna ignore, <laughs> ignore the hat. Swap the crystal. Yeah, you're, you're not charmed because of the spell but it is just this immense force beckoning for you um can we cast identify on it or does he need to be touching it to... um i don't know let me see the identify spell I'm probably gonna have to make some weird ruling about it it is touch he has to touch it all right so uh, whoever casts it, protection for good and evil, drops it on Thelgren and gives it to Avalava, and then he touches no, it. No, 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 I, I, I want to stay safe. You should probably go to the top of all Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a concentration spell, so it can only be cast... It's only gonna be on one person at a time. And I'd oh, rather well. find out... Listen, I'd rather find out what this crystal is than keep you <laughs> safe right now. Oh, okay, because otherwise no, we're all gonna be in trouble. I'm so valued around here, fine. So be it. <sighs> All right, um, so yeah, whoever casted it, because I'm controlling both Dave and myself, so whoever cast it on Thelgren is going to cast it on Ambala. I'm pretty sure Dave cast it on me. All right, yeah. so Th Dave asks you to just step back. I'm going to stand behind the captain. All right. <laughs> All right, so you step back. And then pretty much, yeah, Ambala is just going to cast Identify on it. Are we gonna use a charge on that or what? Uh, you're gonna punch him? Well, Alex did say I was in the worst state. I mean, well, no, that's... you're not charmed. I you're, mean, you're conscious. I mean, no, yeah, Rel Root. However, you think you would react to that? That's fair. If you, I mean, I mean okay. that's fair. But he's acting like he's charmed. Well, it's if not, okay. it's however, okay. it's no, how... if that's if that's how you rule it. Fine, I don't, I don't give a fuck. Yeah, however, you think Rel Root would react. Okay. Okay. I I still I still know that they are my out or allies, but I am feeling very angry. I have lashed out. Raru has lashed out before. I mean, he doesn't even even need to grab it; he just needs to touch it. So <laughs> honestly, okay, he could fine. just okay, cast fine. hold okay, person okay. on Raru. You, you know what? Abalaba goes to walk over and Raru. If he touch, if he tries to like like, if I see him like, you know. Like, you know how, like, you could tell when someone's gonna grab something? Yeah. If he's doing that, then Raru's gonna punch him. If he's just, like, pointing with a finger just to touch it, then I think that's, I think, uh... Okay, if Raru he goes to take it from you, you will attack. Yes. Yes. Alright. So, Thelgren, uh, you see Abalaba going to reach over, 
To hold it, is what he tells you. Okay. You well, gotta I, turn into Gollum. I just get him to touch it, because he needs to touch it. Alright. So... He doesn't need to hold it. He goes over, and he begins his one minute... He begins his one minute ritual. Uh, you see, he puts... He, he takes a pearl out of his pouch, uh, and an owl feather, and he ho holds the pearl to his forehead as he just does the ritual for a minute over the crystal. And... I need Abalaba to make an intelligence saving throw for me. Oh boy. Here we go. This is... That's my character sheet. I mean, it's the same modifier. Look at uh, <laughs> Oh, why won't it roll for me? Is it actually the same modifier? Yeah, we both have plus eight. So I'll just roll on mine. Uh, that's an eight plus eight, sixteen. Okay, a sixteen. Yeah. Uh. All right. Oh, for some reason I thought he he had plus five intelligence. Uh, no, he's been he's been going hard into Khan. Yeah. He's gonna be the world's tankiest wizard. <laughs> uh. Okay. Man, bad roll. Oh, I don't like the sound of that. Uh, all right, Abalaba takes uh seventy-one points of psychic damage oh, as you want. What? He just drops the cri the crystal falls out of his hand into Raul Roots. As you watch, he just with just a uh, he's got four hit points. You watch just a cough. Just <laughs> there's just a splatter of viscera all over Relroot's chest as uh. Abelad just stumbles back, and you see he's bleeding out of every orifice in his head. Oh, oh, oh! oh. I'm gonna turn back and he turn he turns over to all of you, uh, and you see his face just looks haggard, and you see almost as if. They're not actual scars, it's hazy, but it looks like he's almost been cut a thousand times all over his face. And you see, Yikes. he just looks at all of you, and he just says quietly, It's the Crimson Crystal. The Crimson Crystal? Um, I have no, no idea what that is. <laughs> and Ralrud is just holding it. Still, I... still staring at it, I presume, Ralrud? Yes, yes. Uh, gonna... I don't know what that means either. <laughs> Yeah, I have no idea what that is. Or would I have any idea what that is? I'm gonna turn back. Uh, I mean, roll an investigation check. I mean, roll an Arcana check. Anyone who is trained in Arcana. Am I trained in Arcana? That's a nat 20 plus 12, so that's a 32 on the Arcana check. Nice. You know, just something casual. Nice. Uh, yes. That is the only roll that would have, have had you learn anything. Haha! -ha. That was a DC 30 check. <laughs> nice. Um, anybody else want to roll? Just tell us what it is, old man. Old man? Old man? <laughs> old man. Why is he calling everyone old You're man? You're older than me. <laughs> he's, he's actually trying to fucking throw I, this campaign. Actually, he's actually I, trying to throw this campaign. Um, Felgren. Uh huh. You have no idea what the Crimson Crystal is. Oh, Pog. But you do reckon, you do look at the crystal and you see as Ablaba falls back, it looks very similar to something you've seen before. Oh boy. It's a kyber crystal. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. And this one, like another you have seen, is also <laughs> being used to house some sort of a soul. God oh, damn nice. It. Oh, no. I saw this oh, one coming. Not necessarily a soul, but something. There is something, some power in this crystal. And it is strong. Uh -oh. Give it to me, I'll swallow the crystal right now. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, yo, we should introduce this guy to the freaking uh, Necromancer and the other crystal, see if they can hit it off and be friends. Necromancer. Nope. Oh, yeah, right. We didn't tell you about that. It's a long yeah, no story. One needs, no one needs to know about him. 
I mean, we know about him. Yeah, that's fine. Anyway, okay, I'm fine. So what do we Ethel. do? Do we put it back in the box? Yeah, um, I would say put it back in the box. Can we put it back in the box? Can we put it back in the box? Uh, give me a quick second. Um, can I cast oh, oh. cure wounds on Avalon? No. Uh, sure. No. Um, I think I'm doing fifth level. I'll be right. Uh, oh wait. I'm rolling. You're doing fifth level. It's ten d six plus five. Wow. Oh, 10 why? D6. Why is this one die? Look at this, Alex. What? One die is cocked. Well, yeah, it's fine. It's all right. So uh, Abalaba regains forty one hit points. Okay, so he's at forty five right now. Yeah, and you see Abalaba is visibly shaken. <gasps> I only have one Whoa. fifth level spell slot. Yeah. He just used it. Damn. What's right. it worth it? So, Jesus. <laughs> oh, I'm joking. It's um, and you guys, Ralrood, you are holding on to the Crimson Crystal. You see, he's um, just he's just should... staring into it. Yeah, we should put that back in the box. What are the rest of you guys doing? We're gonna put the crystal back in the box. You see, I really want to grab it just to see what would happen. Okay, then grab it. We already saw what was gonna happen. No, but I don't have the protection from good and evil spell. Oh on lord. Me. Oh my god. Go ahead, Captain. I took it. to want to see though. <laughs> like, how are we supposed to find out what actually is gonna happen? Yeah, you know what? Screw it. Grab it. If we're lucky, you die, and I get to become captain. Have one of the crewmates grab it. No! <laughs> Have Brown Tooth grab it! Your captain <laughs> orders it. Anybody but Brown Tooth. <laughs> Have Ethel grab it. Nah. No, your captain orders Ethel it. You gotta grab do it, it now. Captain's orders. Uh, well, give me a second. I will be right back, guys. I need to use the bathroom. Can oh. you grab the clear case? Uh, you guys decide what you want to do with this crystal, as Raoul Root is kind of defending it. <laughs> Listen, I will grab onto it. If you guys want me to, I will do it. I don't want you to I mean, well, we will. I mean, uh, that's entirely up to you. Yeah, there's not a chance that can go wrong. Not at all. Nope, not at all. Yeah, I really need that. Listen, let's say, worst case scenario, I die. I have a million other character concepts, okay? <laughs> Come on, this character is, that you're playing right now has been around since, like, what? Like, our first actual campaign? You can't just. Well, not our first actual campaign. Okay, can that was yeah. Barrister, the no, that was Barrister, the Ace. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. You're an Ace Mark. Mhm. Mm uh, he's actually part of uh. No, it's okay. You can die. I can bring you back. I think. <laughs> no, Probably. you don't need to. <laughs> it's in his will. Don't bring me back. Do not resuscitate. <laughs> do not bring me back. I do not want to come back. <laughs> I do not want to come back. Just let me die, please. No, but I will say, if I do die, I already have a character in place. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, it was it was planned out that if I don't die, then we're just going to meet him. Oh. But, yeah. But you want to die so you can play as him? Well, no. I want to continue going and upgrade my weapon, but it seems like a long time, and it makes me oh, sad. Oh, give me a second. <laughs> That's what we need to go do. Alright, are we doing what we're doing die? right now? We're doing something else. Are we letting Joey die or are we Well are I we don't know him... if I'll die. Yeah, we don't know if he'll die. Are we So I mean wait. Might as well find out. Wait, 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 Joey. Wait. How about this? I can summon an animal from the ocean. We can give that animal we can bring that animal onto the boat. Give that animal the crystal and then see what happens. Well, yeah, but then we won't have any information other than... Yeah, that's something oh, yeah. I can talk to animals. Uh, I doubt the animal will be able to survive. Come on, we can bring up a dolphin. That'll be fine. Uh, the dolphin's gonna die. It needs to be in the water. Nah, it's fine, bro. No, no, no. Dolphins will be fine. They'll be okay. Are you, sea what turtle! Are you, I'll bring up a turtle, what are you, guys. How are you no, gonna get it to them? Turtle. They don't have hands. No, I'll just Put like, in it to them. Off. No, we'll have we'll have Raoul feed it to him. Wawood. We'll have Wawood feed it to him. <laughs> Wawood. <laughs> Wawood's feeding no crystals again. Yay! 
<laughs> well, oh, ooh, don't also, put that crystal uh, in your mouth. I'm sorry, whoever's trying to grab the crystal, I'm going for an unarmed strike. I'm sorry. Nobody's grabbing the crystal from you. Yeah, we're, we're still trying to decide who's going to grab the crystal. Also, why is it an <laughs> arm strike, Juan? Hmm? I mean, I'm just saying, guys, if you guys can knock it out of Raru's hand, hint, hint. That's what I was going to do. If I was going to come and grab that's it, I was going to hit your wrist. I'll hit you on the back of the neck with, like... Uh, I don't think that's a good idea. I'm going to turn right. invisible and yoke right. it from him. <laughs> you shouldn't grab oh, Raru. Oh, I could turn invisible. Wait, you're right. Do I have a spell? All right, oh, yeah. I can oh, turn Matt, invisible. Matt, 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 Matt could get invincible. What the? I have invincible. Greater invisibility invisible. right now. Invincible. Oh, yeah. Uh, um, I could cast greater invisibility and take it from him. Or we just have Avalava cast hold person. <laughs> I can say, yeah, oh, okay. I'm gonna go grab so and so, and then. Alright, hold up. Or say I'm gonna go do something, and then cast greater invisibility, come back, be all sneaky like, and take. But there's no. You know, Raru is in his war persona. Persona? What's your war persona? Yeah, what is it? What animal? <laughs> it's a dolphin. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Jesus Christ, man. Wally the Dolphin. <laughs> <laughs> He's so bathed in fucking enemy blood that he can swim through it. <laughs> yeah. oh it's That's just the Crimson Dolphin. The oh, Crimson oh, the Dolphin. Crimson, oh, listen, the Crimson Crystal? The Crimson, uh, Bear? I don't know. The Crimson Persona. <laughs> the, the Crimson Furry. <laughs> we, we did have a problem with furries last session. We did. Yeah, wait. Uh, uh. Hmm. Oh, what's it called? Uh. You know, I I wanted Ethel to try to get it, so I have an excuse to attack Ethel. But <laughs> jeez, yo, that Why that'd be a badass fucking that'd be a badass team name, the Crimson Wolves. Crimson Wolves. That sounds edgy. That Too sounds edgy. Cool it oh, does. <laughs> no, it really does. It sounds edgy. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I like it so much. This sounds edgy. Oh, God. Sounds like a cult. So, uh, so we we're gonna. Cult. So Alex is gonna come back and he's gonna ask what we were talking about. We're just gonna tell him we're gonna talk. We were talking about Rattle Roots for Sona. <laughs> yeah. The Crimson, the Crimson Dolphin. Wally the Dolphin, Ralroot's fursona. <laughs> yep. No, what, you know, we know what does surprise or I feel like is not surprising. What? There's probably someone who would actually who's actually a fursona, Wally the Dolphin. Yeah, there probably is. Y you, you ever, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. I was trying to come up with like a name that was as close to Ralroot as as like like as possible, but what the only two options that I could think of quickly was Randy and Wally. Oh, what about why not? Why not Ralph? Uh, <laughs> no. Ralph. Ralph the Crimson what? Dolphin. I have to run the game. You bastard. Ralph. <laughs> Ralph. Sorry about that, gamers. We're we were just talking about Ralph Roots persona. Don't worry about it. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, I'm back. <laughs> yeah, you missed. You missed it. I'm glad I did. No, you <laughs> shouldn't be. All right, let's get it done. And if I die, I die. Abalaba well, whole person. That's the attitude we like to have around here. All right. Uh, would yes. Abalaba actually want you to touch the crystal? <laughs> Abalaba hold person. Yeah, that's Abalaba just, cast hold. That's, that's a fair point. Abalaba's gonna cast hold person on Ralru. Okay, so what's the plan right now? Uh, Ralru's gonna resist. Uh, hold on. Can I cast it at a higher level? Yeah, that's hold targeting person. more people. Oh, it yeah, doesn't no, raise the DC or anything like that? No. no. Okay, then yeah, uh, we'll just cast it at first level or whatever. Uh, also, can someone roll for me, please? Sure, Juan. You're not doing anything dangerous while you're on the phone, right? I'll do it for you. No, I'm, 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 fi I'm filling air in my tire right now. He's, shuffle oh, okay. he's shoveling the snow again. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. Uh, so snow. what was it? It's a wisdom save? Yeah, a wisdom 16, I want to say? Uh, let me check that for you real fast. Uh, uh, hold person, hit DC, wisdom 16, yes. That's weird. Um, uh, he saves. As you see, Raul Root is wow, staring down. That 20. You see his, mu you see his muscles tense? 
but he is still clutching the stone. <laughs> Do we try it again? We go again! <laughs> and Rel, and Rel Root, you feel this. They are trying to get the crystal from you. <laughs> All right, hold up. All right, hold up. Hold up. Hey, actually, actually, hold up. Oh God. Ralru does get a response because it takes it's six seconds pre to cast the spell. It's one of his pre-rehearsed Academy Award-winning speeches. Yeah, hold up. <laughs> and Ralru, Ralru, you feel, you feel the spell try taking over you, okay. and you get angry. I am getting angry. You get angry. <laughs> Uh, give him one more try, and then we're just gonna. I also, me. I also have a spell I'd like to try on this turn. Wow. Okay, and then um, if I feels it again, he's okay. Right now, all he's gonna do, he's gonna clench his fist even harder, and just like you know, he's gonna wait for that. He's gonna wait for them to attack, quote unquote. And if they do, he's gonna start swinging. Quote so unquote. Right uh, 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 air quotes. Quotes. I'm okay, Alex. I'm gonna look at I'm gonna look at Ralru, and I'm gonna cast Command and say drop. Bad dog. <laughs> While he does that, can I turn invisible? Or it's not will not feel weak again. <laughs> He's ready to attack. Oh wait, Ralru, are you attacking? We're just doing uh, a skirmish uh, initiative here. Uh, the the if Ra Joey th throws command. Uh, well, the two of you roll. Roll initiative checks. See who gets to do oh, this he's, first. He's gonna, we're just doing we're just doing skirmish initiative here. Nope. So that's a you don't even need initiative. to roll. Your bonus will beat me. <laughs> uh, okay. Also, I can't I can't see anybody else's rolls than my own. L. <laughs> oh, it's because mine are being cast as DM rolls. For all my oh. initiative, since I was saying I'm gonna turn invisible as he does that. Uh, well, we're just doing skirmish. It's just whoever says whatever first. Oh, okay. He did say he would attack after I casted command. <laughs> I did. I did say that. Well, but I'm you... writing attack. I'm writing attack if, if it has to go by initiative. Oh, well, no, it's not actually going by initiative. You see he's starting to cast it at you, so you... Okay. And you're yep. faster than him. Behind him. So, yeah. Echo behind him. Echo yeah, behind him. Yeah. Uh, are you just... Are you tearing in? Are you going full turn? Uh, no, I just put my echo and did writing attack. Well, yeah, Juan, you see he's about to cast a spell. Are you going oh. to attack? No. You're not attacking? No, not yet. Okay, well then, what's the save? 17 wisdom. Oh, watch him save he's again. Done. He's well, probably. He did! Oh my god! His save is horrible, but he saved! There you go. Ralroot, are you attacking? He just cast it on uh. Who's gonna also, go Dave. Attack. Dave does cannot cast protection twice, so whoever he moved it to, uh, somebody else would have to cast it. He cannot uh, cast it again. He he gets it once per day from the birthright. <laughs> oh. oh, that's what he cast it from. Yeah. Oh well, then I would have had to be the one to move it. Uh, who are you so putting? Means it who did you put it on? Lost protection. Well, because we, we no just said protection that was on you, Thelgren. He cast it on you. We just said oh. that we put it so on. So you still have it. Both Thelgren and Raul Rue. Yeah, that's right. what. That's what we said. That's yeah, why. So, I was so would you would you have moved it off of Raul Rue while he's holding the crystal? I mean, as much as I would want to say no, we moved it to Abalaba. Yeah. Right. Wow. Okay, then Ralru is making a different saving throw. Why is Ralru always the problem of the party? Before any, <laughs> you're, you're, you're the one who moved the spell off of him. Well, I no, I just assumed that Dave had could cast it multiple times. Well, no, we that's the thing. That's the thing. On. You guys would have known this. Okay, so. then he would have cast it on Ralru because Ralru would be in constant contact with the stone. And sure. then I would have moved mine. Okay, sure, we'll do that. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Whatever, I don't want to mess with time. Messing with time is annoying. Okay, so he's not making another save. Okay. Uh, so, Raul Root, you, are you letting loose your attacks? You you said uh, yeah. after he does his spell. Yeah. All right. Yeah, so you're just waiting for him. So, Raul Root is going to make a bunch of attacks against you. Is he going to Nova? 
Uh, Why does it keep what? rolling multiple times? Uh, that's a 20 and a 25 for the first two. Jesus. Um, and then... Shield, 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 shield. Yeah. As I see him making the attacks, can I like turn invisible or and then and, like, you... try getting behind him? Ah, uh, yeah. Do you want to make an action? Do you want to just go full in, Rotor? Uh, if, if he's shielding, then no. Do I recognize he's shielding? What are you doing? Yes. Are you shielding? Uh, just... You know what? I should just take both these attacks and make him feel bad. <laughs> I don't... You're gonna guilt trip him. <laughs> You're gonna guilt trip him into dropping the crystal. I like it. <laughs> I mean, that's not gonna work. Uh, what but are you that doing? first, uh, the first attack was what? Twenty. Twenty. Twenty and twenty-five. I'll, I'll let them both hit me. All right, then he is tearing into you. So are you yeah. see? So e you even though our root won't feel anything, Juan's gonna feel something. <laughs> So third, <laughs> you're guilt tripping him. That's third. That's a twenty-six. Fourth is a twenty-four as he action surges, and then his fifth is going to be. He's gonna nova. Yikes! A twenty-two. Nice. They all hit hard too. Uh, first, seventeen points of damage. Uh. That noise is loud. Could you mute sorry. yourself? Or... Sorry, 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 sorry. I like sorry. the noise. Keep it going. Eight, 18 points of damage from the second. Alright. You see, even with shield, I would only block two of these. The third is 13. Two is still better than however many attacks you're taking. Uh, okay, there we go. So it was 17, 18, 13. 18, 16, and then, oh, the fourth. Oh, yeah, he does make a sixth because he's unleashing again. So 27 was the last, and then another 10 damage on that last one. How are I'm going to sh shatter shield that last one. Oh, what's his save? Uh, giving me resistance. It, uh, oh, well, then you, you only get resistance to the last one. Yeah, I know. Uh, this this worked out actually beautifully. It's a 17 strength saving throw to be, uh, resist falling prone. 19. Oh my okay. god! <laughs> or actually, no, 14. It rolled twice. It's 14. Then he go he goes prone, and I'm at one HP. <laughs> oh shit! He took you down to one. Mm -hmm. Oh, with the shatter shield at the end. So Raul Root gets knocked back. He's still holding the crystal and just. <laughs> falls back. Actually, would he indomitable this? No, he's not. Nah. Uh, Ra actually, yeah, Raul Root, would you indomitable hey, Alex, this? Don't, don't say anything. I wanted that to be a surprise, because I wanted to see uh, if Joey was like, ha, you fool, I cast command on you. And he'd be like, yeah, Raul Root chooses not to be under anyone's control. Well, yeah, that's the thing. Are you gonna, yeah. do you want to indomitable this so they don't knock you prone? What's he doing? It knocks you prone. Um... Hey, nah. Ethel, you're also here if you want to do anything. Nah. You see this. Alright, so you just take the hit, fall to the ground. Uh, Thalgren, what are you doing? Uh, how is he holding the crystal in his hand? Well, he's clutching. been knocked down at this point. He's clutching it full on. Okay. So, uh, I'm gonna... Hmm, how do I want to do this? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go over to the hand that he's holding it in. Oh, so yeah, first, who, off his hand. who has who has protection on them right now? Uh, Abalaba and Railroad. Yeah. Abalaba and Railroad. God, right. maybe this is the best idea. <laughs> yeah, and Abala or er, and th Railroad. At this point, yeah. you don't you don't see your allies anymore and it's not this is not an effect of the crystal this is this is your own mind just shattering um, this is the you're suffering a PTSD attack essentially you, you, you see your enemies and you see you see your enemies of the last war in front of you just a menagerie. Good soldier follow orders. Execute <laughs> order 66. <laughs> yeah, and you guys see this. It is similar to when Ralroot broke down in the arena fight and almost killed Dave. 
It's okay, guys. He used all oh, his resources on me. You we should good. give him some. We should get him some freaking mental help. But you know, uh, so Felgren, what are you doing? Oh, uh, so okay. So what I was gonna do was I'm gonna try like stabbing him in the hand or in the arm to try and get him to drop the crystal. Make an attack roll with advantage because he is prone. Yes, sir. Wait, if, if, does it auto crit if he's prone? No, that's a oh, okay. separate thing. Okay, then yeah. I think it's restrained or no, yeah. not restrained. Is it restrained? It's incapacitated. Okay, it's with advantage. Or paralyzed. That's a 21 to hit. That hits. Roll damage uh, with uh, sneak attack. That's 9, and then sneak attack is what? 5d6? Cause I think oh, wait, I what was it to one. hit? 21? Uh, yeah. Oh, that was just barely his AC. Ha, ah, nice. So that's 9 plus 5d6. Uh, he is going to make a concentration check. He holds on to the spell. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Oh, yeah, you're up next. It's a 9 plus 16, so 25. And then I think because of the mass, that's an additional D10 of damage. 25 reduced by 4, so 21, and then extra D10. Plus an additional 1 because of the D10, Sag. Right. So it's 26, and then whatever reductions. All right, so he takes the hit and he's just staring up at you guys. Is he not gonna drop the crystal? Raulrude, are you dropping I'm the crystal? Him with the rapier in the uh, hand. I mean, think... I mean, I mean, he took the rapier I, to the I, hand. You would think he would drop it. Hold up, hold up. To be fair, if Raulrude is going into a frenzy, I think his fighting form is less refined, so I don't think he will. Also, work. Doesn't he need two hands to hold his weapon? How is he holding the crystal and swiping at me? I have other shit. I have a warhammer. I have a lot of weapons. I don't think that's what was rolled against me. Oh, I mean, okay. I think he could attack with it with one hand. Doesn't he have something that lets uh, him do that? It's a uh, glaive. Uh, no. Well, yeah, he oh, would have pushed it. You would have had to put it away in your pack. That's fine, I guess. Yeah, Hold so on. he, he, he would have had to put it in his pack. Oh, okay. Then. Well, then he's so... not holding it right now. Yeah, he's not holding it. Yeah, so that's okay, my so, bad. Wait, like, what pack is it? Like, his backpack or something? Yeah, uh, you see, there's a there's a bunch of packs on him, like around well, like well, I would have seen, like I because uh, I was looking at him the entire time. So which one did he put it on? Uh, well, hold on, let's see. Sleight of hand. Oh uh, yeah, your passive. Oh shit! Look at that. That's ridiculous. He's rolling so good. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, well, you're, that is higher than your passive perception. Yeah. You don't know where oh. he put it. Yeah, I still can't see any of this. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Well, yeah. Okay. Uh, can I roll it? Like, on my turn, can I, like, roll yeah. a check to see if I can... Okay, roll so up. would it be another perception? Uh, this would be investigation. You're searching through him now while he's down on the ground. 24 on the investigation. You reach in, and you open up one of the tops of one of the packs, and you see the red light coming out. Are you going to reach in for it? Uh, no, I'm just going to cut the pack off, like with the sword or something like that, and I'm just going to throw it across right, the You room. just cut the pack off and just throw the throw the crystal to the side. Um, Raul Root, as soon as the yeah. crystal leaves your side, Thalgren, you're holding on to the pack and you feel this rage, but you just oh managed to throw the crystal across. Um, Raul Root, you feel, you feel a lot of the anger leave you as the crystal is thrown across the room. How does PTSD work? It's an episode, right? It takes a while. Well, there's different. It depends. One. It's person by person. This is. It's your character. You decide how it works. What mm. is Ral? What is Ral Root seeing? What is he feeling? Last time he broke down into tears. <laughs> uh, I think it's gonna take for him a while to wind down. All right, but what is he doing? Is he still combative, or is he like, um, or is he just like? I mean, the, the the less anger, so I think he's gonna be a little less. Aggressive. So it's like more of a panic attack now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you guys see, as soon as the crystal leaves Raul Root's side, he just like, he's just on the ground like. At this point, he would be sobbing, and he is just like. Oh. Ro rocking back and forth, and the crystal you see just goes to the other side of the room. 
He needs All right, well, time for me to grab it. And Ralru. Uh, are you guys letting Ralru go, or Bramgrim go grab the crystal? Listen, I'm on one HP. If I turn evil, you can just knock me down. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> that if he wants to grab it, go for it. <laughs> Your funeral. <laughs> But why do you think it will only turn you evil? <laughs> because that's what everything does when I grab it. That's true. <laughs> that is fair. I will... Okay, uh, I will say... Because it is blatantly obvious to you guys the immense power this crystal holds. Like, if it was able to affect Ralroot in such a way, even with a protection from good and evil spell, it would do... Much worse than just take over you, you feel. That's what Joey wants. Whoa. Well, I mean... So listen, this is a DM step- very... This is a DM stepping out of his way and saying, you can potentially just die. I understand that, but I really, really want to grab it. Not just as Bramgrim, but as yeah, Joey. Yeah, that's the thing. This isn't your character. This is you. <laughs> I know, but I still want to do it. Big difference. Big difference. So, Someone did not join down. And there's the, there's the of the You do you do right? see Thelgrin walk you do or uh, Ralroot, you do see Bramgrim walking over to the crystal. Hold on, there's the metal pieces that drop on the ground, right? Yeah. Can I put it back together and then like I scoop it up? Yeah, scoop it up. Uh make a this would be just intelligence, an intelligence to check. You're, you're not trying... gonna put puzzles together. It, it's gonna, it's gonna slip out of my hand, or slip out of the metal and touch my hand. <laughs> it's gonna be like a hole in, like the hole, and it's just gonna go. Eleven or something like that. You're not sure how to put it back together, but it is still right. in, it is still in Ral Root's pack. His pack was just thrown across the room. I'm gonna ask Abelaba for help. <laughs> uh, you do have a few people who are capable of like picking things up from afar. Keep that in mind. <laughs> yeah, some of us have Mage Hand. Yeah. Hmm. So maybe don't grab it? Yeah, and I'll Why keep, did you I try and forgetting you grab it out of Robert's hand with the invis invisible Mage Hand? Yeah, that, that, I don't think I can, I can turn it invisible yet. It can. That comes later. Yeah, can just, uh, can. You can just choose to have it be invisible. <laughs> it doesn't matter. This is cooler. I turn it invisible, I come up behind him, and I throw it away. I feel cooler. Okay. Alright. Yeah, you could have saved me 87 points of damage. You know, you decided to take that. That's really not my I, fault. Even if I blocked it, it wouldn't have done much. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Wait, only 87? God damn it, yeah. I need to do more damage. Mm -hmm. You know what I should have done? I, sh I should have used all but one charge on my helpers. Or just all of them. Fuck it. <laughs> yeah, if it explodes, extra damage. So On everyone. What are you guys doing? Oh, I'm gonna... I'm gonna heal myself. Uh, I'm just gonna say nobody touch the crystal. Double 26. Uh, can I use, like, a cloth or something? And try and, like... Alright, so you... Mage hand! Mage hand! Okay, never mind! Mage hand! Mage hand! <laughs> you know what? Throw it in the ocean. Fuck it. No. Oh! <laughs> and I will say, this crystal, um, it's a couple inches in diameter. It's not tiny. It's pretty, it's like, um, I'd say... I mean, the mage hand can hold 10 pounds. So I'd say it's about the size of a baseball, probably a little smaller, but it's not like a perfect sphere or anything. It's like, it's just a crit. It's like a jagged crystal formation about the size of a baseball, I'd say. Interesting. So yeah, uh, I guess, yeah, so wait, is like the containment thing for it put to back together again? Uh, no, Bramgrim couldn't figure it out. Okay, then yeah, don't touch it, we're gonna put the containment thing back. Yeah, because uh, you're, lo you're looking at it, route. putting together even the eight pieces, it's just an empty space in the middle. It seemed like some sort of enchantment, like you see runes along the inside of it, some sort oh, of enchantment boy. was probably holding this in space in between those four, eight pieces. Uh, and oh. that enchantment seems to be broken now. Sad. <laughs> uh, so what do we do with this now? Oh, actually, I'm just gonna store it inside one of my gloves. 
<laughs> oh yeah. What are your gloves? Wait, can we yeah. put them? Oh yeah, yeah. Ethel asks you, what are your what are your gloves? They're pretty much kind of like, uh, they have like uh, miniature dimensions inside of them, so I could put things that weigh less than 15 pounds in there. I remember I had like 15 pounds of sand in there at one point. Wait, no, seriously, can we put it in the bag of holding? Ethel likes them. Mm. <laughs> she wants them for her composting. No, oh, my gloves. sounds disgusting. <laughs> Just making compost uh, appear okay. out of nowhere. Just... <laughs> this is gross. So you won't let, you won't let me grab them? But you want to grab them and put them in the glove? Well, the glove is its own separate dimension. We should be fine. In order to put stuff in the dimension, you have to hold it and then like flip your wrist and it disappears. So you will have to put it in your hand. And then when you okay, summon then... it, it will appear in your hand. <laughs> That's fine! <laughs> Just cast protection on me and I'll stick it in there. You don't have it anymore, I don't have any spell slots. Oh, you goddammit. So what do we do with it now? Ethel will take it. I can put no. it in my side pouches! Wait, I, still I have can put it in my composting side pouch. Composting <laughs> side pouch. What? Do, how, how, do I still have the protection? Because maybe we could put it in the bag of holding. Uh, you do still have protection. And at this point, are you starting to come out of your episode? Yeah. Um, okay, yeah. Um, just quick thinking, I'm gonna grab the bag of holding and just try to reach for the crystal and just strap it in there. No, don't grab the crystal. I'm going to stop him, and I'm going to tell him that we're going to use Mage Hand to put it in there. Yeah, uh, and you yeah, saw, yeah. during that little conflict, as you guys started to fight more, the crystal started to glow brighter. Oh. Ooh, feed it. Oh. Let's fight more and feed it. Joey, Jesus. And you see, actually, <laughs> oh, yeah. at, after throwing it into the corner and you guys calm down a little bit, the, the light seems to die down a bit. Aw, but it's such a shiny crystal. It is still bright, it's just slightly less so. Think about it this way, Thelgren will never need a light anymore. He has, uh, I mean, not to have a crystal, crystal that does that, but this one's so much cooler. Does it grow brighter when you're fighting? I don't think so. I, th I don't, yeah, I mean, I don't think, I don't even think I have to be fighting, as long as people around me are fighting. <laughs> Why are you tearing this family apart? Because it makes this crystal because glow the crystal red. Because it makes it, it shiny. Oh, <laughs> oh god. Alright, fine. Let's okay. put it in the bag of holding. I can't wait for someone to fucking reach inside we, or for us to get inspected like last time where they dump out the entire yeah. bag and then they're gonna grab the onto the fucking crystal. And then they start getting heated, and they and they glows brighter. And then... <laughs> yeah, that's true. You know, I, I mean, they probably. You know what? That, that's not guess. our problem. If it happens, that's not our problem. <laughs> it seems. It sounds like your problem. Nope. Never seen that crystal in my life. I think we should put it in one of the compost pouches, and then put the compost yes! pouch in the bag of holding. Oh, that way, they're just, look the in. <laughs> they're just gonna look <laughs> in, and they're gonna see compost. They're not gonna want to look any deeper. You know what? That's a win-win. Ethel loses her comp <laughs> compost power. I'll just make another one She'll or something. She'll smell better. I'll make another one, it's fine, guys. Okay, so I'll stick it in the compost pouch, and then we stick the compost pouch in, in the... Ethel <laughs> <laughs> so shits in the bag. <laughs> <laughs> she carries it around with her. <laughs> I'm uncomfortable. Uh, you guys go down into the cargo hold and you just see Apple shitting into one of her pouches. She just looks up. Have you ever heard of knocking? <laughs> oh, friend. Oh, okay, God. that's the plan. Put it in the compost pouch, they look, inspect it, and they're gonna just see a compost pouch. Easy peasy. Nobody asked if Ethel was okay with this. They're all just like, yeah. You were the one that suggested yeah, there, putting it in the compost okay, pouch. I the one that suggested it. <laughs> so. You said, let's put it in the compost pouch. I said, okay. Shut up, Joey. God. So, what are you guys doing with the crystal? Seth, we're taking the compost out. pouch, sticking it in the compost pouch, and then sticking the compost pouch in the bag of holding. How many times did you say compost pouch in that entire sentence? A lot. <laughs> like three, four, <laughs> something like that. Hey, Bram, Bram, what do you use your spell slots on? One was protection, one was shatter shield, himself. and then, and then you're... moving protection over. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, that's three. There are four, or five. Numbers. Imagine only having three spell slots. He only has five. Oh, L. But two of them regen on a short rest. 
So I'm a nice. short rest bitch. What color is Ethel's hair? Ethel. He gets. Uh, oh, actually, I, I I have yeah. six. I have six spell slots. Oh wow. Just one I can only use on my. I don't have it marked. That's pack. just a magic. Uh, oh yeah, that's a separate. That's a magic item though. That doesn't count. That's in the, the Google Doc. It's Man. not in my sheet. Either way. Uh, so know. what are you guys doing? The crystal is currently laying across the room. Are you guys letting Raul Root go over? It's it hasn't been ten minutes yet, so he can go move it over. No, nope. I, I'm gonna stop him. We're not touching that. No touchy touchy. <laughs> no touchy touchy. So what are you guys <laughs> doing? It's it's laying there. So Ethel is gonna open her compost pouch. I'm gonna Very take the crystal with the mage hand. I'm gonna bury it as deep as I can within the compost. Oh. And then we're gonna close the compost pouch, open the bag of holding, and put the compost pouch with the crystal inside the bag of holding. Ethel's like right. silently sobbing right now. Oh you can always have more compost. Alright, Ethel opens up- are you opening up your compost bag? Yeah. Alright, so she opens up her compost bag. And you, with your mage hand, float it over and just very slowly pick up the crystal. Uh. And have it fly over towards the <laughs> bag of holding. Watch the crystal be like, uh, whatchamacallit, its own separate dimension or something like that. So it's gonna pull us into the astral plane or whatever. <laughs> That'd be cool. Would it? <laughs> <laughs> the crew's gonna be like, yo, where'd everybody go? <laughs> second campaign, second campaign. Uh, and you see, pretty much... You you make your mage hand go over. Um, are you having it be visible or invisible? Uh, I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter, but I'll do invisible. All right. Um, so the mage hand goes over, grabs it, and just slowly picks it up and pulls it over to the compost bag and just drops it inside. Yeah, we're gonna push it like all the way to the bottom. No one needs to know. You just hear like sludgy. Yeah, there's just like a sludgy squish <laughs> noise. Mmm, <laughs> tasty. It's not fun. It goes in though. All right, close that bad boy and toss it in the bag of holding. All right. I have to. I can't keep it. On... No. No. Nope. Can't keep no. it on your person. And then we're taking the bag of holding and putting it somewhere safe. Guys, not with Railroad. <laughs> yeah. Now Railroad can keep it. No, are you sure? Yeah. Shouldn't we like put it somewhere like so like none of us feel tempted to grab it? Listen, we're not idiots. Yeah, Even though are. I might sure? really want to grab it. Yeah, I really. I won't grab actually it too. grab it. I really, really want to grab it though. I really, really want to grab it. Ethel wants to grab it and try and use it. So. Yeah, you see. All right. Well, mo most it. most of us most of us aren't idiots. I say, give the bag a holding to Brown too. This hair looks like ramen noodles. Like ramen oh, noodles. Jesus. <laughs> so, uh, is there anything else you guys are gonna do? I really think we should take the bag of holding and put it somewhere away from all of us. I think it'll be fine. Put it in the crow's nest. Uh, oh, oh, hang it from the crow's nest. Hang it from the around. anchor. I can. Oh, yes. No, so if something if something no, no, happens, listen, listen. no, listen, look at. Okay, hang it from the crow's nest, and then Ethel can use plant grow so that like vines grow up the crow's nest and like encase it. All right, here's what's gonna happen. Something's I gonna cut like it. That idea. Something's gonna cut it. It's gonna fall into the water. Are you saying and that and my that... plants aren't strong? Yes. You fucker. <laughs> oh, crap. What can we do with it? What can we do with it? We just it's it's in the fucking bag of holding right now. The bag of holding either needs to be flipped or you need to know what you're looking for when you reach in and grab it. Yeah, but all of us are gonna know what we're looking for. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> okay. You act like they're just gonna grab it for no reason. They might. It'll be fine. Okay, if you say so, Cappy. And if it's not, then <laughs> second campaign. <laughs> Fair enough. Can't argue with that logic. Listen, I just want to be on land. Fair enough. So, you guys put it inside of the bag of holding. And it's in the bag of holding. <laughs> nice. So, I, I will add that to the bag of holding. 
compost pouch with random evil crystal. Compost. <laughs> So Ethel, <laughs> someone's gonna like try and like you know they're gonna be like searching for the compost pouch in there and they're gonna stick their hand in the compost. Uh, <laughs> Shit, Crystal. Ethel's compost pa <laughs> compost bag with crimson crystal. Also, who has Gram Grim? You have Aridon's shard, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You know we haven't talked to him in a while. Yeah, no one's gonna talk to him. Why are you just giving him the silent treatment? That's a uh, until I decide to shatter him, yeah. Nobody, yeah, right. nobody Sending else him to his room from his. Nobody else has gone. You haven't asked anybody about that crystal yet, right? I don't think you have. He mm -hmm. only recently told us back in Sharn. What crystal? <laughs> don't worry about Shh, it. There's no crystal. What do you mean? <laughs> the one we just put in the poop pouch? <laughs> it's not poop. It's compost. Yeah, that sounds like poop, but with extra steps. So? Ethel's looking for a bag to use as another compost <laughs> bag. <laughs> you can crazy. use her own roots bag that we just threw She's eyeing, her. um, she's eyeing your gloves. No, <laughs> no. I was gonna say, if we had some bottles left over, you could use that. No, bottles, they, no, how am I supposed to get a bag out? I don't There's a know. reason Shake I use it. the bag. Shake it. It's like a ketchup bottle, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh. Let's, oh. Just get a, let's just get to land. Just get to land, please. So. <laughs> we're, we're, we've been at sea for too long. We're going insane. You guys continue to fix the rest of the ship. And make your way off towards Kornberg. Kornberg? So why is the boat on land? That's what it's called. <laughs> <laughs> we pilot the boat on land. <laughs> <laughs> Just, uh, we, we never learned how to land! <laughs> Where's the anchor? <laughs> so, you guys are no longer on a boat as you make your way <laughs> into what? the dock of Korenberg. Really? We're off of the boat? Yeah. The rest of the crew asks. Ethel doesn't know how to function. Oh, they want to be asks, uh, asks, uh, the Valeria goes up to you and asks, uh, oh. Captain. Yeah, uh, yes. In in the absence of the Vanguard's revelry, uh, and it seems Ethel as well. Uh, who are you going to? Who are you gonna have lead the ship? Brown tooth, easy. Well, he has to drive. Easy. Brown and tooth. Um, Valeria, it, as you are probably the most vocal of the crew. Not that that's a bad thing. I'm back. Yeah, and you God actually damn, have realized since since Fisk has died, Brown Tooth has been his jovial self has just completely. Oh no, gone. Brown Tooth! Someone get this man a drink. I need you to um, I need you to take over for me. Please keep. Uh, take care of the crew. And take Barry, Gary, and Larry with Shut you. Shut up. <laughs> Barry, Gary, and Larry are gone. Oh, yeah, they're so what dead. are you calling them? Uh, they're yeah, gone? Did they kill them? No, it's Barry. Oh, Larry, yeah, so they're, Larry, you guys Larry. didn't question them at all. Yeah, we were going to. That's where we left off. Well, and all I said Barry, was... Barry, Larry, and then what? Barry, Larry, and Gary. If they wanted to stay on okay, the how ship... Do, we and... apart? do they look, like, different, or are they, like, all the That's same... People. Oh, uh, Eliza. <laughs> what? <laughs> what did she say? What did you I say? Wanna know. Don't repeat it. Hold on. <laughs> Give me a sec. Sorry, sorry, mom. Sorry, sorry. Hold on. I what never. <laughs> I never that... thought Eliza would be a time stamp. I need to know. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Someone send it to me, please. <laughs> this is not a thing you should be laughing about. Alright. Yeah. Barry, Larry, and Gary are very respectful. Oh, God. <laughs> Alright, so what are you saying? guys. Did, were you guys gonna oh. question them? <laughs> at any point? It could have been way worse. Uh, um, I mean, we would do. I think we could just speed run it a little bit. Like we would yeah. just question them, like what they were doing on the ship, how, where they got the box, um, if they had to deliver it somewhere. 
And then if they want to, <laughs> like, not go out into the storm, they can stay on the ship and earn some. I don't know. Give them the job. Yes. Oh, Which people also, even know how to sail? Also, also, what the big uh, guy was, or where he come from? The big Chad. There you go. Um. So who's asking what now? I'm guessing the captain would have been in charge. Yeah, of I'll be him. asking the question. At those like look guys. <laughs> okay, so who's a good cop? Who's the bad cop? Bad but we cop. don't need a bad cop. I'll be bad cop, guys. <laughs> I've got my little planty guys. I'm talking let's to Let's not let's not floor. threaten someone who we can get to work on our ship, especially we're missing what three or four people now. Nah, it's fine. Yeah, no. I'm gonna go off alone and talk to them. <laughs> That's safe. Joey's gonna be bad cop and good cop. <laughs> Probably yes. also dead cop. <laughs> <laughs> dead cop. No, they'll be dead if they try. If they try anything. Harm. Yeah. Right. So, right. Anyway, um, yeah. So where they got the the box? Because I, who knows if they know it was the crystal. Um, if they had to deliver it anywhere. Um, do they know who that guy was that was slaughtering oh, all their? Ask them if they know anything about the friends? crystal, like what it does. Well, let's n let's see if they even know what it okay, is. Okay. First questions first. <laughs> they're willing yes. to answer any of your questions because you have there no no roles are needed. Depending. Um, I may ask for some, but they seem like fully willing to just tell you. Yes. Alright, where did they get the box? Um, they tell me. How can I not find well, it? What would a fish accent sound like? I can't. I was can I just speed on it? It was fine. Yeah, I know. Uh, they just tell you that we, we were just crew of the ship. They brought this offshore some they brought this from the shore somewhere a skeleton crew of eternal dominion warriors from the land they brought it already in the box and they put it on the ship to take it down all right um where did you have to deliver it <laughs> we are from the eternal dominion Essentially, a, a group of a massive civilizations spawning the entire sea floor across all of Eberron. And we, we were working for Hal Iri, a stronghold within the Eternal Dominion. Hal Iri? Hal Iri. Um, Harry Lee. Yes, Harry, Harry Lee. Lee. <laughs> Harry Lee, okay, that's how I'll remember it. Ha Haliri is... They are a group, a, a territory, within the Dominion. There's a stronghold within Tahar. They drive mystical research. We have large temples. It's a dream to most Sahugan. Many priests train in Haliri. They've got grand dreams of what the Dominion can become. The center for exploring goal lofty goals. Essentially, the part of the Dominion that's reaching for goals that others would think insane. Conquering the surface. Traveling, conquering the plains, traveling the plains, and some, some believe that they can consume power. In this case, whatever power is within that crystal. From what we know, it is fiendish in nature of the Overlord. Wait a minute. Couldn't we have just asked them what was in the box? They just talked about the crystal. They know about the crystal. We didn't. That's know. fine, but we just have to check they, it out. No, they don't know. The, they don't know there's a crystal. They're just saying something in the box. But they just said crystal. Did they? Yeah. Oh, oops. Eliza, shut the fuck up. Oh well, they. <laughs> that was my bad. They they don't know about the crystal. They just okay, say okay. something something in the box. Is, there's some power with it. 
powerful thing, something fiendish from what we know. And some within the Eternal Dominion, some of Sharagan's greatest champions intend to consume that power. And after all, it th the crystal attracted evil, terrible things, trying to take it back. We didn't want to take it directly into the sea. Our commanders were afraid. We didn't want to go down with it until we were directly above Haliri. But... Something attacked the day we came upon you in the storm. Many of us were afraid we wanted to leave. We didn't like the insane goals of the Haliri. They are reaching too far. Especially with whatever this is. It brings great danger. I don't know what that that thing was on our ship. But be careful with this crystal if you intend to keep it. Do not let it fall into anybody's hands. I do not know your intentions for it. Did you say crystal again? Or the box. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's hard to separate DM though. It's fine, it's fine. Do not let the box or whatever lies within it fall in the hands of those who crave for power. We do not know your intentions, but from what we've seen, you seem like average, but good people, with well intentions. So if you want, if you will allow us, we would like to work on your ship. I, <laughs> I, I, I accept the help. We definitely need it. Like, I, you seem cool. <laughs> Yo, you like, seem cool. We know these seas, and though we will, though we will prove targets of the Dominion if they ever know of us that we've escaped. We do not believe many have survived. So, as long as. We'd like to work on your ship. You're hired. I, I, I was gonna say something. I forgot to say something. It was, um... Alright, but <laughs> okay, I'm gonna ask, do you guys need alibis just in case your own kind finds you? <laughs> alibis? We think anybody who would have seen us flee is now dead. Oh. Yeah, yeah, you got a fair point. What are your names, by the way? <laughs> <laughs> Barry, Larry, and Gary. Can, I, can we actually just call it Barry, Larry, and Gary? And they, they say you're like, uh, <laughs> they go to, uh, actually like, tell your names, and you say that, and they just give you like, the weirdest like what the <laughs> fuck, <laughs> kind of look. Um, uh, and they tell you their names. Uh, the first is. <laughs> the one you called Barry is Zaldas. They're all they're all males. Um, Zaldas. That's a lot cooler than Barry. Fuck man. I think you're just jealous, Joey. Koros. Barry. Koros is the next one, and then Jandas is the last one. All those. Koros and Jarda. Got it. Got it. And I'll I'll send the spelling of that. All right. Zeldas. Koros. And Shantas. And Shantas. There we go. Yo, Jandis, what's up? Yo, Jandis. Get below deck. <laughs> Jandis nuts. <laughs> and Firefox. Jandis <laughs> Can that please be his last name? No. Oh. Wait, what are we called again? Swag Jesus Poo Christ. Swag Poo King? So who again? 
suck a wagon. Or a very Gary <laughs> so Larry. You will be missed. Alright, um... So is that all the questioning we're gonna do? <laughs> Wait, so they don't know about the crystal inside, right? Or what it does? You know nope, what, guys? I all. think it's best if we just forget about this crystal. Yeah, yep, no. definitely. Let's just, let's just leave it in the bag of holding, and then when, when they attack us randomly, let's just be like, Oh, wow, I wonder why they're attacking us. <laughs> Throw the crystal at him. Raised it. <laughs> Throw the crystal at him and frame him for yep. murder. Sounds good. We'll forget about it. Yeah, it makes sense. Alright, let's just, uh... We could blame okay. this who again if, if Uh, give me a second. Wow. <laughs> Damn, someone should have made their PC a Sahuligan. <laughs> uh, so, the Sahuligans uh, are part of the crew. Nice. Hey, it's like we're not even missing anybody. Oh, wait. Fuck. See, um, we don't need to bring Fist back to like. When. <laughs> Jeez. When Ro. When Bramgrim says <laughs> we'll leave this crystal and forget about it um uh -oh. ethel dave el simpinito raul root everybody actually son of a bitch why did i roll so low why everybody so low? uh bram grim does not seem to be entirely honest when he says that Got his ass. All right, that's it. Someone give me the bag of holding. I'm throwing this. Hey, okay, hold up. I'm. I'm. Oh. I, I'm no, it's it's not like an immediate, like no. But all of you get a little bit of a sense. There's like there's a curiosity to Bram Grimm. No, 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 no. Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right Someone like, all right. sleep. Uh, someone's gonna have to like watch him. I'll do it. I'll do it. <laughs> yeah. I'll do it. Give also, me, are you are you guys me. saying this out loud or are you just like continuing? No. We're all uh, yeah, I'll, we're I'll just gonna continue on, on and then we're gonna meet. Alright, Thelgun, you can actually you can actually speak to oh, people yeah, tel we could just tell them telepathically. Yeah. Right. yeah. All right, we're just gonna have to watch him. I'll yeah. just tell him that, and then we're gonna meet later in private to discuss some stuff. Yeah. All right. Uh, so you guys all walk. Um. Okay. Uh, and as you guys come into, before the end of the day, while you guys are coming into port, uh, who are you assigning what positions on the ship? I'm the fixer guy. <clears throat> you're not. I'm the fixer guy. I literally not anymore. Am. I literally You're not, because am. you're going to be traveling with us. You're getting oh. off the ship, remember? Why? Well, that's the thing. Ethel hasn't... Uh, Would you put this in so charge? So far, Ethel's, got, Ethel's going home. She doesn't have a reason to stay with you guys. Hi guys. All right. Fuck her. Fuck her. Uh, yeah. her. Well, no, that's the she thing. You guys, you guys haven't back. asked her if she. You guys haven't been like, yo, stay with us. She hasn't been like, yo, I'll stay with you guys. No, she's right, got. This. If she, she wants her compost there. pouch back, she's gonna have to stay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Either way, I should, I should um, who are you lady. assigning what positions? All right, let me open up. Probably should have asked Jandis and his friends like Someone, what positions at, they at used the very, to have on the At the ship. very least, somebody needs to be captain and someone needs to be quartermaster. Someone needs to be the fixer. I should be the fixer. Uh, captain is going to be um Valeria. All right. Jandis for quartermaster. <laughs> Jandis for quartermaster. Yes, sir. Oh, we still have a couple. Okay, so who who are the ones that died and or got off? Fist, Fist and well, Jesus. Was little... you lost Essie, you lost Pearl, you lost Odell. So those were all general crew members. Essie, Odell, so, yeah. So those were just people helping with the rigging. They didn't have specific positions. But now we have now we have Jandis. Jandis. Jam this fucking dick down your throat. All right, shut up. <laughs> Jam this dick down your throat. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Oh god. You won't have. You won't let me have any fun. Fuck you. Captain Jandis. Jandis what? Jandis <laughs> dick down. Oh god. We are children. <laughs> we are children. Jandis. Uh, All right. Holy shit. Um. All right, so Valeria will be. Oh, let me get rid of Fisk. He's dead. Oh God. Hi, Fisk. Uh, and Valeria will be captain. 
Valeria will be captain. Um, first mate. Um, actually, we don't need to fill in all these, do we? Not all of them. Although uh, a lot of them will be important to do. Will be whatever you think is important. It's your ship. Oh yeah, they have a captain. They'll be fine. Yeah. Uh, Frick. Frick can be mm. quartermaster. All right. So Frick is quartermaster. Their AirPods are dying on me. Frick. Oh, they are. Mm -hmm. they were Frick. Uh, round two. Wait, I can't hear anything at all. Master uh, yeah. Gunner. And be. I've got my. The solvers. Jammed it. I've jammed it so you can jam those cannonballs in the cannon. I should. Yeah, I should have actual headphones. It looks like a. Uh... All right, Jandis. Jandis can be. No, Master Gunner. Yes. Because you're gonna get. You're gonna want to draw. Your arms are gonna get tired. All right. So. Um. <laughs> Both Swain, Ethel, Rip Fisk. Who wrote that? I did. <laughs> um, Boat Swain can be. Uh, Koros. Uh, Koros is Boat Swain? Yeah. Um, yeah, Ethel was Boat Swain. Come on! Uh, I forgot how to spell Boat Swain. And you know what? Militant can be uh, Zaldus. Jammed this. Alright. <laughs> Everything else is fine. Okay, Koros was bo Boatswain. Oh god, that I'll look at the document later. It's so fine. Funny. Um, so, you guys continue. And before we head out, or we are we heading out them. now? Uh, well, as you guys are getting off the ship, um, Valeria uh, goes up to you. And she says, Hey, yo, where's the money? Well, Captain, uh, I really appreciate uh, the position you're offering me. Uh, it means a lot. Uh, but I've actually got a bit of a favor to ask. Wow. Uh, and you see mm -hmm. Brown Tooth actually moves up as well. Uh, Brown Tooth comes up as I well. I Bram Bram. Right, uh, and they both say, Well, well... All right, the pay for all of the, uh, for the whole crew, uh, comes out to two hundred and ten gold pieces. A Elsa piece? Has, Elsa, but no. Okay. Elsa oh, Benito has um, he has five hundred set aside just for pay. All right. We should probably so, give them a little bit extra since their two crewmates died. Uh, so, so all the five. So is that we, we not? Planning. So is that not in his equipment? Um. I don't know. I don't know what he did with it. Oh, because I, I don't know see that... it on his person. If it's not on his person, then we so, just had the money set aside. I'll just put then, him I mean... on, I'll put it on his person. I'll take it. Okay, so it was 210 off, and then they ask... Uh, for workers' comp. Uh, Brown Tooth speaks for the first time in a week that you've heard, at least. He asks, uh, Captain... The two oh, of yes. us were wondering if we could also get pay for Fisk. Of course, you all will be... And the three of us... Enough. We're not trying to bleed you dry, Captain. But if you could double our pay, it'd help bring us closer to... We're trying to save up to bring him back. We've got a couple days, we're gonna... We're gonna be working on the docks or doing whatever we can, but... If you can help us out in any way. All right. So what we do? Um, and they say we we asked Ethel. It's five hundred gold for a resurrection, right? Because of the diamond. Um. Well, it's going to be more than that, but some something along those lines, you believe? Uh, and is she? And Brown Tooth actually says, um, "Well, we asked Ethel if she could help us out." Um, but she's, uh, a bitch. 
she didn't seem entirely too willing. If you'd be willing, if you, if you could put in a I, word for us, I understand. Um, here's what I can do for you. The two fifty, or whatever is left, yeah. um, can go to you. And we found a hundred and fifty-three gold, just coin-wise. Um, does that bring them up to enough for to afford it? Uh, so, it was this much for three of them, and then plus the other, you gave them two ninety extra. They're slightly short of what they need. With the one fifty-three, short are they? Uh, they're short. 21 gold pieces. Uh, do I really I'll give them, I'll give them two platinum. And, and they, and they ask you, uh, Captain, I... um, you know, it's, like, we can get the pay for the, for the components, but, uh, finding a healer is gonna be difficult. It's just, Listen, if you, we just, if you could, I'm yeah, diamond and do it. I'll get, I'll ask Ethel to do it. Um, can I hear this conversation? Well, thank you. And, uh, I, well, this, you, this, you're like, helping this is like under the, the yeah, this is under the table payment because I don't want to show the crew paying these guys fucking way more. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So they needed twenty-one gold. I'll just give fifty-three okay, gold. Okay. So from... we're giving them all of the hundred fifty-three, if... right? Do they need all the hundred? Oh, well, actually, no. With with the with their pay, the double pay, and then with Fisk's pay, um, they and then the extra two ninety left over that was put aside. They are down 21 gold pieces from the components. Okay, I'll just right, take give, out the 21 50, 50, 50 from the... 53 gold, because I... Just just give it to them. Okay, 53 50, 50 gold, because yes, just because of reasons. 53 gold. Okay, so I'm going to remove that from my inventory. Yes, because that was from the money that we right. got on the lock mess. Yes. Go bring a diamond back, and I will talk to Ethel. It's not a diamond. Well, whatever components back that she... Fuck! Why do you have to be so difficult? <laughs> well, they just say, they're like, all right, well, uh, Wait, we'll, we'll take the money, it? we'll go get the body ready, just let us know if she says, whatever, whatever she says. Yes, I, I understand that. Again, I'm sorry, it was under my watch that this happened, and yeah, I can never yeah. ask for any- Shut the fuck up, Robert, you're not here. <laughs> <laughs> Because I'm giving them the money, or I mean, you guys are there. you guys are around, but like you're all on deck, packing your things, ready to leave. Yeah, I would just walk uh, up to like you and be like, "Listen, I need fifty-three gold." But <laughs> but, <laughs> but, Bra but Bramgrim is like off to the side with them. They kind of like took him off. Yeah, maybe you should give us the bag of holding. Yeah. <laughs> you have the bag of holding. I oh, did I take it back? Yay! You you were never you never lost it. Oh no, I thought I thought. Uh, Fucking Bramgram wanted to take the crystal. No! It just okay. sounds like I wasn't done with the crystal. There's nothing oh, suspicious sorry. about that. We shouldn't just be done with it. Everything is suspicious. Uh, I'm a, I'm a oh, you guys are making it sound worse than it is. It is worse than it is. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Alright, I'll walk uh, up to Ethel. I mean, Ethel... Um, well, yeah, all of you guys... You just... You get the sense that he... He's got a curiosity about the crystal. Like... He's not the only like, one. Like, he's not... But that's the thing. Like, he's not necessarily entirely content to leaving it in the bag. Um, Ethel, you specifically, because your passive insight is really high. Um, you're not sure how good of an idea it would be for Bramgrim to get his hands on that. What if I got my hands on it? Um, so, the rest of you. What do you? Uh, wait, so... Alright, so yeah. Wait, so, who's going with the bag of holding? Robert. Hey, Raul Root. Uh, Raul Root, Ethel comes up to you. Okay. Can I, can, can I, can I see my compost bag real quick? I think I have like something <laughs> in there. <laughs> Roll a deception here. check. Roll insight, Raul Root. <laughs> I mean, I'm just gonna say, it. okay, sure. What you're just gonna give her the bag? You're giving it to her? No, I, no, I'm just gonna be like. What oh, okay. Fuck, what? Okay, you're. I'm rolling. not gonna do it. I'm. Okay. Am I rolling this? Roll just to roll. Like, so is insane. she stupid? Or is she stupid? I'm not stupid. 
Uh, your insight. What was your deception? Wait, I have two decks. I got in that one. It doesn't matter. Three decks. Oh, uh, what was your insight or deception? What's your deception? I know, but. Yeah, I got a nat one. I'm not gonna give her the stone in any way, so I'm not. <laughs> I, I just wanted. I just like. Yeah. Raru has enough common sense. Just roll it. Uh, yeah. No, look it. Yeah, I know. Just forget about that right now. Just roll deception. I'm, I can't see which one's deception. Oh, okay. Okay. Um. Seven. It, okay, Ooh, still yeah. better than the natural one. Six. Uh. Jesus. Bram Grimm. You, you, or Raul Rude. It's Raul hard. To, it's hard to tell. You don't. You don't think she like. You don't know whether she's lying to you or not. She's just trying to get something from her bag. No. no. Negative. No. What are you saying? I don't I, think so. I, I, I'm gonna smack her uh, uh, on the back of her head and be like, "Get the fuck out of here." <laughs> what? She's like, dude. I need something from there. <laughs> what could you have in a compost bag? Like. Like you know, like in those cartoons, like anime, where they like the like the three dots go above their head. It's like, <laughs> like <laughs> dot dot like. No. <laughs> okay. No, no, get the fuck out of here. Listen, I don't want to go into detail. All right, I'm just gonna smack her again. <laughs> but I forgot detail. something in there. Come on, it's really important, dude. My special piece of compost. <laughs> He's actually ah. swinging now. That misses. <laughs> that misses. Okay. You go. To, uh, I just like. Yeah, you gotta hit her, but she blocks it, and she just says. I'm like, okay. You As the captain, shouldn't you be doing something? Yeah, you see. I'm walking over right now. You see, real <laughs> root. Really quick, I want to see where this is going. You see, real root hitting Ethel. Yeah, real quick. Um, after he swings me, I grab his arm. I'm like, dude, just keep it away from Brandon. You hear that? I thought that's what uh, to run with the shiny rock, but okay. Yeah, I, I that's what, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, asshole. <laughs> hey, Brent, Raul Rude, did you hear what she said? Uh, here, hold up, hold up. Yeah, I just wasn't sure if you guys could hear her. <laughs> you missed, dude. You're like, okay, hold on, hold here's okay, the thing. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Okay. Hold on. When, uh, when I miss, on. when I miss, when I miss, I'm just gonna be like, Okay, but we gotta make it seem legit, right? Un unarmed strikes are full-on punches, dude. These aren't, like, <laughs> slight slaps. It's fine. <laughs> dude, you're, like, full-on... I missed anyway. I missed anyways. God. You're assaulting her right now. This is like... I'm just like, leave me alone! And I walk away. Raul, can rage. you not... Crew. I rage. Shut, shut up, you're not my dad. Bosses, I'm my dad. I may not be, but I'm your captain, so sh <laughs> fucking cut kiss my out. ass. Kiss my ass, fat man. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, right. I said keep him off! Wait, fuck you. Don't Wait. piss him off! Keep him away! Alright, so what are you guys doing? <laughs> anyway, I'm just, I'm just gonna run to my room. I'm like, whoop! <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna follow him. Yeah, also, you guys would have all had a long rest since the day of the crystal incident. The nice. Incident. <laughs> while, while, while he's running away, I'm I'm gonna point at Raoru and cast command and say trip. <laughs> uh, <laughs> make a wisdom save. save. Indomitable. <laughs> yeah, I'm probably gonna indomitable. Make a wisdom save. Uh, I'm looking for it. Where is it? Here it is. That just makes the DC. Oh, so uh, you don't even have to use it. I'm a, yeah. I'm gonna flick off Bram game and be like, you can't control me. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Yeah. Oh wait, we're recording. <laughs> oh Jesus. god. <laughs> oh my god. Come on, it's the last two days of Pride Month. Come on. You know, also, after after I'd say that. Oh, excuse me, I choked on something. After I say that, I'm all like, dude, try that again when you beat me in a fight. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. <laughs> I'm gonna kill him in his sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, anyway, Ethel. <laughs> Ethel's just like minding her own business, meandering around, humming, talking to plants, pretending that she can't hear him. So oh, she's ignoring you. She seems What'd you to do be to piss her off? <laughs> <laughs> I don't wanna do. Do I have to do this again? <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing the same thing, Ethel. Uh, uh, jo join me. <laughs> join. <laughs> the crew is gonna be ignoring Bram Group. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, command again, halt. Make a wisdom saving throw. 
She's gonna succeed. She's a fucking druid. God damn it, dude. Nat one, nat one, nat one. Sag. Uh, <laughs> does not have an effect on you, Ethel. Yeah, but just let me ask you a question. I'm just speedwalking a little bit now, just like. No, no, Ethel, you, you, you got a Zoid bird. Just turn into a squid and jump <laughs> over. <laughs> no, 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 I, I like can... how how your how <laughs> your reaction how your reaction to keeping it down low is ignoring me. <laughs> 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 and not acting normal. <laughs> Ethel is very awkwardly just walking away from me. <laughs> We're the most dysfunctional D and D party. Yeah, no, no, Ethel, <laughs> Ethel, you know, you, you know what you should do? You should pretend you need to take a shot. Like, oh, the poop is coming. <laughs> I'm looking for a bag. <laughs> She's looking for a bag to take a shit. In. <laughs> Stupid. If you know what I'm gonna do, I'm, I'm pointing my sword at. I'm kidding. <laughs> and I take oh, out Ethel, my trident. Ethel, are you continuing to walk away? I'm gonna lay down and start whispering to the plants in the floorboards. <laughs> is he looking? Is he looking? <laughs> I'm just gonna go to my office right now and cry. Oh, cause you're shouting across the deck to her, and she's just like I know. walking away. See? I know. Oh yeah, so you look around and you see out of the corner of your eyes, Ethel. Um, uh, what's it called? Because you saw Bram Grimm talking to the Rambling Revelers, um, and you see they're giving you the dirtiest look right now. After you just like completely ignored Bram Grimm, I they look. Going up to me they look hurt. <laughs> Man, now everyone hates you. How do you feel now? They, they huh? look. Oh, to leave the party. Everyone they hates you. They look hurt. Yeah, I'm gonna go up to them. Okay, you go up guilt to them. trip you. You go up to them and they look. I'm like, little. hey guys, how you doing? Let me just say, have you thought about our offer? Yeah, um, I I can do it. I just need uh, I need an emerald. Oh. I need an emerald. I have one. Any kind specifically? Uh. An like it's worth. One, a really, really, really shiny one. All right. Oh. Five hundred gold pieces. Uh, we think we got that much. We can. We'll be right back. And they shout down the stairs to you, Captain. Uh, yes. I think it at all possible you guys stay a little bit here on dock. We'll be of right course, back. Of uh, course. Just for the day. Of course. Head out. Uh, I'm gonna take a nap. Thank you. I'm gonna go to Bram Grimm's room and fart on the cell. So, you're not allowed in my quarters. Yeah, you guys are blowing the entire time. You are not allowed in my quarters. Yeah, since like, you cast Cure Wounds, you guys rested since then. Okay, well, I'm gonna take a nap anyway. Alright, so, they they run, they just run into town, the two of them. Um, so, you guys have the day in Korenberg. What would you like to do? I'm just gonna follow Route around the ship. Right. Yeah. Just watching, always watching with my bird. Ral Root, you're you're room watching room? Ral Root. Yeah, because he said he was gonna go down to his room and then he was gonna what? go down to hey. Graveyard's room and I suppose following hey, him the entire what, time. What bird, buddy? Your bird's dead. I oh, yeah. summoned it. Oh yeah. <laughs> Is it uh, an owl again? Yeah, I think I'll stick with the owl. The owl was pretty decent. All right. <laughs> you know, I should find what type of grenades I have. Um, so... Do that later, because you have to watch the episode. Uh, yeah. so who's going... Is is anybody gonna go off the ship uh, into How town? How much gold do we have? You guys are at, in Korenberg now. You have most of the day. It's around 2 in the afternoon. Uh, you oh. have to go and sell all the, uh... Like, the holy symbol and the ge uh, gems <clears throat> we found. Oh yeah, I guess I'll go do that. Does someone oh. want to go with me? Can I go? Also, I want to keep my holy symbol, because because of the drip. I want yeah. the drip. Do you guys? Oh wait, guys... yeah, let's sell the holy symbol that activates the scrying thingy. Yeah. We should also have been using that. What the hell? Oh yeah, I forgot. We have a scrying thing now. Are you guys sticking? Are you guys let's sticking together? Or are you going? Uh, I think me yourself. and Ralru were stick together, right? Yeah. Yeah, old dynamic duo. All right, but we're gonna go use the scrying thing first, right? Yes. Uh, who do you want to try to scry on? 
Uh, who do we want to scry on? Uh, we die. scryed on Morvorax last time. <laughs> Let's right? scry on Dot. No, oh, stop it! We're not scrying on Dot. Can we scry on the Morvorax the, the guy that's missing in Sharn? Or yeah, either that guy or uh, Morvorax. What, yeah. What's it? Yeah, Morvorax. Yeah. Which oh right, we haven't filled you in on that. It's a long you guys story. Guys haven't filled me in on anything. J to be yeah, fair, we, we've we just been kind of busy you. surviving. Yeah. Duh. You know what? I don't want Phil to join us anymore. <laughs> don't give her her poop pouch. I don't care. Healer be healer healing be damned. I don't give a fuck. It's hurt uh, my feelings. Uh, I'm just gonna scry on Marvorex. Uh, you're gonna scry okay. on Marvorex? Yeah. Uh, all right. He's gonna make a wisdom saving. I'm just gonna hang out in that room. Hey, just well, watching. I'm, on shift. I'm, I'm pretty by, sure. Um... Ooh, this this might succeed. I'm not sure because he's got a really high save. Uh, Marvorex. Who has a fish tank? I just wanted to know, because all I hear is somebody's fish tank. Oh yeah, what's that water? It's a fish tank. Someone's slowly drowning. Oh shit, that's one of his higher saves. Yeah, no, it's fails. <laughs> he could roll a three and still succeed on that. <laughs> oh wow. So how low did he roll when we got to scry on him that one time? Uh, I think he rolled a one or two. It, those are oh. the only rolls, because it's DC what, 17? Is it? I don't know. Probably. Oh, I didn't tell you guys that. Well, you know, <laughs> it's a. I think it's. <laughs> no, I don't no. actually don't remember the number. Uh, yeah, it's whatever. It's something in that ballpark. He has to roll either a one or a two, pretty much, to fail. Nice. <clears throat> um. So, uh, you try to look through it, and it fails. Sedge. And we can only use it once a day, right? Yep. <clears throat> okay. Guess we're going into town. To buy some potions because those things seem pretty damn useful. Yep. All right. All right well, me and Radroot are gonna go do that. I don't know if anyone uh, else wants is, to come. Is anybody else going into town? Nope. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right. So, uh, Thelgrun and uh, Abalaba is actually gonna go with you guys because uh, this is actually his home country. He's enjoying being back. This isn't his All home. Right. This isn't his hometown, but he is enjoying being back. Oh wait a second! I. Okay. Uh, hold up, hold up. I need to go to Margrave University. Are we in Sharnia? That's yet? not there. <laughs> we're not even close. <laughs> oh, we're not in we're yet, not even close. It's a different place you're thinking about. <laughs> oh okay. Um, how are the local honeys over there? You have what? a girlfriend. <laughs> She doesn't need to know. Well, I won't tell her. Don't worry. You get you get off the ship, and Zalargo. Bros it's, before hoes. Remember, Zalargo is a very interesting place. It is oh. a it is a large, small city, if you can say. Because what? after you guys get off the dock, you see, most of the population is gnomes. You so, see, that's his cape. We're his gonna see over people. everybody. <laughs> <laughs> We're like so he, the two tallest ones in the group, and we're just gonna be like... Yeah, you guys walk by, everything in- everything here, almost everything here, is built to the size of gnomes. So, Jesus, you guys so are walking bad. by, and you're towering above most of the crowd. Like, you can very easily see, dispersed, like, through the crowd, everyone who isn't a gnome. They're probably giving us the dirtiest looks and, right now. And that's the thing, because of where this place is positioned, most of the races you see are either gnomes, then you see a few humans, and then the rest are like dwarves, kobolds, a few other assorted races, but it is mostly very small races in Zalargo. Wait, wait, hold up. Matt, after we sell the stuff, can we go buy some glass bottles? <laughs> um, if you're gonna, I mean, okay, we're gonna probably and, go to like an alchemist shop so we can get some potions, so you could ask them for glass bottles. Uh, you guys, no leave. promises. <laughs> you guys walk through the city and Everything is very organized. The way everything is made is, like, you can very easily tell that immediately after stepping on the dock that the whole city is on a grid. And everything is very orderly. Everything is precise. There are, uh, like, there are barkers and stands on the side of the street that you guys, standing, you guys are at, like, the top, your heads are at the top of the stands. You're looking down at people. Um, and it's, it's bustling, like... It is a Blessing. big city of really, <laughs> of really small people, um, but uh, you make your way around, 
Um, and you see, um, uh, there are a bunch of criers. Um, and you see on a stack of boxes, standing above the crowd, but about to um, Raoul Root's stomach chest area, you see a gnome waving around a piece of paper, just shouting out. Um, just a bunch of assorted news. Uh, I'd like both of you to make perception checks. Now my question is, where can we find some salty wenches? That's a 14. Right. Well, uh, can I do acquisition? That was a wisdom that? save. A perception. Was it? Oh wait, no, Juan. Make. It, oh wait, Juan, make a perception check. There we go. And I, then. Oh, I didn't see your roll. What was your roll? Mine was fourteen. All right. I got a fifteen. All right. Uh, you guys both hear, out of the. Uh, you hear a few. Uh, like there, there are a bunch of, um, news titles like headlines that get shouted out uh but two but one in particular uh, like um you hear and it like you guys it hits your interest you hear courier weinarn returns with demands uh oh and you Ooh. see and he's just shot like That's the guy the, I was missing the guy is just going in and out of like different news titles and that's uh, of like headlines and that's one of them as they're just waving the newspaper like selling them to a bunch of people oh the general that we that went yeah, missing right i'm gonna use the rock like the telepathy and i'm gonna tell rather something tells me that that's like you know not gonna be like actual cory or weiner and like something's gonna be off about him and they're just like out there they're selling these newspapers so you can go over and buy one if you'd like i think i'll yeah i'll take one uh all right so that is three copper Three uh, copper, what a scam. You're getting you're getting a copy? Yeah, I'm gonna get a copy. Uh, I don't know about Railroad. Railroad, are you getting one? Nah, no, it's fine. All we'll right. just share. So in your um in your journal is the journal. Dogger. Oh nice. Now if only I could access the journal. Oh shit, you can't access the journal? <laughs> I mean, it's all on the thing, and Foundry's still not working, I'm pretty sure. I'm gonna check right uh, now. I'll send you the news stories then. Okay. Because this is... Yeah, that's still not working for some reason. This is what I was spending a lot of my time reading. <laughs> or writing. Read Sag. So. Quan's over here like, no, nah, I'm good. News is irrelevant. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it won't be important to the story at all. Yeah, why would it ever do that? Alright. Oh, I have a question. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, give me a second, guys. Yes, sir. I mean, here, roll a history check. Okay. So, boop. Oh, the message is too long. <laughs> Sag. Uh, 19. Okay. Um, not necessarily, but, um... God, the mess it's still too I long. Can, I could probably send it. <clears throat> uh, no thank you. Alright, he's gonna share the stories with me anyway. Fuck, man. Uh, no, thank you. It's okay. He'll hear him. Er, yeah, he'll read him. He'll get him. I'm sending him. I just gotta break it up a little bit. No issue. It's a big Hoggers. It didn't work, Matt. Yeah, I got him now. Oh, that's not, that first one isn't good. Someone's gonna be upset about that one. <laughs> um, so that's the first one. And then that's the second one. That's how you spell his name? Interesting. Okay, let's All right. read that. Um, so, you get the two of those. So, Thalgren just starts reading the newspaper as he's walking along with you. Um, Abalaba also goes with... Um, is he going to buy a newspaper? No, nah, he's not. I don't think Christian would. <laughs> um, uh, so, 
uh, as you guys make your way, what are you doing in the city of Cornford? Oh, I'll BRB right back. Yeah, not necessarily. Oh, you told me that. Yeah, I just answered. I already answered. Uh, so what are you doing, Thelgren? Uh, I mean, we were just gonna try finding, like, somewhere that we could, like, sell all of, like, the holy symbols. Yeah, also, are you like guys that. sleeping on the ship, or are you going to sleep uh, in town? I think we'll just sleep on the ship. It doesn't really make sense for us to shell out for a room or anything like that if we have, you know. Alright, uh, so you're look uh, make an investigation check. You're looking for somewhere to sell these. Got it. Plus 12 to investigation. Here we go. Uh, also, yeah. 14 plus 12, 26. Uh, Ethel, were you going with them? Um. Online? Just yes or no. <laughs> sure. Okay. Uh, Bram Grim, you decided to stay back? Because you see, most yeah. of the crew decides to leave. Wait, did I get paid for. as crew? Uh, you did actually. What did I. because I have no money. Uh, you got paid. it was 42 gold pieces. Uh, also, I'm only asking uh, Joey because potentially you will miss out on some of the like explore, like exploring the city kind of stuff. Yeah, so no, that, that's fair. No, I know, I understand. Yeah, cause, cause, um, I'm trying to figure out why everyone's being weird right now. So I'm, I would stay. I'm just gonna do some thinking in my office. Don't go through my room. It's private. Or my quarters, I guess, would be better. There's a button there okay, too. interesting. These are some very interesting news. Wait, since I'm with, do I get a thingy too? Uh, what? Am I with them? I'm with them, right? Uh. Uh. You're with them. Oh yeah. Do so. Do you want to buy one of the newspapers yourself? Can I look over uh, his shoulder and look at them? Uh, you're gonna read it with them, mm -hmm. or? Well, because you can buy your own. But I don't have any. Because I, 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 I won't put it in your journal unless you buy one. What do you want? How much of it again? Three copper. copper. Yeah, don't worry about it, Alex. Alright. Okay, so you guys continue. Until I'll soon. buy. Alright, you're going to buy Hey, what the heck? Um... What, are you saying anything to your... Yeah, I'm allies? gonna point out the uh, thing, the Venla Gobblefern thing to Abalaba. Uh, you point out the page. Uh, I'll be like, do you know her? And he says, uh, yeah, uh, I believe. Uh, yeah, I've got a younger sister. Oh, wow. I didn't know that. Cool. She's a reporter, or... Investigative journalist or whatever. Um, she was in university for well, something. I'm cool. not sure. I've been out of been out of my house for a bit. <laughs> yeah, I can tell. All right. Anyways, that's just cool. I just wanted to check with you about that. All right. All right. Well, yeah, we might even get to meet them later. I don't know. We'll oh, see. Okay. I'm not sure if I want to stop at home. Oh. Okay. Well, that's up to you, man. All right. Alright, so let's he just, just find keeps, stuff. He just keeps walking. Okay, cool. Wait, do I have the right one? Uh, yep. Yeah. It was a bunch of stuff. Alright, so Ethel takes her own newspaper and is also reading through it. Um, <clears throat> so. Uh, yes. You are from the Eldian Reaches. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I know someone else who's from there. I'm gonna cry. <clears throat> Sora! Sorry, I need to stop talking. Uh, so, uh, you look around and you end up finding um, <clears throat> a store uh, specifically selling gems uh, called the Clean Cut. Ooh, the Clean Cut. Alright, nice. <clears throat> um, you make your way inside. You, you make your way inside just as you see. Um, what's it called? 
the remaining two rambling revelers, Brown Tooth and Valeria, are walking out um, with a parcel in hand that they're just tucking into their bag. Um, and they just walk up to you, Ethel, and they just say, um, "We got the components. We'll be heading Wait, back Ethel's to Ethel's with us now. Yeah, yeah Ethel. With Ethel. Ethel went oh, okay. With I'm just right, cool. in the background. They just say, uh, well, reading the paper. We've Crying. we got the component. Crying. Let us uh, let us know whenever you get back to the ship. But, like, we really appreciate that. Um, I'm gonna tell him I'll be back in a, a bit. I'm just gonna look around for a minute. Alright, thank you. And they just walk off <clears throat> back towards the ship. Um, are there any stories that would appeal to myself? Uh, we'll get to that in a bit. Uh, Thelgren. <clears throat> yes. Uh, you make your way inside of the clean cut. You see a very fine jewelry store. Um, that's, uh, that also seems to just sell, um, straight up gems. Oh. Uh, you make your way inside, and you see uh, there's a bunch of, like, counters that you can see through, like, a glass top. Um, and there's just a bunch of, like, gen- like um, nice necklaces, amulets, earrings, just straight up, like, cut gems. Um, <clears throat> there's a few guards at the entrances, one on, like, one on each side of the entrance. And you see <clears throat> in the back, there's a dwarf uh, currently working with a currently speaking with a customer like showing them what seems to be rings oh okay. okay yeah and you can look around yeah, i guess we'll just look around until that guy finishes with the customer or whatever all right so you wait a bit and uh you overhear a bit of the conversation uh the guy seems to be buying some form of uh engagement ring and oh um uh, you hear the name of the owner, Barnum, um, seems to get the guy very excited about a particular ring that was slightly out of his price range, but the guy wa- ends up walking out of it, um, walking out of the establishment with a ring and some credit <laughs> being oh, used. So nice. He walks out, and Barnum motions over to you guys, now the only two in the store, and says, uh, Welcome, the three of you. To my shop. So, what can I interest you? What are you looking for? Uh, yes. Hello, good sir. We're just here to, uh, hopefully, uh, sell some of these, uh, Bottles. gems that we... Bottles. No, we're not there yet. <laughs> we're still in the gem store. We're here to hopefully, like... uh, sell some of these uh, gems. Uh, sir, you'd like some fine drinking, uh, apparatuses? No, do you have any, like, empty bottles you don't use? <laughs> Um, that's, sir, this is a this is a gem store. <laughs> we can make oh. you a fine crystal wine glass if that's what you're interested in. A fine no, piece. no, I, I I just need bottles. Or actually, do you have any alcoholic beverages? I, I love the uh, image of him just walking into the store and yelling bottles. A fancy, <laughs> like, a fancy like... store. You walk in and it's just bottles. <laughs> bottles. I don't. I don't care what you give me. Here's my money. Give me bottles. <laughs> How much money are you giving him? Oh no, no. I, I, that was a joke. That was a joke. That was a joke. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was like, uh, not, not, not yet. He, Alex, I'm he poor. says, oh, I might have a few in back. Yay! Yay! <laughs> oh my uh, god! He says, I'll take a gold piece. I guess. Yay. <laughs> Uh, you flick Here, him shut, a gold. Up, shut up and take my money. He takes it, and you see he does a hand motion to the guards who just watch you guys as he walks in back. And I'm see, so happy he, we're the only ones in the store. You see he comes out with, um, I mean, you want to try taking something? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> no, no, I'm just saying I'm so glad that there's no one else to see this. Okay, you see after after like a minute or two, you see he comes out with these bottles that you can see. It's It's like... It's like when you have wa- uh, like a drink or some sort of liquid in a bottle and you try pouring out every last drop, but there's just that little bit at the bottom that won't go <laughs> out. Like, it looks like he was just in back draining a bunch of bottles that he just, he puts five bottles on the t- counter for you. And he already had Five your gold- bottles for one gold piece? <clears throat> Come like, on, old man. 
I can't believe he, he already took the gold right piece now. and he just says, "Okay, he, hold he on." He walks hold out on, with the bottles on. and he slides them over to you. Um, a fine deal, if I say so myself. I hold just up, got hold scammed. up, all right, all right, hold up, ma'am, hold up. Sorry. And so, and he I... looks over to you, Thelgren, and what what would you like to acquire, sir? Uh, yeah, we're just here to uh, hopefully sell some of these gems that we've come across in our travels. And that's it, right? We only have the gems to sell? Yeah, yeah and you see Railroot. He pretty much just completely cuts you off and turns over to Railroot. <laughs> like, so, uh, you'd like to sell some gems? Yes. <clears throat> well, I am in the market. What do you have? Let's okay, well, see. then I'll pull he them lay out. He uh... lays out a mat and pulls out a bunch of jewelers, tools. Um, yeah, uh, glass and picks. crap. Do I have the value of the gems or what gems they were? Let me see. Uh, somebody should. I think Joey had them, but I don't know if he's here right now. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, let's see. Damn it. Uh, I don't see them anywhere. Oh, Joey uh wrote it down. Yeah, I know he wrote it down. Uh, I can just go back in my notes and see. Is Joseph not here right now? Joey, yeah, I don't think Joey he is. didn't go with you guys to the. Oh. Also, guys, I gotta go eat. I'll be back soon. Okay. Bye, Juan. Are you guys still gonna be on, right? Uh, yeah, dude. We have to do your, uh, your thing. You said you wanted yeah. to do something. Yeah. Okay. Can... I'm gonna go. I'm gonna try to murder Bram Graham. Don't tell him. Just bring. <laughs> Ayo. Hey, just eat with us, Juan. Okay. You no, can. I have to eat right now. Yeah. Right, bye, guys. Uh, let's yeah, later, see. man. Um, it was a bunch of sapphires, a chunk of jasper, piece of obsidian, yeah. tiger eye. Um, so this is your persuasion against his. You're gonna see how much he can like talk you down. Can sure. Us. All right, what'd you get? Oh, right. Uh, let me roll real fast. Uh, you just said persuasion, right? Yeah. Plus zero to persuasion. Here we go. Oh. 16. Nice. So, <clears throat> he ends up bringing your price. Uh, so, he offers you in total for all of it. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. It was... Yeah, because I have the exact values. Cause I am God. I am good. Yes, sir. Um, he offers you 200 gold pieces for all of it. Yikes. Uh, I mean, I don't have the greatest persuasion, so I guess we'll just take and that you price. know, you know, this is worth slightly more than that, but he's offering down. And that's what he's willing to give. After, after going back and forth on price, that's what he's willing to give. Yeah, uh, it's fine, I guess. Right. We'll just take it. So he hands over 200 gold, just in a sack. It says, well, yep. it's nice doing business with you. Sir, if there's anything, you as well. If there's anything you'd like to purchase, let me know. We've got plenty of fine pieces. I don't, ass I don't assume any of them would be magic items or anything like that. Well, you might have some pieces. Ooh. Well then... All right, no, one, no one died while I was gone, right? <laughs> no. Okay. Some of our but wares I'm, can I'm, I'm, I'm be scammed. some of our wares can be enchanted. Um, mm. Some are, in fact, magical. Okay. Um, you're, you've piqued my interest. Uh, and you see, he pulls out uh, one gem, like a prism, Ooh. almost. You see, he puts it on a little stand, and he says, uh, "This is a gem of brightness." Oh. Um, you can use it, and it does. It can do a variable number of effects. <clears throat> um, you can use you can use its command word to cause it to shed thirty feet of bright light with an additional thirty feet of dim light. Um, uh, you can also use it to flash br brilliantly, uh, potentially causing one creature you see within sixty feet of you to be blinded. Oh. Um, um, created. Wait. Each, and then you can also spend more of its charges to attempt to do this in a cone. Oh, interesting! Interesting. 
How much would it be for this gem? Uh, this gem would cost you around 6,000 gold pieces. 6,000, goddamn, that, okay. Uh, do we have anything that's uh, slightly uh, less expensive than that? Well, and you see he pull, he puts that away. Um, he pulls out, uh, what you see is he puts down one blue sapphire, um, this yellow, like, diamond, and this red sort of corundum, and an emerald. Ooh. And he says, uh, each of these is an elemental gem. Ooh, each is worth 800 gold pieces. Okay. You buy as many as you'd like. And each oh, okay. can cast the Conjure Elemental spell once. And they each spawn oh. a different... They each summon a different elemental. Blue for air, yellow for earth, red for fire, and green for water. Interesting. Why is it never green for fire? Or blue for fire? Okay. And would that be all of your magic items? Uh, well, as of now, uh, I believe. And you see, he like looks down and around, and he doesn't seem to spot anything else. And he comes back up. Uh, on hand right now, yes. That is all we have. Mm -hmm. Okay, well then. Unfortunately, I won't be buying anything, but it has been a pleasure doing business with you. And if I do need any gems or anything of the sort, I will make sure to uh, hit up your uh, business again sometime. Well, it's been a pleasure. You see. It's been a pleasure. <laughs> yes, sir. Your hand, and then uh, put, he puts away his gems and then continues on. All right. And then after that, we're just going to go to hopefully find an alchemist and buy some potions or something like that because we need a couple of those. All right. He means shoot. <laughs> oh god, please. What? Alright, so, uh, you guys. Oh my god. You guys. You guys make your way uh, to an alchemist. Uh, what types of potions are you looking for? Uh, got mainly just of... health. Yeah, just health. Uh, yeah, they have a bunch of different kinds of potions. Okay, so. Uh, Railroad doesn't have any money, does he? Um, <clears throat> doesn't seem like it. <laughs> okay, uh, hold on. How much he probably does, does, but he's have not money? saying anything. Okay, Avalaba has like four hundred sixty <clears throat> gold pieces. Uh, they I have, and they are selling some more interesting potions. Oh, well then, what uh, are one those of the more potions, interesting potions. It's a potion of diminution. Oh, um, that sounds when fancy. When you drink it for one d four hours without concentration, you are affected by the reduce effect of the enlarge slash reduce. Uh, spell. Oh. Essentially, it makes it halves your size in all dimensions, and your weight is reduced to one eighth of wh what you normally are. <clears throat> your size category goes down by one, so pretty much you become smaller. Um, mm -hmm. uh, so you're able. Your weapons also shrink down to that size, so you become weaker, but it's easier for you to like fit through places, obviously, because you're smaller size. So Avalaba, for instance, could become tiny. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, what else? Um, one of the other spells they are offering, or not spells, potions, is a potion of mind reading. Ooh, that one sounds nice. Uh, when you drink the potion, you gain the effects of the detect thoughts spell. Oh, okay. So you, you can cast, yeah, you can pretty much... Uh, you become under the effects of detect the detect thought spell, so you pretty much just cast mm -hmm. it on yourself. Oh, okay. All right. They I don't assume any of these would be like under like six hundred gold. Uh, the two I just read to you were two hundred gold pieces. Oh, okay. So that's nice and mind point. reading is two hundred. Uh, mm -hmm. Potion of invisibility uh, makes you invisible for an hour. And it ends early if you attack or cast a spell. So that's also okay. 200 gold pieces. Mm -hmm. uh, and they have all the standard healing potions, so you can buy any of those. So how much are like the standard healing potions? A standard healing uh, yeah. is 50 gold pieces. 
50 gold pieces and then it's like 2d4 plus 2, right? Uh, yes. Uh, and then the size above it is, it's like greater healing, something like greater that? Greater healing, 200. Right. That is 44 plus 4. Yep. And then superior is 500 gold pieces, that is 8d4 plus 8. Right. And then supreme is 2,000 gold pieces, 10d4 plus 20. Okay, hmm. We could either get one of the real, like the 500 ones, or three of the 600 ones. Hmm. Three of the 600? Yeah, no, the 200 ones. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> We're not that rich. Well, I mean, we used to be. Used to be. Used to be, and then we bought a bow. Because we let that money burn a hole in our pocket. <laughs> so, the 200 ones, how much healing is that? Uh, 4d4 plus 4. 4d4 plus 4, and then the 500 one is... 8d4 plus 8. Okay, I think we're just gonna buy the three... Whatchamacallit? Alright, so the you three can... 200 ones. Yeah, you can add three greater healing potions to yourself. Yep. And then I'm gonna take away all of my gold, so and I'm gonna need 600. you to take... I'm gonna need you to take one gold away from Railroot. It's one. <laughs> you have literally one gold piece. Yeah, I literally have 599. He's only got two gold pieces. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, Jesus. All right, so they sell you those. You guys make okay, your cool. way. And then he, uh, he also said he wanted to buy bottles. So I guess he'd he's got about one that. gold piece to buy bottles. How many bottles can you get? Uh, well, we'll get back to that, because I know Juan wants to do some stuff when he gets back. Okay, then, so, yeah, then uh, that'll be pretty much everything I have to do, so... So, Bram, are, are I just you head here? Back. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what are you doing on the ship? You know, I was going to stay on the ship, but I should... I want to kind of um, go and try and find a prosthetic. You really want to go and try I'm already it? Deciding, I'm already deciding that my arm's gone. I'm not paying a fee to fix it. Vance does not care. Because uh, that's the thing. It is... It is not... It's been a week. So it's actually been healing up a decent bit. It is getting... Um, over time, it is slowly going from the lose an arm or hand um, injury to... It's just becoming a horrible scar. Oh. Never mind then. So that... That depending will give you disadvantage on like persuasion checks potentially depending on the situation um but it's yeah it's with time it's healing it wasn't like you completely lost the hand it was just pretty much the f your skin just fell off oh, okay um i mean i guess i'll go out there i don't think uh, yeah, so what do you like, want I don't to have any money on me. Alright, so, well, you make your way out. And I have 96 you, copper you, pieces. You also hear the town criers. Make a perception check. Didn't you have, like, 700 gold? No, There's I only had, like, potions. 599. What the fuck are my rolls today, dude? Um, you hear... You hear from the criers... You hear Irwinarn returns with the man. Remember are we, that's. Are we not in the po hmm. potion thing anymore? Um, so it's it seems like there's a bunch of. Uh, we we can get back to that. Well, Eliza had to go use the bathroom, but she's coming back. Um. Uh. So. You know what? I have two gold. I'm also gonna buy a newspaper. Okay, so for three copper pieces, uh, as you walk closer, you hear, you hear the full headline as he goes through his cycle again. Core ear Wynarn returns with demands. And as you throw him three copper, um, he he throws you a newspaper. An issue of the Kornberg Chronicle, uh, dated dated today's date, uh, which is Jervago the twenty first of Sar, like Sar the twenty first of Jervago. Yep. You're not getting any. You're not getting any. Some. You literally I had a Twitter. chocolate chip cookie, Alex. Let go. Let go. Okay. No, 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 so, no, 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 no. Uh, So what else are you doing, Bramby? No. 
Um. Hmm. I don't know. I don't like. I said I don't really have money, so. All right. So you're, you're kind of just wandering yeah. around the town. Yeah. Well, right. actually, I'll just head back to the ship because the rest of the crew said to just be there, and I want to await their return. All right. Well. Um. As you start returning to the ship, a few people look at you, like. They seem, like, enthralled by you. Uh, a bunch of the gnomes. And some people stop you and they ask you, Oh, hey, friend. You just get off one of those ships? Uh, yes, I did. One of those real fancy ones. <laughs> wow. That's amazing. W where'd you come from? Uh, we, uh, you know, we came off the shore of uh, Kobara. Long journey. <laughs> Man, that sounds that sounds really interesting. What what'd you guys go there for? Well, we had a contract to kill Hydra. Never got to it. <laughs> that sounds awesome. Look, here, me and my pals are going to the to go get some drinks right now. You want to come with us? We'd love to hear your story. Uh, as as much as I would love to, I uh, I have some matters on my ship. I am the captain, after all. <laughs> the captain. Look, how about this? Final offer. You'll learn this about our people. We like a good story. What about we get drinks for you and your whole crew tonight? Uh. <laughs> hmm. <clears throat> Come on, you know, it'll cheer them up, make them happy about the journey ju they just got off of. All the way from Kibara, you said? Yeah, does he, seem, does he seem like genuine in what he's saying? Uh, make an insight check. And you see, there's like a little group with him. There's just a bunch of gnomes. Um, it's hard oh to tell. my god! It's hard to tell. He seems excited, though. He seems honest about the drinks, at the very least. I'll, um... He says, look, if you're not comfortable with it, we won't go anywhere shady or anything like that. It'll be a gold dragon in House Galanda. Safe. Sure, well, we can go out for, um, some drinks, I guess. Great. Well, look. Don't let him know. We'll all see you there. Let me see. They can, the group of gnomes just continue on. Um... And you see, every once in a while, as you keep walking around, every once in a while, people seem to stop you and just seeing you walk out of harbor and just how different you look. People just asking you questions like, oh, where are you from? Like, what are you up to? Oh, what do you do? Are you from around here? And it's just, just a lot of questions. People seem very curious, especially the gnomes. Mm. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I'll just I'll just go back to the ship. And so Ethel, did you say there was something you wanted to do? Um, do you believe the alchemist? Uh, yeah, well, you you could still be you could have still gotten something there. Okay. Um, does he have anything that I'd be interested in? That you'd be interested in? Is that a water bag? Oh, yes, there was actually. Um. I'm not sure entirely how interested you'd be in this because you can already do this, but they've got a potion of animal friendship. Mm. Twins. Well, how much is it? Uh, it is 200 gold pieces. Oh, yeah, that's not anything else. <laughs> Nothing you can pay for other than a heal. You can't even buy healing potions, though. No. God damn it. You guys should give me some of your money. <laughs> what money? I spent all of it on healing potions. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, I have a question. Yes. So for the spells that I have that require material components. Yeah. And you were saying how if I your focus works for all of them except for the ones that have money, a uh, involved. price involved. Um. Or that are consumed. <laughs> so. Um. I'm, 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 okay. 
Yeah, those, I'll trust you guys to just mark off the price on any components and buy them. Unless it's something really weird, like gems. Like, anything that's uber pricey, Can I stop being let me know What about, about tiny tarts and a feather that is waved in the air? That's <laughs> perfectly fine. Okay. Alright, um, so, uh, are you guys returning back to... What are Dream and Dream Redux? Yeah, are you guys returning back to the ship? Um, is, oh, oh yeah, I was gonna ask, are there any, like, do I see any shops that would interest me? Yeah, there are a bunch of, like, flower, florist shops. Stuff like that. Florist shops? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wow. So you can pretty much buy whatever flowers or anything like that, but none of it is, like, magical or would really have an effect on... Sag. Ah, uh, an with the... You can look for that if you'd like. You don't. You don't have the funds for it. Though. You'd have to ask the the captain. Wait, okay. The, whoever the has money. Shop that we were in. Oh, the diamond she has to talk to the captain. One? What? Agate. They do. You look around. Uh, so you ask um, Barnum, and he says, "Definitely, ma'am. We've got agates, of all kinds." Cool. <laughs> just leave. <laughs> <laughs> just leave. Cool. Hey, cool. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no buy. Just cool and turn around and walk out. <laughs> Alright. Uh, so you walk out. Um, oh, can I have a plant shop? Yeah. So you have plants. Okay, you go in there, you talk to the plants. Wait, I have to cast. I want to cast. I want to cast. Wait, 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 where is it? Are there any. Is there anything in specific. Because we're trying to be quick about all this. Is there anything in specific that you want to ask them? Like, any important questions about, like, the area or anything like that, or are you just trying to talk to them? Okay, then you go in there, and you have a nice conversation with a lot of the players. No, I don't want to do it now, because I've used a spell spot. Alright, so what are the what are, what are the rest of you guys doing? Is Juan back? Juan's the only guy that said he needed to do something. He's Juan, ready. are you back? We'll get back No, he's not. It. It's fine. So, I mean, he doesn't have the money to buy bottles, so it's not like he's gonna do He that. has one gold piece. Wait, he bought five for is a gold there, piece. Is there like a brewery or something? A brewery or something? Okay. Uh, make an investigation check. Okay. Or, uh, just make an investigation check. A winery. Make an investigation check. I am! Gosh. Indeed, 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 indeed. And your role was? 15. Uh, you can spend some time looking for one. Do I see one? You're spending some time looking for one. Uh, but the rest of the group, you're returning to the ship. Um, and uh, Bram Grimm, are you letting the crew know about the offer? Or are you just, like, uh, oh, um, admitting that? I'm sorry, I probably sounded bad. My headset was up. <laughs> It sounded a little strange, up. but it's fine. Yeah, it has a like auto. Away, but <laughs> yeah, it has an auto like it muting effect. Horrible, Joey. Need you oh, I'm sorry. Um. Sad. Yeah, I'll I'll mention it. All right. So a lot of the crew is excited for that. Um. But by the time Ethel returns, the rest of the. Uh, but do I see a thingy? What? Shut up. Oh. Uh, yeah, I'd say you find a brewery. Okay, I go inside. Uh, it's not a public one, though. Like, it's literally, it's just where they brew, and they sell to Are local... Uh, for workers. I know what I'm gonna do. Okay. Oh, gonna... God, are you breaking into a brewery? <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> Wait, okay, I got this. Guy. And it's not even the no. rogue that's doing this. I'll be fine. I have a minute to do this. Alright. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Why do you need to steal wine? <laughs> Alright, ready? Okay. Get bottles for real. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. Wait, shit, where is it? I can't find it. Okay, what are you doing? Just tell me what you're doing. Alright, I'm casting Greater Invisibility. It only lasts for a minute. So I'm oh, gonna Christ. I'm gonna prep myself, take a deep breath. Does it only last for a minute? It does. Okay. Well, you guys are with Ethel, so you see. Oh, I'm yeah. like BR, BRB guys, and then I'm as I breathe out, I, I turn invisible. Oh um, Jesus! And I run in the back door as somebody's coming Should out. Should we stop her? Do I see anybody? You can't stop me. I'm already invisible. Well, do, do I you... see any? 
bottles. I don't care if they're empty, full, whatever. You see they're being... Do you see bottles that are being filled by machines? Like, it's it's a whole process. The, <laughs> like... The, the drinks are being made and then bottled and the bottles are immediately getting packed. Hmm. Yoink. Uh, <laughs> just take the packed bottles and just get wasted. Easy. Okay. <laughs> and there's I... a lot There's a lot of workers. So make a stealth check. I'm Because you still make noise. With advantage. You still make noise. With advantage. Yeah. So roll it. Okay, wait. 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 Oh, God, wait. guys. <laughs> do, 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 do. Why is no one stopping her? All right, so I'm she turned invisible and laughed. I'm saving ah! Make mind, it, make it, make a stealth check. Fine, 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 fine. With advantage. Nat twenty. Oh shit! Plus three. Okay. So you make your Bell way in. Visual. You're pretty sure nobody hears you, or nobody definitely sees you. Um, what are you doing? Okay, I'm running really, really fast. Do I see any bottles? Um, the bottles. you see some. I'm grabbing as much as I can carry. Uh, make a sleight of hand check. Because the bottles are getting filled and then immediately packed. So there are people right in front of where the bottles are. Uh, not natural 20. Which is? Hedge. 20. Oh, uh, so it's dirty 20. 20. So you make your way over and you start grabbing some... You start... Because, like, you need to make your way over to a conveyor belt where people are working and then pluck one of the bottles off of it while they're, like, grabbing bottles. So you make your way over. You grab a bottle and start to pick it up. And one of the workers goes, Yo, what what the hell? And goes, like, <laughs> grab at the what, bottle yeah. in the air. I got a nat 20 on stealth. Just yeah, but they see a the bottle, bottle floating. They'll be fine. Come on, hurry up. I don't have a lot of time. They... You're right, you don't. Because you don't need... I'm trying to stuff them in my little packs. So they go to grab one of the bottles and just, like, reach out towards it, and they grab it. I'm just it. yanking it. Like, I'm not... I'm not Make waiting. an athletics check. Oh, my God. Okay. This is you pulling against their face. Uh, ten. They yank it out of your hand. Okay. Then I forget it, and I grab another one. <laughs> <laughs> you grab another, and immediately they reach out, and they feel you. And We're not yell, bailing her out of prison. They yell out. On the way out, I just run. I Somebody's just, in the brewery! And you... I just bolt. Let's just get You bolt? Just bolt. Just bolt. Let's go. You start running, just yeah, let's sprinting. Just go. And from outside, you guys hear Can shouting. Can I grab one bottle on the way out, please? You're grabbing a bottle? Can I just grab one? Sure. You grab a bottle, and I'll say, make another athletics check as one... Like, the person seems to... The person is, like, trying 14. to grab you. See, they go to grab you, but you grab one of the bottles and run away with it. As you become visible, right as you're leaving the doorway, and you All guys, for one you bottle. guys see Ethel bust out of the doorway, <laughs> with and you hear shouting behind her. Can I cast greater invisibility again. Oh Jesus! And you immediately see Ethel disappear again, Yay. and she just runs out of the door and just disappears. <laughs> Should I'm we just do something? To straight towards the port where the ship is. I'm getting out of here. <laughs> <laughs> How many spell slots do you have for that? Uh, give me a second. I have one left now that I used to. Okay, so you run for another minute, cast it on yourself before you become visible, keep running. And you only you become visible like a about two blocks away. But once I know. No? I mean, yeah, you're just, and then you just continue on through the crowd. Yeah, and I'm gonna casually just, like, put my hood up, you know, tuck the cloak. Yeah. Actually, the opposite. I'm gonna take off my cloak completely. Yeah. I was wearing it before. And here's the thing, because you're already walking through the town, and you have a really high passive perception. So, throughout your entire time walking through Kornberg, it's strange. Like, people every once in a while would come up to you guys and ask you questions like, Hey, what are you doing here? How are you? But also, like, you swear, throughout the entire time here, you feel like someone's watching you. Like, there's always people watching you. I feel like somebody's watching me. Like, it doesn't feel like anyone in specific, but just like everybody here. 
is hyper-attentive to what's going on around them. Like, everyone's keeping stock of their surroundings. Like, always. And you you get back to the ship without issue. You guys see... Right before I board, can I quickly roll for perception? To just see what I see? Make a perception check. 18 plus 13, 31. There are people watching. Just people. Okay, but I will 31 when I look like... They're they're just civilians, they're but just they're watching. Are they nosy civilians? Are they Karens? <laughs> Are they Karens? <laughs> Come on. Either way, outside again. of the brewery, Thelgrun, um, you f you even with your not as high passive perception, nobody directly comes up to you guys, but people are watching you. Like, you can tell these people know Ethel was with you, guys. Oh, lord. And you're being watched the entire time you're walking through the town. <laughs> but they don't recognize me. But they I, saw I you know. with But I had my cloak on, and then I took my cloak off, so now I look completely different. They saw me from behind. They saw you with them, and then you disappeared, and then reappeared in the entrance of the brewery, oh, and then shit. disappeared again. I don't, I don't understand. I don't understand what your entire idea or plan was. <laughs> I have no idea who this crazy lady is. Pe nobody comes up to you, but they're watching you. Just, just that casual boys just smiling oh, way. We're just gonna head there? down back to the ship. Uh, when you get back to the ship, uh, well, while Root was with you guys. Oh yeah, so you I mean, have to do something. Do I see Brown Tooth anywhere? Uh, by the time you get back to the ship, Valeria and Brown Tooth are actually like patiently waiting for you, and you've got this bottle with you. All right, I'm like heaving, and I'm like, okay, I'm ready. One bottle, know. all of that. We're gonna <laughs> shut up. I thought it would be I for one would be bottle. Cool. Wait, you should let the rogue do it. I could have been taking bottles and stuffing them in my dress. Yeah, but it's about you're picking this up where they're working. Their hands are right there. They grab them while you're lifting them. You should have taken the package of bottles. Some. Then we would have had something to drink. Why didn't you? You could have just bought some. God damn it. You have 42 gold. Shut up, God. Let's keep playing. <laughs> All right. Who goes to steal booze doesn't even steal a full bottle. You get back to the ship. Um, and... Uh, Valeria and Brown too. Like, immediately, they're sitting on deck, and you see there's just a wrapped outline of a humanoid on the se in the center of the deck. He's turned white and white. And you can tell it's Fisk, and they're just sitting there waiting for you. The rest of the crew is nowhere to be seen, and they just immediately shoot out of their seats once you get there. And they say, oh, Ethel, uh, you're back. Yeah, uh, uh well, it's... Get this over with, I suppose. Alright. Uh, so you are doing what? Okay, where's the bathroom? Raised dead. Alright, so you're going over, you're casting Ethel's Raised Dead. I don't know why, but my D&D is not that good. It won't respond to when I, like, hit cast on things. Alright, well, I'll just cast it for you. And so. I can't see... The description of it either. Uh, Can you mark all of my fourth level spell slots too when you get the chance? Because it won't mark them for me. And one third one. There we go. Alright. So, you go over. Uh, are you choosing to do a. Are you choosing to initiate a resurrection challenge? Um, pretty much, it allows. It allows people to make contributions in order to try to lower the DC. So are you going to give the, the Rambling Revelers a chance to do something to lower the DC? Yeah, why wouldn't I? All right. So you put down the emerald, um, and you start doing the druidic chants that the Kibaran druids taught you. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> so you start weaving natural energies the plants start to rise out of the deck and the rambling revelers are gonna 
step up. Uh, Valeria is going to go first. Um, and you see uh, Valeria just sort of leans over and not saying anything out loud, but just seems to say something quietly to Fisk after they unwrap him. Uh, she's going to make a persuasion check. Persuasion? Yes. <clears throat> It is her contribution. Uh, oh. Can probably Echo's assistance, inspiration. Uh, well, they're not there. Yeah, we're not back yet. <laughs> oh. Oh, yeah, because she ran ahead. Oh, Never mind. Could I. For, she, she ran um, from the authorities. For Brown Tooth, can I cast. Yeah, it's resistance. Can you I are in the middle of casting a spell. Yeah, you're in the yeah, middle of casting a spell. Yeah. I can't use it anyway. So Valeria, she can't inspire herself. Um, what was her persuasion? Hopefully that'll help. It will. Wow. Okay, that seven isn't as bad. <laughs> All right. Um, and then Brown Tooth is gonna step up, and he says, like out loud, Fisk. Brother, it's it's been a really hard couple days without you. I, look, we need you back. You see, he pulls. Uh, he reaches into his bag <clears throat> and pulls out what seems to be um, an instrument. Um, and I forgot what specific instrument does he play? It was, ah, bagpipes. Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he pulls out a set of bagpipes and goes into a bit of a performance, and he's going to make a performance check. A song, uh, that he is dedicated to Fisk. And it is... Oh, that is much better. Wow. Okay. Uh, so now... They've made their contributions, um, and I'm going to make the check. Let's see if Fisk comes back. It fell off the table. Oh, wait. <laughs> wait, so each... Uh, oh, wait, each should have brought it down by two. So it was 10. So, you sing a little song. Or you do the rest of your ritual, and you start weaving this natural energy. It starts wrapping around his body. The plants go and, almost like a cocoon, cover Fisk's body. You see, as the emerald shatters and turns to dust, it gets taken the dust gets taken up by the plants as flowers begin to bud and grow out of this mound and you watch as the plants begin to shrivel and die and you wait a couple seconds you wait a little bit more and fisk is unmoving I rolled a three. Snow. Big Sag. And you all sit there for a bit. Um, and you, Valeria looks at you. It's like sort of a question, like a questioning look. And she just looks down after you give her a a shake of your head, and just begins to bawl her eyes out. Valeria had been, uh, from, for the past week, had been holding in everything, just trying to keep a brown tooth good, but at the failure of this spell, just breaks down. As does brown tooth. A few minutes later, 
uh, <clears throat> Bramgrim, uh, mm-hmm. you hear a bunch of people arrive on deck as Thalgrun um, <clears throat> and Ralroot return. Their heavy footsteps make... Oh, you said Ralroot return and Juan joined the Discord. <clears throat> oh, That's shit! So funny. Uh, you see uh, Thalgrun, Ralroot, you return to the deck. Bramgrim, you hear... You hear these footsteps, and you come up on to- onto the deck, and you all see Ethel sort of looking defeated over the body of Fisk with, um, uh, you see Valeria and Langley just crying over the body. Uh, give me one second. He's like, let me pour them a drink. It seems like this... Wow, Ethel, you seem to be in a grave affair. Jesus Christ! What What is wrong with you? (laughs) Dude, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna go over to the... Brown Tooth Tooth stands up. He walks to you. Oh, God, he's gonna kick his ass. And he just fucking decks you, Ralroot. Like right across, like right across the cheek, just a hard fucking punch, and you see like he's looking to go for more, but he just fucking he just stares at you. Congratulations! I'm just gonna I'm just gonna leave my quarters really quick. And oh yeah, no, you saw deck. you saw this because yeah. you were on deck. You yeah, like came I'm, up. Uh, Valeria Langley, my office or my room, please. You don't have an office. Brown Tooth just it is. Brown Tooth looks at you, like looks up at you, Ralroot, just spits straight on your chest, just a glob. Just fucking turns around. <laughs> Was it worth it? I'm just gonna rub my cheek. Well, I don't know. I just see Ethel with a with a corpse. It just it seemed too easy. <laughs> <All right. laughs> God. Valeria also. Two people who you had actually made friends with on the ship. Just. Yeah. Congratulations. Please, um. Please just. Head, head to my quarters. <clears throat> I'll, I'll meet you there. I, I have to have a conversation with you. They make their way down. Just fucking angry. Like. And then I'm gonna walk up to Ralru. Yeah. What happened? What, what happened? The fuck are you I, li- I literally, I just got here. I actually just got here. Yeah, but you... The guy that got killed, but he didn't come back. Oh, oh. God damn it. <laughs> okay, well, okay, to be fair, I, I actually only heard Ethel's over a corpse. I'm like, oh, you seem to be in a... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I actually didn't... Okay, if, if I knew they were trying to revive Fisk, then I think... Well, why do you speak without listening to the situation? Because I actually, did not, I actually just got here. <laughs> I understand yeah. that, but why would you say... Well, because, yeah, like... that's the thing. I did say you saw them over the corpse of Fisk, and they're crying. <laughs> oh, you, pro- you probably cut off from me then, because I actually did not hear you. My, Because <laughs> normally corpse and Re- Vanguard's reverie come hand in hand. <laughs> So I thought it was appropriate. All okay. Right. Can, can, can I just have a redo? All right. Can yeah, I'll say you just got here. <laughs> sure. But you would have fucking burned the br- Jesus. I'm still going to I'm still going to call them to <laughs> Okay. To well, they they you, okay. Right, you uh, arrive I, I, and you see them over the body of Fisk. At the, wait, I'm just going to lay a hand on both their shoulders and okay. guide them to my quarters. I, I'm just going to take off my helmet and put it to my chest, you know, very mournfully. <laughs> what a different reaction. <laughs> you, yeah, right? you dickhead. <laughs> no, it's because we actually do have a lot of corpses and I was just like, okay. Hey, Captain. Like, am I wrong? Am I wrong, guys? It's okay. Well. He's not a captain. <laughs> we're, right. we're used to dealing with corpses. All right, so what do you do? Uh, pay my respects. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't know what type of funeral this is. Like, uh, they had little... literally just failed at reviving him. I rolled a three uh, on the check. Oof. Yeah, big rip. Yeah. Oof. Um, I don't know. Do, do they do like the two silver coins on their eyes and then leave them there, or? 
What type I think of we just do a burial at sea. He loved the ocean. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna drop two silver coins into his uh, casket. Dude, you don't even have two silver. He's literally just laying there on the deck. Oh, okay then. I She's just throwing money let's, at let's a corpse. Not, let's not do anything until everyone, especially the two people who wanted to bring him back, are there. Oh, okay. Well, you know what? Later, I just want to say that how Ethel's a failure at necromancy. She should learn from a real teacher. His name is, uh, what's his name? Reggie Lowsteel. He's really good at it. He does right? not exist. God. He does not exist. Uh, also, are you Thank actually God saying that. that to Ethel? No, actually no. I'm just gonna, <laughs> take, I'm just gonna take off take my helmet. Take the bomb like off him and throw it at the fucking ground. <laughs> yeah, he's, next to Thank Ethel, she's got a bottle of wine. Just bash him over the head with it. Uh, <laughs> Alright. Um, so what are you guys doing? I'm gonna go back to her room. I mean, I got three of the greater healing potions. I guess we should split them up a little bit. I'm just trying to get them to <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> I mean, what do you want me to do? <laughs> no, did you, did you just hear what Eliza said? No. She said you can try to give them to Fisk. Jesus Christ, I think it's a little bit late for that one. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Morbid. Alright. That's fucked up. Ethel's gonna go back to her room. And um, on her way again... Yeah, go to your room and think about yeah, what you've so done. Yeah, so she goes back to her room and Ralru, you see she pa she hands you a pristine fine bottle of wine. Cur unlabeled. It's also empty. It's not empty. No, it's full. It's yeah, unlabeled. Yeah, I didn't fail. You were saying I failed. You, you got a did. single you bottle. You got you shot. shot. You got got got. It's good. Oh, oh I'm okay then. Uh, so, <laughs> Ramgrim, are you? Uh, what are you doing? Like, did you let the crew know? Uh, yeah, I told all of them about it. But this all was right. before the whole resurrection. Thing. Okay, so yeah. So, what is the? What are you guys doing now, Ralrud? I know you had some plans. Uh, going to... Wait, are we in, um, Zalargo? Uh, you are in Kornberg, yes. Okay, then I'm gonna go visit the university. Alright. What? Is, is everybody else going to get drinks? It's actually a library. Library. Alright. Is everyone else going um, to get drinks? Before we do that, I was gonna... This is going, might as to... well. Yeah, I was gonna talk to Valeria and Langway. Alright, what are you gonna talk to them about? Um, I'm, I'm sorry that we were unable to help you. I, uh, I fully, um, accept any blame you want to put on any of the crew onto me. As... Kind of your shitty captain. Shut the fuck up, you're not there. Oh my god. <laughs> as I am in the position of captain. Let me just say, it's it's no problem at all. We'll we'll figure something out. Big Sedge. We we need to figure out whether we wanna. We'll see. We just and they just say. We'll, we'll man the ship while all of you go get drinks. Watch him hijack um, you. Listen, Valeria, Langley, um, I don't... I didn't know Fisk that well. Um, which is a shame. Starting to get to know him. Um, but if you guys feel like you don't want to continue on this ship, or if you do. Either way, I will not hold it against you. Um, but Valeria, my offer still stands. I think you'd make one hell of a captain, and um, I, I wish you all well. And I'm gonna take off my, uh, I have a hat, right? We've been saying I have a hat. Yes, <laughs> yeah, one yeah. of the really, my really big hat. ones. Yeah, really, the really, big really big ones. <laughs> Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna take it off and just put it on the on like the desk or whatever, just right in front of Valeria. Um, 
take care of the ship. I will go. You see, she just sort of... Wait, I have a question. When we came into port, did they, like, do anything? What do you mean? Did they we... went to go get the gem. No, not them. I mean, did we get stopped at all? Because our name is gone and our flag is gone. Uh, yeah, the, the current... Whoever you... I forgot who it was, but whoever you made quartermaster is dealing with that. So Frick is dealing with it. Oh, Frick is. <laughs> Jesus. Frick uh, is dealing with it. Um, so, uh, is everyone going to get drinks? Sure. Because right. the last time we went out drinking, only a building burned down. Right. So while, everyone sure goes, while everyone goes to get drinks, Rel Roots, what are you doing? You know, Ethel. Oh, yeah, can, I, can I pull Ethel to a side? Uh, right. I'm gonna try to be. I'm gonna try to whisper. Actually, no. I'm gonna. I'm gonna ask uh, Thelgren. I'm gonna play super safe. Thelgren, can you relay a message to uh, Ethel, like telepathically for me, please? Uh, sure. How, okay. How is this being safe? <laughs> Shut You're up. saying to Thelgren, who's gonna? <laughs> who's, sure. Who's sure. More sure. Gonna sure. Sure. Talk to? sure. Whatever you say, I got you. Yeah. So he could just tell Ethel. Uh, hold up. I'm gonna type it to you. Uh, you whisper it on, uh, I don't know how to do it. Uh, W slash, or I'm slash W. Now. I mean, I'm not on that, you should, you should probably just, like, message me on Discord or something like that. That would be way yeah. easier. Alright. Hey, great. Um. Also, send me, send, message me what it says, as well. Alright, uh, so. Uh, what do you guys, so, Ralph Root. Uh, you're going to the Corn Library of Cornbird. Ah, uh, yeah. All right. <laughs> no, I j actually just want to show you the pun. Okay, let's see. All right. All right so. What I'm gonna tell <laughs> Ethel telepathically is I'm gonna preface this saying Raoul Root told me to tell no. you this, <laughs> and I quote: "I know a great morgue for the body since everyone is dying to get in." <laughs> no, 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 I, I just want I just wanted to show you this stuff. Okay. You hear Thelgren's voice in your head say, "Oh my God, <laughs> what are you saying?" I'm gonna say, uh, "Raoul Root told me to tell you this," and I quote. I know a great morgue for the body, since everyone is dying to get in. Are you responding? That's the message you're so secret about. <laughs> 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 I'm so not even you're disappointed. Is... What? <laughs> you're asking me. All right. Anyways, I'm gonna go out drinking. I, I want to go to the library. All right. So, what do you? All right, for the sake of brevity, you go to the library um, yes. and uh, make a persuasion check. Oh, also, uh, oh, well, you I know the, and the what guy's do, name. What are you looking for in the library? I messaged it to you. I also had his name, Alex. So yeah, I know. That. It's in that. Uh, uh, what did you say in a persuasion oh. check? Make a persuasion check and tell me what you're looking for. Uh, uh, yikes. I'm looking for the original researcher. Alex? Yeah? Yeah, I'm looking for the original researcher. And, um, I'm gonna ask him what he knows about, like, all type, all the... Alright, well, the person at the tattoo. front desk, they ask you, uh, do you have a specific name? Or... Oh, what? What's his name? <laughs> it's researcher in Sharn who passed. Passed the research. Name a lot. No, you didn't give me the name. It's set. Okay. So you ask for Oladi. Oh. Um. And. Kornberg. Oh, Elrin. <laughs> there you go. That I can't fucking read. Elrin was the original researcher. They gave up their research and passed it to Oladi. Who is at this library? Yes. So you ask for a lottie, um, and they seem hesitant to um, have you speak with this researcher. 
So what are you going to say to convince them to let you see Oladi? Um, I have details concerning the one of her research expeditions. Which one in particular? Yes. Well, yeah. Close my, my door. Oh. Close my door, Mom. <laughs> Sorry, I actually closed my door. I'm busy. I'm in a meeting. <laughs> <laughs> That's what this is. <laughs> Um, what was I gonna say? Uh, the Herd of Shadows. Make another persuasion check. Can I, uh, can I, can I do, um, Echo's assistance? Yeah. Yay. Yay. <laughs> uh, oh shit, way better. Slash, right. I don't remember what picture looks like. Oh. No, 18. All right. Um, so you speak. Uh, you tell them, and the uh, they go back into the library, and you see this library is massive. It is. There are multiple floors, and the the stacks of books. Like while everything else in this city is the size of gnomes, this is just what massive. The gnome. And it goes, it is towering. There are books everywhere. Um, you see there are ladders that have to go up the bookshelves. And there are even, like, you see books are just, like, floating from place to place, sorting themselves. Oh, that's pretty poggers. And eventually a, a high, you see um, the same woman that was at the front desk come with a female high elf standing beside her, just walking towards you. And you see they've got a notebook and a ton of papers in hand. Um, and they motion for you to go over to what seems to be like a private research room. Or a private, like, note, one of those private note-taking rooms. Okay. So you go over, you make your way over, and she says, uh, uh, Hello, uh, uh, I'm Oladi. I'm the one you asked for, and you are. Apparently not here, Alex. Uh, yeah. Hello. Uh, did you say anything? Yeah. yeah. She's. She oh. asks. She says, uh, I, "I'm Oladi. I'm. I'm the researcher you were looking for. Um, uh, who are you?" Oh, I am uh, Zeke Gar Garbendorf. <laughs> make a de <laughs> make a deception check with disadvantage. Garbendorf. Nice. Garbendorf Zeke. <laughs> Garbendorf. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't know his own name. Deception at disadvantage. <laughs> uh, can I have uh, uh, Echo's assistant? She'll see you casting the spell. Oh, damn it. <laughs> so the DC would go up. A disadvantage. <laughs> no. <laughs> she immediately, oh. as she's like holding open the door to, uh, the, right. to the okay, room, she no. just shuts it before you can get in. She just says, look. You're, you came here looking for information from me. Yes. You need to give me something in return for this. So, let's try that again. I'm Olati. Who are you? Zeke. <laughs> I am Zeke. I am Gru. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm, I am Lavola. <laughs> <laughs> oh, can you just answer the lady? Well, yeah. yeah, yeah. I, okay. I. I. Am, I'm. Ro, I'm a root Zarkner of the Herd of Shadows. Oh. Son of the uh, Tell Telroot. Tel, Telroot. Yeah. She's and you see she recognizes the name. Um. And she opens the door back up and she says, "That's better." All right. And you see. Uh, she, like, motions for you to go into the research room, and she puts down a bunch of her papers. She says, so, Ralroot, uh, you were a member of the Herd of Shadows? Yes and no. Uh, Explain. So, I imagine, oh, you're, you're a, I'm guessing a woman of science. Uh, well, science. Um, knowledge. No, a woman of knowledge. 
and I know you're probably in, you probably have a bunch of cases on like uh, effects of like living in the herd or the uh, like the co-founding variables that certain rituals have on the herd of shadows themselves. But haven't you asked yourself about um, someone who hasn't a uh, control variable? If I, if you please. She looks a little confused. Yeah. Uh, okay. What exactly you are you offering me? You see, I offer all my past experiences, and well, this. And then I'm going to start, uh, you know, moving my tats around. Awaken tats and shit like that. Yeah, and you see, you start, uh, your tattoos begin to move around. She says, yes, I, I noticed yours seemed a little bit different than what I've seen. Yes. Has this happened but recently? Yes and no. You see, because I was born into the Herd of Shadows, but I was... Uh, Kind of forgotten, left by the herd, and uh, had to fend for myself without any guidance on how to use the tattoos. And so, most of what I can do is because I had to do it alone, sort of. Sort of. And sort of. I don't know how to explain it, but I did have some help, but not really. Like, Explain. You see, I, I don't know how to explain. Fuck, how, actually, I don't know how to explain. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Um, I'm pretty much going to have to... Can I... Just to make things short, I don't want to... Explain everything on. with your... That tattoo your with phone. the grandfather... <laughs> buff grandma. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what she says. Um, oh, fuck, I lost one of my dice. God damn it. Um... Uh, she looks to you, and she hears you explain everything. Yes. And the nightmares. Don't forget the nightmares. Oh, you tell her about the nightmares? Oh, uh, wait a second. Hold up. I should probably find out how much she knows. Uh, no, 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 no. Okay. No, and, tell well, her. she tells you. Because this isn't something you entirely know. She says, yes. your tattoos have undergone a process. They've awakened. It's something that I've read about, but never have had confirmed, or... It's based in stories of the people of your past, their powers growing stronger. Only certain warriors of the Herd of Shadows have been able to do this. Expand their powers, grant getting powers unique specifically to them. Awakened tattoos like this are not a very common occurrence. I've noticed. And if awakened tattoos are a reality, then potentially, so are exalted tattoos. Exalted tattoos? Oh. A step beyond where you seem to be finding yourself right now. Uh, it's it's a further connection. Think about think about it like this. Everyone in the Herd of Shadows has a rope connecting them to the source of their power. And with training, they can pull on that rope and pull themselves closer to the power. But, because of the origin of that power, there are both boons, they get stronger, but there are also downsides. What do you know about the origin of our of our power? Well, shadowy abilities like this have been seen before. In who? In the shadow. This was in the flame. Not many truly believed in what Ergal had done. But many myths hold truth, and this one seemed to be entirely true. 
So, Railroot, what you have done, you have been training, pulling yourself closer to that power. But most in the Herd of Shadows can only pull themselves so far. But your tattoos have awakened. You can pull yourself closer to this power than any others have done before. Then... But... You can pull yourself farther than any others without these awakened tattoos. But it comes at a price. That power is dangerous. It is volatile. You will get stronger. But... You will suffer some sort of effect. I'm not sure entirely what, but... And you see, she like... She's getting closer to you, and she's just like looking... Hovering over your tattoos, just looking at them. There must... There's a downside to these that you will feel. I'm sure you have felt. But you're just not telling me. But... I mean, yeah. They're the, they're the nightmares. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure there's much more than that to come. Oh, You've boy. just manifested these. And if it is possible to exalt them, and you do, well, <laughs> it'd be quite an extraordinary feat. I mean, I, I wanna, I wanna ask her, um, what do you know about dreams coming real, coming true? Well, um, <clears throat> you see, a woman of, of knowledge. You see, she sort of sits back. Well, dreams are a f strangely solid entity. They can be made manifest through Dalcor, the region of dreams. Another plane. Whenever one goes to sleep and they are within a dream, when they are dreaming, they are in Dalcor, shaping, and the region is being shaped by whatever their dreams are. If they dream lucidly, they can manifest, they can grasp the power of the plane and change it to their will while within it. And, well... Dreams that are stronger, more potent, with enough power or will behind them can come true. Can be pulled out of Delcor. Do you think the Dark Lord has any part in these dreams? In anyone's dreams, really? I'm sure there are plenty of influences on people's dreams. I wouldn't be surprised, but that is not my area of research, unfortunately. You guys are fucked. <laughs> are you, are you um, saying yeah. that to her? No, 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 no. I'm just thinking about it. Like, damn. Who are you thinking about? <laughs> the revelry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're just fucked. They're just she ripped. just says, but don't Nothing feel hopeless. Yet. Can learn to control this. A few have. Not many awake, awaken their tattoos. But those who do are strong. Some of them lose themselves to the power. And potentially, if you exalt these, you'll be one of the handful ever to do so. Wait, hold up. Handful? Do you think there's still some alive? No. These... No. Those who have exalted their tattoos are but legends. Myths. Now that I would be surprised to see be true. What but about awakened knows? tattoos? Awakened? There are probably a few amongst your clan. It's hard to manifest. Hard to awaken them, but... When it is done... The stronger warriors in your clan, those probably holding higher prestige, probably have some amongst them, a few, may have awakened tattoos. Hmm. 
and also, um, what do you want? Well, thank you for helping me out. So, what do you want in return? Well, I'll continue. I'll continue to message you, Ralph. Uh, any questions I have about your people? Corro corroborate any stories? Confirm anything? Deny anything? Of my research? I just want the truth. Your people are a tricky bunch. They're not trusting. Which is fair, after the attack. So you're gonna help me get in a little bit. If you ever get back in contact with your people, you will vouch for me. Fair. And if I have any questions, you will answer them. Whatever also, can you, know. you can you answer me one more question? Sure, whatever you want. Guys, uh, j this is me. This is Juan. Uh, out of character. What type of dragon is uh, Bramgrim? I'm a bronze dragon. All right. Bronze All right. dragon. <clears throat> no, you're gold, I never. Dude. Am I gold? You're gold, dude. Oh, before I was bronze. Yeah, that was a previous incarnation of Bramgrim. You're bronze. You're gold. Yeah. All right. Yes. All right. Uh, <clears throat> all right. Back in character. All right. I'm gonna ask her. What do you know about gold dragons? Like any specific weaknesses? <laughs> you do know dragons and dragonborn are not the same. <laughs> dragonborn. <laughs> Sorry. I'm gonna I'm ask her gold dragonborns. <laughs> she says, uh, I, "My study is not in dragonborn, unfortunately." You think it'd point me to someone who is? Uh, well, uh, I do not know any researchers of the topic, but I might potentially find somebody if the information you continue to give me is worth it. Very fair. That's fair. I mean, do, do you want to know anything else? I mean, I can show you some of my attacks, yeah. my power, prowess. Sure. Give me a demonstration. And over some time, she has you show her, like, your Unleashed Incarnation, manifesting your echoes, like, all of these different things. Yeah. She asks you if you are capable of summoning ancestors. What do you say? Well... Oh, I already told her this, didn't I? You didn't say whether you are capable of summoning your ancestors. So she oh. asks you. Well, sometimes I feel like I could pull something out, but if it's almost like talking to myself, so I'm not entirely sure. All right. She asks you to demonstrate pulling an ancestor. God damn it! Uh, oh wait. Um. All right. I'm gonna try to summon my great grandfather. Your great grandfather? I... Yes. All right, you reach down, and you see the same, like, shadowy pool appear that you go to reach down into. Yeah. But you don't find purchase on anything. It seems to be too far back, and she sees you struggling to do this. And she just says, huh. That's interesting. Make a I don't know. Make a performance I don't know check. How. Performance check? Fuck. This is you. You're you're acting that you can't do this. I mean, I can't pull them out right now. Yeah, you're At putting on a little show. At normal? Yeah. It's a straight performance. God damn it. Not moral. She says, huh. All right. You're not entirely sure if she believes you or not. I'm just... Okay. You explained to her... That you could do it, no, but not, then not you don't necessarily. Do it. Oh, well, I tried pulling the great grandfather. It's not like I could. I I can, but I I actually can't. She doesn't push further, but she can. You can tell she can kind of see past your bullshit. I mean, I didn't so lie. She continues to ask you questions for the rest of the night. Eventually, you do make it with the rest of your allies back to. Um, 
What's it called? What do I learn about Golden Dragonborns? <laughs> uh, you don't learn anything that night. You need to find a researcher for that. God damn it. <laughs> I will I will find Ramcram's weakness and exploit it. It's like asking, what's a human being's weakness? I don't know, just break their legs or something. It's just... It's a person. <laughs> Well, you see, Alex, I'm trying to find out how to beat Bramgram in case he wants to beat me. Okay. God. Well, you guys all go go over to the bar, the Gold Dragon Inn, and there are a bunch of gnomes just, like, letting loose in there, having fun. Um, strangely enough, this building is made to size of just the everyman, and it's strange coming upon, like, yet another Gold Dragon mm -hmm. House Galanda Inn. It's just weird seeing these pretty much copy-pasted in any settlement you go to. Like, you can tell that just the houses have a hold anywhere you guys go. And you go in, and people start buying you guys drinks, and you have a grand... I, I do not drink. You do not drink. I drink apple juice. You drink apple juice. I mean, <laughs> uh, Thalgren, are you drinking? Uh oh. Maddie. He's he's dead. Yeah, he's dead. Oh, uh, he's muted he muted himself. I mean Raru could he's probably gonna drink a little bit, but not too much. Raru's not there. Oh Raru's not oh, there. Matt, hello? You unmuted yourself. I can't tell. Oh uh, that's weird. Oh do the, just leave and then join back. This has happened before. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Matt? What the fuck? It's happening again. Hold on. I think it's something with your microphone. Whenever you join, it makes a little bit of static. How about- Oh, oh there, we there we go. go. Now it worked. What the fuck? Yeah, what's up? Uh, but yeah, I said yes. You are I'm drinking? Going, I'm going to partake in the revelry. Peep, okay, people are buying you drinks. They are like- Hell yeah. Alright. Uh... Alright, and they just ask you guys a bunch of questions like, hey, what are you up to? Like, where are you coming from? Where are you going? Like, who are you guys? Um, <clears throat> and you see the entire time, strangely enough, Abba Labba is a little, he's just quiet and to himself. Like, he's not wanting to talk to people, really. Oh no. Ethel's like that too. Ethel is also like that. <laughs> um, Rel Root. And people people keep feeding you guys drinks. Like, they're... These people... Like, you guys are the foreigners that are super weird and quirky. And they're just like... <laughs> We're the cool kids. You are the cool kids. Oh, uh, wait. Actually, Rel Root's not gonna drink any. You're not gonna drink any? No. I will, but only in moderation. Because I am a responsible adult. No, you're not. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> All right. But I will try my best. All right, and a bunch of the people keep telling you, Railroot. Oh, come on, big man. You can no. take some. No, I'm good. Mother warned me about worried people like you. Worried, worried about getting out drank by a gnome. Yeah, Didn't a little know. bit. <laughs> and you see a bunch of people start. We we all know you guys are the smarter race. What does that have to do with what? 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 what does what? that have to do with drinking? Clearly, he shows that the Goliaths are on the not lower the end smarter. Of that the... <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, well, and we thought you'd be hardier than us. Oh. Okay, hold up. Who's staying sober? Me. <laughs> Ethel is. I am. Graham Grimm is. Yeah, I don't. Mm, who do I, I? You know, it's because I don't. Tr I don't. I'm not trusting anyone now that we have the crystal. Okay, you could still drink. Even drunk, to you can still see that I'm. Yeah, you could stay bag. lucid. How much are you planning <laughs> on drinking? Jesus Christ! All of it. You know, Wait, whatever. Like, fuck it. I'm like, all right, fine, whatever. Fuck it. Let's go. <laughs> let's, let's go. Peer fuck pressure works, guys. Right. They managed Four. to peer pressure him into it. <laughs> no. And they just drink. They start drinking. They get you drinking. Dalgren, are you also drinking? Just a bit. Just a bit. Uh, make a wisdom saving throw. 
What the uh, wisdom? This is just seeing whether you get swept up in the revelry and get to, <laughs> oh, God. Get to into it. I do I try and do anything? Oh, 18 plus 220, baby. <laughs> you can keep it. You can drink as much as you want. You're not letting these party here. You're not letting the revelry distract you. See, I knew I was open. responsible. Um, and throughout the entire night, um, Ralru, people start asking you, uh, I need you to make a wisdom saving throw as well. With disadvantage, because you said you're getting into the drink. Yeah, whoa, whoa. <clears throat> I am very scared. <laughs> I am very scared. <laughs> Alright. Hey, yikes. These people keep, um, and you guys are all there. Here they keep asking you questions like, "Oh, what was your, what was your voyage like?" Oh wait, hold up! All right, all right, I must stop drinking after they start. This and no, thing. that's yeah, the thing. Water. They, that's the thing. They start off with questions like, "Oh, what were you doing? Like, uh, what were you, what were you up to? Oh, where'd you come from? Like, oh, who are you?" And as you get deeper into the drink, they start asking you more specific questions. Once and, they start asking that, I'm going to get in front of them. And Ralph Root's lips start letting go a little. They're like, yeah, there was a crazy storm and... Dang it. Yeah, I knew it. I it's knew fine. It uh, okay, uh, uh, and Ramon, you can please tell. do something. Uh, I'll say... Um, what's it called? Uh, where, are the, where did I put my passives sheets? There we go. Um, Ethel, you're there. Uh, you can tell there's at least three people in the corner of the inn that have been watching you all night. Like you specifically. Whoa, she's got stalkers? Probably because they saw her fucking rob. Um, That's true. Alex? Alex? There's, there's also, there's also like the entire time there are people watching you guys. Like, you can tell these people, they're trying to fake, they're trying to uh, learn things about you guys. Yeah, once once Raul Root starts getting a little loose lipped, I'm gonna um, grab him. Like, all right, time to head back to the ship. Uh, we have a um, we're gonna have a long day tomorrow, so come on, let's go. Of course. All right. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm of course. You know, you know, Bra you know, you know, Bram again. You are my rival. Oh God. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's one of those drunks, isn't he? <laughs> Uh, well, actually, yeah, yeah. There's a table you can roll to what kind of drunk you are. <laughs> oh, is there? Yeah, yeah. there's a lot. Of... Jesus. All right, no, that doesn't sound like fun. Mm -mm. Anyway. All right. My brother was telling me how I was having my cousin and he had to get some. Well then, right. um, let's go. Uh, I'm, gonna I don't know the I, I, I'm gonna turn to you guys and like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stay behind for a second. All right. Um, and you see, uh, on your way out, Ethel. I'm asking them first. Um. Uh, actually. Um. Uh, yeah. Never mind. You continue. It's just now, throughout the rest of your time, as opposed to just people um, passively just being nosy, you. F you can there always seems to be at least one to two so even up to like three people specifically tailing you guys like what we're leaving yeah anywhere you guys go within the city um and as you guys continue to travel through zalargo there just seems to be and it's not even the same people it's just different people there always seems to be somebody on you guys uh oh Dinky. You guys make your way oh, back to the ship. I have doubled the purple spells. I have doubled the spell evil. I have double dream. Oh uh, yeah, the Redux versions are the ones you're actually using because those are actually, uh, those are ones I fixed. All right. Uh, so, you guys continue on, making um, your way. I want to turn around and talk to the people who've been following me. Uh. All right. So you turn around and you see some of the people who are following you. And you see, as soon as you turn around and start walking over to them, they just like spread out and walk, like, walk back out into the Do crowd. I see one um, Ethel is. Uh, is there make a perception issue? check. Yeah, there's people following. Whoa, there's people. 
following me. Make a oh. perception check. You want to fight them? No, I want to fight them. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> now make a perception check. I'm going to All right. <laughs> um, you see all three of them split off. You can one in particular isn't as stealthy. What a loser! But they seem to be trying to. They see that you turn back, and they. Yeah, but I wanted to follow just one in particular. Or just oh yeah, you. Approach one. You're gonna approach one of them. Just one. Oh yeah, they're they're actively like walking away from you. They see you're making your way over to them. And they're just like speed walking away from you. Like it seems like unless you active like actively chase them, they're gonna they keep just walking away. Can I And they're a bit of a way away from you. Just just leave it. Okay. Okay. Alright. And you see they continue away as Bram Grim holds you back. What? Wings. With your wings? It. Oh yeah, that. Uh, I forgot what it was called. Okay. Either way. Uh, you guys all go back to the ship. You spend the night there. And the following morning, uh, you guys speak with the rest of the crew, say your goodbyes, mm -hmm. and head off. Yeah. Um, Alex, in the, um, in the time frame of that night, that's the night of, um, the DM. Alright, yeah, so what are you gonna do? Um... I'm just gonna... pull out... my sword. Yes. Uh oh. Um... And I'm gonna try something... that I haven't been able to do. Uh -oh. I'm gonna go to... S I'm gonna try talking to it beforehand. Um... And then I'm gonna go to sleep holding it. To hopefully get inside the sword. <laughs> because I've been talking the to them, but I haven't been able to actually go inside it. Alright. Alright. So you go to sleep clutching the sword. Uh, and you go to sleep, like, thinking about entering the sword. Yeah, I don't know any other way to do it. Alright. Well, you go to sleep clutching it. And you wake up, like, shortly after falling asleep. And you're just laying back, like, on the floor of the now completely covered in inky black, oh. the chamber, the inside of the blade. Let's go, progress! <laughs> <laughs> I did it! Alright, do I see any of the, um... Good. That was a good rule. Four Celestials? Uh, yeah, you see all four of them. Sup, gang? They're sitting around. I'm gonna walk up to them, you know, call out a little uh, greeting, especially to Ramiel because he's been ignoring me, he's been ghosting me for the past, like, month or see, so. See, the three... The three of the Celestials are all together. Like, the three that were slain, and then Ramiel... He seems to always be by himself. Yeah. Whether by choice or because the other three don't want him around, you're not sure. Mm -hmm. But he always seems to be by himself. And you come in, um, and you greet all of them, saying, "What exactly?" Well, hello, friends. It seems I've uh, I've returned. It's been a while since I've been inside here. Shouts up. They shout over to you. Ramgrim, welcome back. Have you made any progress? Uh, we are very, very close. Are we? I'm, I must get a throne hold. It's a throne hold. And... Alright. And you see yeah, The there... first step is reforging... Reforging the weapon, and then we'll be allowed into Athedon. Finally. And you just hear from across the way, um, oh, you hear from across the way Ramiel say, ah, I dropped something. 
He says, oh. you just hear him say, like, to himself, but also out just into the room to be whole again. He looks up to you. He says, have you found the smith you need? <sighs> Not yet. Um, I was hoping that there'd be a smith around Thronehold, because, of course, it's where the flame is kept, but... Do you have any ideas where I could find one? Um, you see, uh, he sort of like looks back, almost just looking off into the distance, and he just says, Well, I knew a great smith once. His name was Malmick. <laughs> Malmick. He's got I knew it. He's got great deals. <laughs> what a <laughs> <one>. <laughs> He can forge the weapon you need. He for a reasonable says, price. For a very reasonable price. Um, and he just says, but I believe he is long gone now. Thronehold will probably be a good place to search. What you need is to get in good standing with the current Keeper of the Flame, Yaela. Do you know much about the organized Church of the Silver Blade? Um, no, I was never able to really sit down and learn about it as we were already or always on the run. You see, he makes his way forward slowly towards the rest, and they seem a little hesitant, but... Rabbit's coming back! You see, he moves close- he moves a bit closer and just says... The Church of the Silver Flame is one of much history. It was founded in the early centuries of the Kingdom of Galifar by the sacrifice of Tyr Miran. But you know this. However, yeah. Silver Flame did not start with Tira Miron's sacrifice. Back when the over overlords ruled during the Age of Demons, after the discovery of the Draconic Prophecy, the Fiends were overthrown by the combined forces of Dragon and Kuatl. However, the overlords, like all immortal spirits, could not be permanently killed. And as such, countless of the immortal Quadles decided to sacrifice themselves to bind the children of Kyber, the overlords, which created the Silver Flame. Later, the church was founded by Tiramiron's sacrifice in the name of this power. That silver flame still stands holding the overlords back. The seal closed by Tiramiron's weapon. Cloinger, a great blade. Fiends continuously try to break that seal. Open up the silver flame so that all the overlords may be free. And there is always one, the keeper of the flame, the head of the church, the closest to the silver flame, who receives visions. They they lead the church in all of its ways. Right now, the keeper is Yaela, Duran. But a child. She... And you see, he sort of just like... <sighs> There's a bit of a conflict on his face. He says, Yaela is but an 11-year-old human girl. <laughs> 
<laughs> Bruh. And he says, but she is the spiritual leader of the church. And one of the strongest clerics in all of Eberron. <clears throat> she was just the daughter of a simple craftsman, and no one believed in her. But through her own belief, she managed to warn of a secret plot by the lords of the of dust that was operating within the walls of Flamekeep. After some investigation, Thrain's knights managed to quell the cult, and Yael's bit ability was confirmed. The previous keeper of the flame stepped down and appointed Yaela, who at the time was but six years old, to the throne, to the to be the keeper. You must earn her favor. She is one of the strongest keepers, but not as trusted within the, the church as she should be. Mm -hmm. Gain her trust, and you will get access to whatever powers and resources she has that you can potentially use to reforge your blade. Reforge my blade. You see? <laughs> you see, she just... Um, or he just sits back and says, I wish there were more I could give you. More I could do to pay all of you back. It's okay, Ramiel. It, that information in itself is enough for right now. I just have one more question. Yes. So, before um, the first time I entered this blade, there was that core inside. Yes. Now we found this crystal and it seems to have some very dangerous properties to it. Is there any way to seal the crystal inside of the blade? And what sort of crystal is this? I believe it, you said kyber shard? Oh, uh, yes. It's a... Um, it's a kyber... kyber shard. Is there anything you know about it? Um... It was crimson in color, and... Um... Our... our wizard friend, Abalaba, um... He tried to identify it, but as soon as he touched it, he... He got hit with... I don't even know, he just... Coughed up blood and fell back and started bleeding all over and there was just a sense of anger around it it would flash this dark crimson red and grow brighter as conflict arose and you see he looks and he says and he, he just looks and just and this was it made you angry. It filled you with yes. rage. Was there mm -hmm. anything else about the crystal? And you see he gets intense, sort of like moving closer to you and to the rest. And they seem uncomfortable, but they just sort of move back. The only reason I'm asking you is because I heard that people are looking for it to consume its power. And I, I, I want to do whatever I can to avoid it falling into the wrong hands. He just says, Graham, Graham, I believe. If it is what I believe it is. What it sounds like. This power would destroy you. It would destroy all of us. If it is what I think it is. That is the essence just a piece 
of one of the overlords we fight to keep banished, sealed. Assuming that shard would, at the very best, kill you. And at the worst, make you an avatar. For Rectul Kesha's power. Yes, sir. He says, whatever you do, you keep this shard safe, away from others. Do, not do know you think you the... The Keeper will be able to help? Potentially, but... For now, keep it safe. Get it to her as soon as you can. Rectil Kesh's essence is divided among many Kyber Dragon Shards, from which he can exert his influence. So carrying this shard will make things a great deal more dangerous for you and yours. But it will also keep it away from the grasp of those who seek to do things with its power. There are more of these shards across the land. Keeping one on the move seems like it could be good. Especially in the hands of someone who wouldn't abuse it. Of course. Well, you heard him, guys. Collectible quest. Mm. <laughs> one out of a hundred no but <clears throat> I um it's like the Korok seeds in Breath of the Wild <laughs> <laughs> no it's the what the Deku nuts is that what you have to collect like a thousand of yeah like the Korok seeds you collect enough of them oh. you get the you get the end of the campaign yeah <laughs> <laughs> you, un you unlock campaign two <laughs> oh, it's fuck. Okay. <laughs> I thank you again for all your help, Ramiel. Um, and I don't know about anyone else, but I can say that I I forgive you for what happened. I don't know if my word means much right now, but I will show you that we can do a lot together. Right. He says, thank you. And now that you wield this power, you are liable to become target of the Lords of the Dust. The Lords of Dust. They are a cabal of Rakshasa and other fiends that manipulate Eberron towards the release of the overlords. If I'm correct, you've come into contact with some of them recently. Yes, there were uh, there were a few. Well, there is one specifically that you must look out for. The most powerful servant of Raktulkesh. Jamdees. A powerful Rakshasa. A dread knight and commander from the Age of Demons. The Proctu of Ra Tilkesh. He is Mordekesh, the Shadow Sword, and he will without a doubt be coming for the crystal. It is only a matter of time. Learn about the Lords of Dust know your enemy because they will know about you and they will be coming for you Ruh-ro. I see alright I think it's time for me to head out you see he sort of bows and the other of the silver regalia bow as well and you uh Close your eyes and just wake back wake back up with a sword in hand. Hmm. So Alright then. Alright. 
So, is there anything else uh, the Vanguard's revelry would like to do in Cornburn before you leave? Uh, yeah, do you have do anything? I mean, he's not here, and neither is LCM neither. I guess right, we could just backtrack. Uh, to... And it was. John Cena. Oh, Jesus. John Cena, the Pro Tool of Ragtool Cash. <laughs> the Rage of War. <laughs> He's an overlord. <laughs> John Cena is an overlord and he will fuck your shit up. You can't see him. <laughs> He's always invisible. <laughs> He's always no under the seen his true form. He's always under the effects of greater visibility. <laughs> Oh God! <laughs> All right. So, uh, as you guys make your way north, uh, unless there is anything else, do we even have money for a thunder rail? Or a do we have rail? more than enough? Okay, good. Because I don't have any money. Because Dave's a cunt. He has eight hundred and thirteen gold. Of course he All does. Right, so I'm gonna see. You guys are in Korenberg at the moment. Cause he's never here, so we never want to like spend his money without. No, I know. Here. So but he's like... had this. The, he's had this since the beginning of the campaign, pretty much. Yeah, then yeah. that inheritance money. He do be rich. And he put and, most of and it. You guys towards, actually. Like, a trial. Uh, now that you think about it, you don't know where Ethel is going to or what she's doing. Ethel doesn't know what Ethel's going to and what she's doing. So why she's just following us around like a before we leave? I'm just gonna say, okay. listen, Eliza all right? Doesn't know what Ethel is doing. <laughs> Ethel knows listen, what Ethel. Ethel's doing. <laughs> Eliza doesn't know what Ethel's doing. If if you want, um, I don't know what you were doing in Kubara. I won't ask. It's not important. What is important is you are very effective as a healer, and we can always use you around. If you'd like to join us, we will more than. Happily accept it. Yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sure. I mean, yeah. Sure. Whatever you know you what? I gave her the setup. If that's the response, I'm okay with that. Also, has Ram Group just like unofficially become the leader of the group or something like that? Well, I was captain of the ship, and then Dave's not here. Who he wanted to be the leader. Yeah. Well, he's not here anymore, so I think he gets passed up for that. <laughs> Alright, let's go on the lightning rail. Yeah, let's, let's do it. And as I'm, as I'm, uh, I don't, I don't know if we're going to do anything before that, but on the lightning rail, on the lightning rail, I'm just going to explain everything I talked with uh, about the uh, crystal and stuff right. with Ramiel. Uh, and about where, how we uh, oh yeah, yeah, and then where are you guys taking a lightning rail to? We can take it like, directly to Flame Cube. But yeah, I'll just explain that we need to probably get the shard to the Keeper of the Flame as fast as we can, so we don't get fucked. All right. While we have right. demons. So everybody seems easy. Uh, are you guys taking flat or luxury cars? I think flat. I don't think we're rich enough for luxury. <laughs> I mean, we are, but. It's, it's no need it's to the waste difference money. between two and seven gold. Like for the total trip? Yeah, the whole trip. How much money do we have? Um, I thought we were picking up the lightning rail. We are. Yeah. This will get you there in two hours. Damn. <laughs> That's fast. It's a lightning rail, yeah. yo. <laughs> yeah, that's farther than we traveled over the water in two months. But but yeah. ocean travel is cool. It's thirteen hundred. No, it wasn't. It wasn't. Yeah, it cool is. At all. It was fun. I liked it. Yeah. I want to be a pirate. I had a pirate ship battle, dude. That was sick. Yeah, I want to. I want to become a pirate when we all either disband or die. Does this? Oh. This means yeah. That means two hours in a minute. Twenty seconds. All right. So what do you guys? What's the plan? So it's gonna be uh i'm doing that is there seven of us now yep foggers 49 gold 
Hold on. Is uh, that, that's six hours and 30 minutes. Huh. Because it's 30 miles. Okay, hold on. 195. Actually, no. That's not. It's not two hours. I'm done. I was going to say. Yeah, there was like times when we were on it for like days at a time. Oh, like, yeah. So to like flame keep. It, oh, there we go. I was reading it wrong. It's two days, one hour, and 42. Oh, that's still not even that bad, two days. Yep, um... Let's just get the luxury car, fuck it. Who knows the next time we'll be able to relax. Fair enough. How much money does, uh... I don't want to take Dave's money. I have zero. Zero. I think I have 96 copper pieces. Alright, Dave will cover it. It's 49 gold. He'll be fine. Finally doing something. Alright. So he pays your fee. All of you set off on the lightning rail. Um, and is oh, there... I'll just never hear the end of it. You spent my money! <laughs> you spent my money when I wasn't okay. even here. Uh, and is there anything you guys want to talk to each other about uh, on the rail? I mean, I would want to point out that thing I read in the newspaper, but El Simpanito isn't even here. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure we all know about the Courier Wynorn thing. Uh, well, I, you guys actually didn't know he was back. Well, I mean, well, I, most of us, like the ones that went into town, know, right? Uh, not, ev not everybody got a newspaper. Uh, I guess I'll just tell everyone, like, what I read in the newspaper then, see what they think. Uh, Juan, do you know what was in the newspaper? What happened? Do you know what was in the newspaper? He doesn't even know there was a newspaper. You said that there was, um, the missing person went back. No, I, no, no, I, only Matt got, Thelgrim got a map, newspaper. Yeah. Alright, yeah, then Raoult has no idea what, what happened to the newspaper. But I mean, like, you heard the guy talking about yeah, it. Yeah, he said, he said there was, uh, the missing person came back to, uh, to, uh, where were Khalistan? Well, yeah, I mean, that is like the rough yeah, version of that's, it. That's all he knows. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine, that's all Raru needs. <laughs> He's like, someone came back, right? Yeah. Missing person came back to Khalistan. <laughs> yeah, but no, I guess I'll just, you know, since we have two days, I'll talk to him about it and like how, you know, Corian and Wynarn is like, you know, he just returned randomly after being gone for months, right? And he's convincing his brother, who's like the king, to like expand that Slayer initiative or whatever that he had. And how pretty much he's just becoming, oh, like, you know, it's, it's like people are saying that it looks like kind of like a power grab. And I'm just going to tell him how I think it's like suspicious. Yeah, I thought the same thing. I think yeah. there's some kind of uh, Like, we saw him bleeding underneath Sharon. Yeah, and how do you just survive down there for months? Like, I don't know, that's kind of suspicious it's like, to me. I call Cap. I call Cap. Also, did no, one, did no one question, like, changelings or anything like that? No, I mean, we... Changelings, so that's what I was gonna say. Like, maybe they have something to do with it, or, like, he's being controlled somehow? I don't know. Maybe. Um, I mean, like, I don't know what we do about this, but, like... Yeah, who knows? The only okay, other thing we'll I need to talk kill about. Him later. <laughs> Corey only Winner other thing I need to talk about. He's the, yeah. essentially the general of the of one of the country's military. Hey, if he tries Very to overthrow his brother, at least we can say we called it. <laughs> I'm sure that will help later on. We called it. <laughs> I called it. I saw this one coming. But yeah, so um, I asked. Uh, my bros in the sword. Oh, you talk to your imaginary friends again. Yep. Um, my goal originally was to see if I could maybe store the crystal inside the sword to keep it safe. Okay. Um, won't happen. I'll I'll be consumed. Die and uh, maybe become an avatar of the. Which, by the way, the gem is a is the essence of a part of one of the overlords. Oh. Right. Of course yeah. it is. Why wouldn't it be? Yeah, things can't be simple. Yeah. Um, <laughs> we're around. But um, pretty much um, our best bet, I think, is to get to Flamekeep, get our objective, 
and then take a short trip to Thronehold and give it to the Keeper of the Flame. Probably has the best bet in dealing with this. I mean, is the Keeper of the Flame just going to help us out like that? Probably not, but... Well, Why is anything that easy? <laughs> yeah. Listen, I'll give you I'll give you the steps. I don't know how we're gonna get to those steps. <laughs> right, that's what I don't know to how we're doing out. that. Yeah, like I okay. I can see or I know we have to climb upstairs, I just can't see them yet. Ah. Neither the we can't see the stairs either, so we're all in the dark. It's okay, that's what we do together, right? Oh yes. Friendship what a touching moment. moment. Power yes. of friendship. Yes, the power of friendship. We're gonna stumble up the dark, invisible stairs together. And Robert's together. muscles. Yes. All right. That's all. <laughs> good talk, guys. That, we that's really why I was. Bonded. That's why I was so interested in the in the gem. Mm, yes. I wasn't doing it for my own nefarious purpose. I mean, it explains a lot. But like, how did they? Well, they did tell us how they got it. So we can't like destroy it or anything, right? Because that would be much simpler. No, we would probably unleash the power of one of the overlords. Right. <laughs> right. That doesn't. That seems less than optimal. Yeah. Um. We probably will uh, be targeted as well. As yeah, long as we're we gonna have be it. hunted by demons. Sounds like fun. Um. Set the lookout for one Rakshasa. Oh. In uh, um, the most powerful <laughs> servant of Rexel Cash, uh, a dread knight. You think we're scared? More yes, than we the are. Shadow sword. They can take the shape of anything, right? Uh, sure. yeah. That's that's those were on the ship. Yep. And I'm kind of worried that the big so guy that we put it in person that we talked to on the street could be one of them. Yeah. God damn it. But I'm I'm kind of worried that the big guy on the on our ship that couldn't be injured was the big man himself. Could he be? I mean, uh, he you get the look sense much like if he was the big man himself, he would have just fucking killed all of you right then and there. That's also probably true. <laughs> so I mean, you from the, we from, even know what that from Ramiel's was? description, he is strong. He is leagues ahead of that Rakshasa. Never mind. I, uh, oh wait, the guy, like the, the, by the guy that looked like a human was still a Rakshasa? Or whatever? Oh no, the guy? that The one big one? He was a Rakshasa. He was a full Rakshasa. The others were Zakia Rakshasa. The human one that was like swinging the sword around. Or he looked like... Oh he was... no, he wasn't a... He wasn't... He was just... You couldn't see what he was. Oh, okay. You just saw, right. like, this infernal looking armor. Yeah. I, but anyway, I mean, that, that's, that should be our next goal. Get I don't think, I don't think I know what a Dread Knight is, but, you know. I don't know, I'm just repeating what I was told. Uh, you yeah. can roll a Religion or Arcana check. Oh, sure, I'll roll an Arcana check, because I only have a plus 12 to it. Dread Knight! Oh, 21. <laughs> If you're if you are proficient in Arcana or Religion, you can make a check. Yeah, I got a twenty-one on Arcana. Am I proficient in Religion? I don't know. Are I you? Think so. Just roll. It'll be fine. Uh... Religion. Wait, what the fuck? I have a plus six. What? Damn! Are you proficient still, in I, it? I've been rolling sh Yeah. Oh, shit. Uh, what I've been you rolling roll? shit all day. 12. Uh, what about you? 21's Paul? better. I got a 21. Uh, was Arcana. that Arcana or Religion? That'll change. Arcana. Me. Yep. Alright, Arcana. Uh, Bramgrim? It sounds like a... Knight that makes you dread things. <laughs> Bramgrim? Er, Thelgrim? Dread Knight. You're not sure exactly what it is because this has less to do with Arcana and more to do with religion, but it's it's from back in the age, not like the original Dread Knights were knights who worked for the Overlords during the Age of Demons when the Overlords like and Demons ruled all of Eberron. 
And the Dread Knights were some of the higher, more powerful knights of the demon, of the overlords. Um, so they were pretty powerful warriors infused with the powers of the um, of the overlords. So you get the sense, if you're dealing with a Dread Knight, already very bad news. If you're dealing with a Dread Knight that is also a Rakshasa... <laughs> we're boned. Yeah. <laughs> you guys are bone. I don't know. So them. they're like feet. Calm down, buddy. Just got an upgrade. And that's it's that's the thing. It's not only a dread knight. It is a Rakshasa dread knight, and it is a Rakshasa dread knight that is from the Age of Demons is what oh he's telling God. you. That has gained legendary renown and is the strongest of Rectal Kish. Yeah, we're screwed. All right, it's been real, guys. All right. What are the well, what are the odds that, that he doesn't somehow find us? Who knows? You know, with our luck, he'll be waiting for us at the train or at the landing rail station. He's probably on the train <laughs> right now. Yeah, you know what? That's pro he's probably sitting right next to us right now. You yeah, he's probably like one of the. You want to make a perception check? He's holding a uh -oh. sign. <laughs> All right. With, with with that knowledge that he could be sitting next to us, I'm gonna have to go now. <laughs> I'm because I think the session's coming to an end. All right. right. And as the lightning rail continues to flame keep we will pick up next session right as you guys get out of the lightning rail in hey we finally made it all right we're Good back session. on land boys <laughs> goodbye today was, right, later guys today was a lighter one after all yeah. of the crazy combat yes sir yeah of... only a lighter one i totally didn't drop to one hp a lot of lore yeah. yes <laughs> For real. Good and luck. I made progress. I got inside my sword again. Yeah, good job. Yeah, I, I'd been rolling shitty throughout the entire pirate arc, and I finally... Oh, got... was it It was a roll to get inside? Yeah, it was an, I got an 18. Oh, nice. <laughs> Today. You, know, you see, it was meant to be. Yeah. Alright. <laughs> Goodbye. Okay, Alright, later, man. Yeah, bye, guys. I'm putting a picture of Ethel in the group chat. Oh, yeah. Alright. Yeah, but...